Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're going to be playing some more Arkham Horror. It's Sunday after all, so it's become Arkham Horror Sundays at Rob's Gaming Table. So pull up on a chair, pull up a chair, sit down, pull up, sit down on a chair, pull it up to the table. I, it's awkward. Anyways, sit down. We're going to play a game. All right. Uh, hello everyone joining live. Welcome, welcome. I see some people in the chat. And hello to you watching later who didn't want to show up live because you'd rather do other things with your life. Yes, you're welcome too. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, say hi in the comments down below if you're watching later. <laughs> uh, hello, hello. Uh, good afternoon to some, good evening to others, and good morning to Yogi. <laughs> Probably be sleeping right now. Unless you're working a night shift or something, then all is well. Get paid to watch Rob's gaming table. I'm down. Latouge is here. Oh. Hello, Adam. Hey, Sawdust. Christopher, Tara, and many others as the chat keeps scrolling and I can't yeah. see all the names. It's going very quick today. Yes. Uh, Christian uh, says, looking forward to this one. We'll stay as long as I can. So I'm mad at myself for going with Marvel Champions instead of Arkham Horror LCG. To quote my partner, enough with the monsters already. Never enough. Yeah, I don't know. Marvel Champions is good though. I like it a lot. It's a different flavor, same same uh, mechanics ish, but I do like the more positive, colorful superhero vibe. It feels like you know a totally different kind of thing, right? I mean, it can feel punishing in that, but it does definitely doesn't feel dark and hopelessness uh, all the time like this game does. So I can understand if somebody played a lot of Arkham Horror games. Eventually, at some point, you're like, all right, enough with the depressive craziness, sanity, loss. You know, getting eaten by monsters theme. You know, let's just go punch some villains. Eat big crazy combos and stuff. So yeah, there's there's room in collections for both those games, I think, depending if you're fans of either IP. I like playing both. I like dabbling back and forth in both of them. I think it's very fun. I'm a fan of the LCGs in general. Competitive, cooperative, card games, co-op games, all that stuff. So both are great. But hello, everyone. I didn't say your name. I'm so sorry. There's too many. I know, and it's, it's... I should never start doing it. I don't know why I do, but... Yeah, it's going way too fast today. <laughs> hello, Lots hello, of chat. hello. Hello. Oh, Shane's here saying, Hi, Rob Mel and everyone. I just wanted to let you know that you are awesome people. That's everybody. I like that. You're awesome. I like that. You're all awesome. Did I Love Cheese answer my top five no, cheeses question? No, right now, right now. Go to the bottom. Go to the bottom. We're starting. Top cheese is brie. That was so slow. I that wanted was like so long ago. You did, you did research. You're not a true <laughs> cheese lover. You should have been able to rifle that off in one comment within ten seconds. I want to see your top five cheeses. You can't have a username I love cheese without being able to rifle off five cheeses you love eating like that. Yeah. Favorite cheese is feta. You just put I love cheese because you love eating cheese out of a spray can. Uh, you <laughs> can't have cheese in your username. Change your username now. That is not cheese. Get out of here. That's not real cheese. So you've been tricked. Been tricked. Anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Tara dropping the spoilers. Just finished yesterday's stream and loved the way that I'm not going to see the rest. <laughs> but I'm glad you love the stream, Tara. I'm glad you love the stream. <laughs> uh, back. No, Orbit. Orbit, Cheese Whiz is like Canada's version. I'm sure, I don't know if Cheese Whiz exists in the US too. Can't remember. But anyways, Cheese Whiz is basically that cheese spray stuff from a can that's in the US, very popular. Mm -hmm. um, I have tried. It's basically Cheese Whiz in a can. Yeah, I think we bought it one time. Yeah, we bought it one time because we're like... Because we wanted to see. Yeah, you see it in TV shows. Being in Canada, we, I don't think we really have that stuff. We but, don't. Uh, yeah, it seems like it shouldn't be considered a food product and sold in stores, but... Uh, yeah, going oh, to the Oh, they States. do have they do have cheese whiz. You got the whiz, okay? Okay, and it's like in a can or in a jar, right? Yeah, in yeah a jar, here it's right? in a jar. Yeah, it's here like it's fake. in a jar. You like spread it, you know, on things with a knife. But in the states, there's like you go in the cracker aisle, and it's like a wall of like chemicals in in container tubes that air, spray out of aerosol cans. <laughs> on you're spraying like a orange substance onto crackers, and uh, yeah, it's a very popular thing. It's basically like. Uh, the same dispense style as like uh, whipped cream, you know, like you spray, you, oh, yeah, you yeah, do yeah. whipped cream on the top of a pie. It's like that, but it's cheese. Yeah, it's, it's a little scary. <laughs> French yeah. fries and cheese are good. Yep, yes, yes, that's yes. definitely good. I love myself, uh, uh, what is it like, chili cheese fries. I love chili cheese fries. 
And only oh, gold, yeah, yeah, gold's on Philly cheesesteaks, 100%. Yeah, yeah and 100%. Orbit says on, cheese was on celery. Yes, that's definitely That's also good. amazing. That's the only reason we buy. Orbit, really. 100%. Love that. Yes. That yeah. brings me back to being a kid. With little raisins on it called bumps on a log or whatever. Are you supposed to put the raisins on the peanut butter ones? I don't know. Yeah. I, you could probably do it on both, but. Maybe. I don't know if raisins and cheese go good together. Maybe. I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there was one. You do celery and something, and then yeah. you put raisins on it. That's yeah. That's good, too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, continuing with on topic conversations. No, I'm just joking. All right. Today we're playing uh, the standalone scenario Murder at the Excelsior Hotel, uh, which is, you know, um, was the first scenario pack we purchased. When searching online about scenario packs, the same common theme I found com came up when Googling on, you know, on Reddit, BGG, searching the forums, that kind of stuff, uh, asking about standalone scenarios. This was about like, I don't know, six months ago or something. Uh, the standalone scenarios, people always ask about them because when they get into the Arkham Horror hobby, uh, you get into the hobby and everyone recommends get a core set or two and then buy a deluxe box and its complete Mythos pack expansions to create one campaign. And you can pick any campaign that's in stock, which is zero, uh, and then you play that all the way through uh, as its own condensed story. But then there's always the question everyone knows of like, but I can't find these two packs for this cycle. I can't find this pack for that cycle. This deluxe box is out of stock. I can't find these three packs for this cycle. What do I do? What do I play after I'm done playing the core set? And people will ask, like new people I always see go, can I do not just buy one of these standalone scenarios and play that until I can find that last pack? And most people say, uh, they're not that great. Don't buy them right away. You don't need them. Except murder at the Excelsior Hotel. Right there. People say buy that one is the best one. And I think that was when I read about this was before the, the last scenario pack dropped. I forget what it was. But um, yeah, everyone recommends this one is the one to go and grab. Because supposedly has lots of replayability. Has supposedly like, I forget how many endings somebody said in the, in the thing was like 10 endings or something. Again, this was like six months ago when I was looking this up. Uh, so this is the one I grabbed first. But people say this is the standalone scenario you buy to play a bunch of times while you wait for your full campaign to come in stock, whichever campaign you're trying to get into with the game. So I've always been looking forward to playing this one. So this is the first one we got. We just opened it yesterday. Uh, we have not played it. Today nope. is a live blind playthrough uh, where we've not seen anything. And not only is playing through the scenario blind and it's our first time and we're going to be shocked, so do not spoil anything if you know what happens. Also, spoiler warning uh, for anyone who plans to play this in the future, obviously we're going to see some things. We're not going to see everything, because there's probably multiple endings and stuff. Um, but we're also playing our investigators and most of the cards in their deck, probably, uh, for the very first time also. So if your stomach is weak to watching new players struggle with cards and decisions and surprise stuff in a scenario, uh, you might want to tune away now, because it's, it's going to be rough. Um, but we're going to play. Uh, I'm playing Harvey Walters for the first time. Uh, I did the 9 experience upgrade um, that you do for a standalone scenario. We're not playing this as a side of a campaign, obviously. Um, and I upgraded a few cards in this deck I'll talk about, but it's mostly his starter investigator pack that you can buy if you're joining someone else's campaign or whatever. And Mel is playing... Uh, Winifred. Winifred? 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 Winifred. Winifred has... Hab Habamock? Habamock, okay. And you changed a few cards too. I we'll, did, yeah. We'll talk about those when we get to the table uh, to do our, our first draw and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you have any recommendations, uh, I read the sheet this morning, like the, the starter investigator, um, kind of made my deck upgrades a little bit based on that. Um, and, uh, it does have on here what you're trying to mulligan for too, at least on this one. So I gotta, I gotta read this when we're going to draw cards. I gotta remember, cause I, I don't know the cards that well. So we're going to try to figure it out. I don't know if these two are a decent pairing to survive with. I don't know if they're going to do well in this campaign, but again, this standalone scenario, I want to play it a bunch of times, like throughout the lifespan of us playing this game. This standalone scenario, the idea of a murder at a hotel, like brings back like you know those memories of Clue and the murder mystery and true crime and that kind of stuff. It seems like you know mixed in with the Arkham Horror theme is what I hope it is, but again, I don't know. But I assume that's what it's doing. Uh, but we'll see. So I'm excited to be surprised. I'm excited to try this scenario again in the future. You know, with some other investigators, do some serious decks and and try to see different endings. But right now, it's just a blind playthrough just to have some fun, experience the, the pack, talk about how it was, try these investigators out before we, you know, play them again in the future and start jamming in efficient cards and trying to break them and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we're just having some casual fun today. 
that's the plan. Yeah. We're also fans of true crime, so this is up our alley with well, the we whole, hope, that's whole what I hope murder it's at a hotel. I hope it's us trying to solve a yeah, murder. Yeah, that's what I hope, too. I, I think, maybe I read the back before, and that's what made me think that. Yeah. Yes, I did. Room 225, tonight, I'm alone. This is what it says around the back of the pack when you're going to buy it in the store. Then it says, investigators must solve the murder at the Excelsior Hotel in this special scenario for Arkham Horror the Card Game, with the clock ticking and danger around every corner. Can you figure out the truth behind this grisly murder and clear your name? Oh, we're going to get blamed for this? Oh, I don't. Or will you be the next victim? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh. yeah, I wish I had a soundboard ready for that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Stay tuned. Holy. Yeah. So based on what I just read there, uh, I'm going to die. You're going to get blamed for the murder and get locked up and go insane. Okay. That's what I picture that's happening. And we're not going to see any of the ten endings. Or or the one ending that's, if you both died or uh, or, or got in jail or killed or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know, or put in the same asylum. That's what's going to happen. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm excited either way. <laughs> yes, yes. So it's like Scooby-Doo. Yes. Yes. It's like Scooby-Doo. Yeah. That's what I think is happening here. Yeah. Hopefully all of our TV watching of murder mystery stuff will come in handy here. Except for, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except they don't pull tokens out of a bag to see. Yeah. And, and instead of Scooby-Doo, like, talking to you, like, out loud, you know, and instead it's he's talking to you in your head and sounds like some kind of elder god or something. <laughs> he's just a regular dog. <laughs> lose before, yeah, we can't even find the hotel, yeah. Christopher. We lose before we even get in. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Oh, Matt says, if I remember, Matt says, <laughs> If I remember the hotel scenario, you stay up all night because the guy next door has a TV on too loud and the ice machine keeps running. Or maybe that was real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, been there, done that. So or the outdoor lights are so bright in yeah. the parking lot yeah. that it's blinding you yeah, yeah. your room with the curtains closed. Yeah, if you're ever trying to save money and you're like doing a long drive and you're like, let's just pull over and stay at this cheap motel and it's like a ground floor, you could stay at the floor above. Try to stay at the floor above so... When cars are pulling in at yeah. night, their headlights aren't shining right into your room. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> oh, man. Or when people start fighting outside your room. Oh, yeah, had yeah. that before. Where they pull up and they get out of the car and start yelling at each other before going into their hotel room, wake up in the middle of the night, thinking <laughs> someone's getting killed or something. Also, Orbit says, sorry, Matt, that was probably me. <laughs> 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 like to sleep with a TV blasting. <laughs> yeah. Or the, and not, not as good of hearing, right? So they're cranking it up really loud, like on the bed across the room, like trying to listen on this tiny little TV. Okay. All right. Let's do some, uh, let's address some things that people have been asking about for the last few days. I figured this is a stream to talk about it. Yeah. Yogi's already talking about it right now. Okay. I have it open, ready to go. And I was going to mention it. I was going to segue into it when I was talking about fans getting into the game, can't find certain packs, trying to buy you know, the six or whatever mythos packs plus a deluxe box to make a full campaign before they start playing the game with their friends. You know, that frustration of chasing packs. So annoying. But uh, this week, finally, you guys have heard me ranting about this. I've probably ranted about this since I started playing like Game of Thrones first edition. And we were driving like, uh, we would drive an hour and a whatever to Toronto before a tournament. To grab packs we didn't have trying to collect whole uh back in 2012 we were trying to collect all of the packs that had come out for game of thrones the living card game uh first edition to build decks so we could prepare for our first tournaments our first gen con all this stuff and i remember they would only have certain packs in stock certain cycles in stock and if um if a certain um what did they call those packs again the chapter uh, packs Chapter packs, yes, chapter packs. It's hard to remember they're all like chapter pack, mythal pack, myth mythos pack, data pack, scenario pack, <laughs> adventure pack. Like they're all just little, yeah. They're packs. Little packs. I yeah. don't know, but anyways. Uh, but chasing down chapter packs was my first experience with this. Trying to build the collection uh, of Game of Thrones Living Card Game, which had been out uh, for as long as I think they already when we started like chasing it. They're already like a few cycles in. They had a bunch of deluxe boxes. Some of those you wanted multiple copies of because I was building decks for Mel, helping friends build decks, get into the game. Then they were wanting their own copies of the game. Of the game. So we were like playing certain houses. You'd want to collect certain packs to have certain cards until you could build out the full set. It was, it was a mess. So 
if there was a pack that was hard to find, it was because it had amazing cards in it that were either good for many different factions, decks, or, you know, that kind of thing. So I already experienced that driving different cities. I remember we'd be on trips through the U.S. I'd be driving through Michigan, and I would plan our route so that I could go to off-the-beaten-path uh, tabletop gaming stores in the middle of nowhere in, like, small towns just to find random chapter packs that were in stock at those stores just to see what they had. And this was, like, you know, 2012, 2013. These places didn't have websites uh, that you could look at stock or anything. I would just literally map out all these places. And we would just drive and, like, you know, pull off the highway, drive, you know, 20 minutes off the highway, stop in little places and be like, you know, go in. Hello, it's like this tiny little store. And it's like, oh, you have a bunch of chapter packs sitting over here collecting dust. Let me look through them and try to find the ones we need. And that's, I'm sure people are doing that now to collect Arkham Horror. But Fantasy Flight Games, after hearing me bitch uh, on stream, I'm sure, and, and, and you know, thousands of other players bitching, <laughs> uh, always complaining about how when you get into a game and it's hard to recommend an LCG to a new player, whether it's competitive or it's cooperative, doesn't matter. The living card game model since like 2011 or 2010 or whenever they started doing it for Call of Cthulhu and Game of Thrones uh, has been a fine model at the beginning. And in theory, it sounds great, but there are so many problems with it. And especially when a card pool gets huge and you find a game and you're okay with buying all the packs, you're okay with hunting. But then when somebody sees you playing and you want to have other players join you and they want to collect it, and then they find out the struggle and the, and the frustration and the price of getting into a game like that and, and all the effort, then they just give up and people just stop doing it and they, they leave. And what happens is a game stops growing. And when it stops growing, the small profit margin that these little packs make, it's not worth it for the distribution, the store, and the company to publish, the publisher to publish. So people just stop doing it. And it's hard to keep all that in stock. It's hard to have it all reprinted efficiently. Uh, it's a mess. It's a very bad model. And games, that's why LCGs don't last that long in theory. Uh, the cooperative ones do because they're not timed to any tournament, any organized play structure. Um, so they, they have that idea of like you can get in and buy whatever you want whenever you want. But I've always bitched to say that they should, after a cycle is done, and it's been out for, you know, six months after the first printing of the last pack, and it's all out there. Once it starts all dropping in stock quantity, stop printing those packs and start printing it in boxes like this. A nice, cheaper, less waste less garbage for the environment, you know, one box, include the whole cycle, because who the hell in Arkham Horror especially is buying one pack, random packs at a time between scenarios? Like, you just want the whole campaign. Like, who is buying one scenario to play it as a standalone scenario and looking for just a couple player cards, you know what I mean, from that one pack? Yeah. People do that with competitive games. It makes sense. It's all player cards. And if certain cards are good for certain factions, certain decks, or certain metas, or certain restricted lists, but this is like... Who the hell wants to buy a whole campaign and not have two packs from that campaign? Like, it all needs to be together. It was all designed together, playtest together. Literally, the last step is, like, dividing it up into packages. Uh, but they need to do this. And they, I've been bitching that they should have done this because it makes the game more approachable. So there is no way for Edge of the Earth, which was announced here, they have a scenario expansion you see on the left. It has all the scenario cards you need to play from the beginning of the scenario to the end of the scenario. So literally, when you buy this expansion, you could buy a core set, maybe two, and then you buy this, or a revised core set, let's imagine that came out, <laughs> and they actually got with the times and made a core set that included all the cards you need, uh, coming soon. Um, but Edge of the Earth, you could just buy this campaign, and boom, literally that day you buy the campaign, you could spend a weekend, have friends go to a cottage or sleep over, and just binge the whole campaign, or schedule every game night each week, and make sure that you, you know you have the content. You're not going to be missing a pack, you're not going to... Find out there's a delayed release on pack five because something happened with shipping or they didn't print enough so they didn't allocate it to your game store blah 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 uh so this way if the expansion you can't find this expansion you just don't even start the campaign or you have it and you can do the whole thing so it's all or none which is the way it should be the way this game should be sold um and this works good in the collectible card game tcg world of every three months or six months or whatever just dropping entire sets big pools of cards just splashing into a, a collection. People get excited. They can play it for months, talk about it for months, and enjoy it, and then drop another big box on them. It's been working for Magic the Gathering and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and all these games uh, for, like, decades now. Uh, the, the LCG doesn't survive that way. It doesn't have that... It will never have that long life with the existing model. So this is the solution, I think. I've been bitching about this. And they, do, they, they went even one further, is they have a separate expansion here that's going to include all the player cards. 
So if you don't need any more investigators, you don't care, and you don't want any of those player cards because you don't like that play style, you don't like the new keyword they introduced, you don't have to buy it. And you can still play the scenario expansion with investigators you have from the core set, and or you can play the core set with all your new investigators from your Edge of the Earth investigator expansion. So I like the way they separate the, separate them out, and now you can buy a box with a huge splash of player cards um, to your collection. And I, and I think this is a, a fine solution. It's just not super clear if they're going to go back and retroactively change all the previous products to do this. They said going forward, they'll no longer be releasing Mythos packs. Do they mean going forward in new content or going forward in the whole life of the game? That I don't know. But this is a great solution. I think it's a good step forward. Uh, I don't know if separating the investigators and separating the scenarios is great. We'll see. I didn't think about that one, but I think it's cool that they did it. It will just suck if people... Completionists will find the campaign expansion easier and have trouble with the investigator one because they accidentally print less or people buy it faster or people like buying multiple copies of it to give to their friends or whatever or build decks for their playgroup. One may be harder to find than the other and that might get annoying if you want to play that campaign expansion with characters from that uh, like play you know they were all designed together so I'm sure those investigators have stuff in, in their decks or cards available that you can even use for other aspects or other um, classes that would be good for this these scenarios. Uh, so I still see there'll be complainers, including myself, if I'm having trouble finding one box over the other, you know, a couple of years later, and you're trying to get in the game and you're like, oh, for Edge of the Earth, you need a couple cards out of that investigator's box to really have a chance in scenario six or else you're kind of, you kind of lose. You know, if that kind of thing happens, that will get frustrating that they didn't, they didn't mesh them together. But in theory, I like the idea that the investigator packs can out of stock and you still could find scenario packs or vice versa. I think that's really cool. Ah, anyways. <laughs> oh, they'll definitely have great inserts in here. Yes, Shane, of <laughs> course. You know it's going to be like, you know, two packs of cards and then like two slots of air and, you know, the cardboard insert. Yeah, it's totally going to be that, but... It's still less waste than, than like a one deluxe box like that and six mythos packs of plastic and paper and all that. Uh, I think some of that stuff's recyclable in most places. I don't know, but still, it's like still a mess and stores have to stock that and factories have to print all that. This just makes it easier. They're just printing one box, which I'm sure is a more standard thing since most tabletop gaming products come in just standard boxes and use cards, like, you know, and baggies inside. That's it. Um, but the scenario packs, like, what other stuff gets packaged that way? Like, that's an L... I feel like that's a an FFG thing only for LCGs, right? Because even uh, CCGs and TCGs and card games usually package them in booster packs or boxes for starter decks and yeah. stuff. So, um, yeah, I think the LCG, the plastic model, like, you know, now they need to rely on other resources and materials, right? This way, they don't have to rely on those materials as much, too, so... I bet this is like a more cost-effective one in, in shipping, stocking, distribution, storage, all that stuff. Uh, tracking, you know, inventory management, all that stuff. Stores are going to love this. Yeah, for sure. It, look, yeah. it, it looks beautiful, too. Like, uh, you know, these, yeah. these would look nice on a shelf, I'm sure. Well, then they also don't have to have like an FFG shelf that's full of just all packs and random. Yep. Yeah. Yep, as we know, we've seen that. Yeah. You go into some stores. I, I, I remember finding this when I was first getting into board gaming. I'd go into a store and be like, yeah, I'm looking for, you know, Game of Thrones, the living card game, and, you know, uh, uh, packs. And they're like, oh, we just carry the base set. We, we don't carry expansions for that. It's like we don't, we don't have the shelf space for all, the, all those packs and boxes. So if you want a, a specific one, I can order it for you and let you know when it's here. And I'd be like, oh, man, okay, well, I guess, sure. And it's like, can I got to wait on it? Or I have to drive further to find a store that actually tries to stock them. Mm -hmm. But most stores maybe just, like, some of the stores we even played at regularly would just buy, like, two copies of each pack. Just to put on the shelf and then they would never restock it so once those two packs are gone they're gone and unless somebody specifically pre-ordered more or you know reserved more or requested more uh they would order them so it was always a nightmare trying to have a new player get into the game with you because they'd be missing cards they'd be frustrated and stuff so or only stocking the current cycle yeah yeah That's, that was a thing but sometimes it's not their fault sometimes ffg is just out of print and, yeah. and doesn't have it Especially with different countries that have different, you know, distribution models who are distributing the Asmodee products now. And it's like, sometimes your country just doesn't have stock and they didn't send enough your way and there was some issue. And 
oh, sorry, you have to wait. While well, the rest of the internet's all talking about how amazing this game is, you're sitting there going like, man, my stores don't even have it yet. It's just a nightmare. This should reduce some of that, I hope. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. Uh, Anyways, another cool thing related to Arkham Horror, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure this is Arkham Horror related, uh, that Fantasy Play Games has been posting on their Twitter. I see this like every day. Uh, they've been posting slowly this image and unveiling pieces of it like a puzzle. SOS, SOS, my dreams have worsened. Who is mother? Who is father? The words claw up my mind. Something is coming. June 10th. I'm assuming June 10th is the announcement, not the actual game release. But based on every single day I go and read the comments, and it seems like the majority of the assumptions here is this, and I don't know, you guys can guess based on this image. It looks like this is Arkham Horror art, I would assume. It looks like an old steamship, and you see a monster in the water. The consensus is they're finally reprinting a reskin version of uh, Battlestar Galactica that um, I've never played it. We do not own it now, and damn COVID has stopped us from playing it uh, on the channel, and I'd love to play it with, you know, five, six players. We will in the future, 100%. Mm-hmm. We're going to do that in the future. I do not care. But they're supposedly taking that beloved game that's now out of print and hard to find, uh they are using that same model supposedly supposedly this is all rumor uh but supposedly it's leaked uh that they're doing an arkham horror themed version of battlestar galactica but on a like steamship um with monsters and that kind of stuff so i don't know if that's true i don't know if that's true but what do you guys think what do you guys think this announcement is going to be june 10th four days from now and every day they're going to put a new piece of the puzzle in here i don't know if we can see the like progression here oh yeah oh yeah yeah, this yeah, you can go back, like, see, like, they're slowly, like, showing it zooming in and, you know, like, just little pieces. But, yeah, people have been guessing. SOS, one made it aboard. I fled when I approached. I think it could speak. <laughs> could be a tower defense kind of game, too, though. Could be, like, you're trying to survive on a ship, work together, and it's, like, uh, you know, Arkham monsters are, like, getting on the ship and we're just fighting them off. And, you know, it could be that kind of game. SOS, there are things out there, watching, waiting. What do they want? There's like SOS, you know, the like, beep, 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 beep. Uh, whatever that's called. Oh, we got a new subscriber. Uh, um, oh, Maze? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but thank you for thank subscribing. You. Welcome, Welcome to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. If you're not subscribed, hit that damn button. Hit it. Hit it now. <laughs> This looks exciting, though. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it is. I know. Every day I go to post or look on Twitter, and I'm like, oh, what do they got today? What do they got today? I can't wait. But now, like, I look today, and I was like, okay, yeah, you can tell. It's definitely Arkham theme. Yeah, see, there's, like, a monster in the water. Mm-hmm. I spy with my little eye, Dagon, in the lower right. Some deep ones storming the ship. Oh, another new subscriber. Nguyen Trong. I don't want to say the last name, but thank you so much for subscribing. Thank welcome, you. Welcome. welcome, welcome. Morse code. That's GG. That's what I was looking for. I forgot what it's called. Oh. I was thinking like a telegram, but I guess you do Morse code. You can do that over that too. Yogi guessed it. U boat with Yog Sothoth. <laughs> U <laughs> Boat was a cool looking game, uh, but I never played it. But I was always interested in it the way it looked. But like, yeah, it could be that style of game. U Boat's like, uh, you probably saw it at Gen Con, I probably showed you, where they have like the cardboard submarine boat like in the middle of the table. It's like 3D built, and you're like playing on it and like moving through it with pieces. There's like a train game that looks like that too, hmm. that I forget what that's called, but looks like good table presence. I don't know if the game's any good, but looked cool. People are thinking it might be Mansion of Madness 3rd Edition. Really? Uh, I, I wouldn't get that from this picture. Uh, I, but... I don't think so. It could be just an expansion for Mansion of Madness. It could be like a new uh, scenario box or, you know, a different uh, a different theme, like a different location. But do they really go to all this trouble for just an expansion when they announce it? I don't know. This feels like a game. The company's like changed hands. They fired people. They've hired people. They This is like probably a different marketing company now that, you know, works for Asmodee. Yeah. They might be just changing up the way they're doing things. Yeah. But I feel like FFG's now, because they lost all their OP stuff, their Star Wars stuff, they're going to be releasing less product from the studio. Now they got to just keep the hype going for other, like maybe smaller products. Yeah. This does build hype for sure. Yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> 
Are you bringing back Star Wars Destiny? <laughs> <laughs> These people, man, I love it. Oh, such trolls. Such trolls. I love it. All right. I'm yeah. excited for whatever this yeah, is going to be, too. though. All right. So stay tuned. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, we're talking about what it is soon next week next week hopefully, hopefully yeah i definitely want to talk about it in the discord for sure so yeah. if it's arkham horror the card game related we'll be talking about it in there if not like we'll just talk about it in the general whatever or the board game one i think but yeah i definitely want to see people's reactions to it and we can discuss it but uh yeah i think it's pretty cool Bada says i can see my money disappearing already uh, and I, I, yeah I, I'm, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm 99 percent sure it's arkham horror themed it might not even be but it's ffg it looks like you know that time uh, period with that ship you know that that would be when those ships like you know you could you could tie that there then we got monsters in the water like you know yeah and i guess this would be a question for you guys that are watching or or now or later is have you pre-ordered those expansions the edge of the earth oh I'm yeah so yeah, be curious who has pre-ordered them in excitement, yeah, yeah. who has who is waiting to see. We did. We pre-ordered them. Yeah, yes. we pre-ordered it right, right away. away. I don't want to be chasing that box. <laughs> so we went through well on our local store, place a pre-order right away. So hopefully yeah. we get it within a day or two after it releases in Canada. Uh ship to us or whatever. Uh that's the plan. So we, yeah. we already went all in. We're all in Edge of the Earth. Back both of them. Hopefully there's not a shortage. Uh but stay tuned to the channel. We'll definitely be playing through it. We'll be playing with those investigators. We can discuss them and hopefully we're caught up by then but I, I i don't know if we will be but uh we'll see we'll see what happens but oh it's not available yet for yogi to pre-order oh that's too bad yeah our, crazy uh tezra i don't know if you're here but tezra a uh, fan of the channel has always been good at like letting us know i think we use the same one of the same local gaming stores um and yeah she always like lets us know when something is posted there, you know, or in stock and that, it's just family members that go there and that she'll let us know. So helpful, Tesla, you're amazing. Um, but yeah, the day this was announced, literally within like an hour or two, she was sending us uh, comments on, on Arkham videos like, it's now on on the website, go pre-order it now, like it's in there. And, and I was like, man, if I waited like a day probably, it would have been, they would have been out. Like they wouldn't have any left because it's usually pretty quick, like once people catch wind. Yeah, because I saw the article, and it w it had been posted eight minutes ago, and I went to our local game store and looked to see if it was in stock for pre-order, yeah. and it wasn't even listed at all. Yeah. So then we were happy that she let us know, because I definitely have forgotten about it after Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> Check your local game store for pre-orders, uh, or contact them. Let them know this is a new product. It should be in the Asmodee inventory system. So tell them on their next you know order, at, at, or go on Asmodee and add, add it into their inventory system so they can... Take your money and get get an order in, you know. Yep. So that you're not hunting down that one box or two boxes, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. Orbit pre-order, nice. Nice. So yeah, hopefully that helps somebody. Just talking about all that new product and new game coming, and we'll see June tenth what happens there. Uh, but I figure that's related to Arkham Horror. It's a yeah. good good place to discuss it uh, for fans of the the theme and that kind of stuff. So, all right. Uh, oh yeah, and for those that don't know Battlestar Galactica, if it is related to that, just quickly, Battlestar Galactica 7.7, .7, which is not bad, it's ranked 84 overall, it's in the top 100 of board games ever, and I don't know how long it's been out of print, but it was made in 2008. Wow. Made in 2008, 3.25 complexity, you know, uh, 2 to 3 hours, best with 5, community recommends playing 4 to 6 players, but it is a 3 to 6 player game. So it's a large player game, betrayer mechanic, you know, betrayal in there and that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, we do have this. I do want to play this in the future on the channel, but uh, it, it's a game that's like supposedly hard to get now. So because obviously they're not making new copies. So if it is, this would make sense if it is this game, because this is a game that I, I, I wanted forever that was hard to find. And uh, I'm sure others would love to play it because it's still talked about as one of the best betrayal mechanic uh, but games with a betrayal mechanic. That exists in the hobby supposedly again i haven't played it to know for sure i, I want to try it but once we have some of our friends get their second covid shot uh and we're allowed to have them over uh we're gonna be doing that so stay tuned stay tuned all right okay uh all right Rob, 2021. Let Asmodee take your money. 
Yeah, lately we've been on an FFG kick. A lot of FFG games played on the channel. It's yeah. it's 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 bringing back memories of how I got into this. Like without Fantasy Flight games, I wouldn't even be in the hobby because when I was into Game of Thrones, a show, learned about the books, learned about the board game, Game of Thrones Second Edition. Uh, that was my first game experience into modern board gaming, and it was Fantasy Flight games and their little flyers they stick in the boxes. The way I saw their other games. Found the Game of Thrones card game, my first experience in like competitive card games since the 90s when I learned of Magic, played a little bit of uh, that Marvel game. There's a Marvel Overpower, I think. I collected a bit of that. Um, There's another game called Blood something. Blood Wars, I think. Brood Wars, Blood Wars. I don't remember what it was. There's some of that I collected. Didn't play that much, but uh, yeah, FFG was like our first handful of games. We're from Fantasy Flight Games. Our first organized play experiences were through Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, so yeah, they, they're the reason I'm in this hobby. Uh, they're the quality of their products, their, their designs and their rules and that kind of stuff. Now, now the rules are better, but uh, yeah, that's just what my first experience was. So playing these games, I'm still loving their, their games and stuff. So it's, yeah, it's what I like to play. So uh, yeah, been doing a lot lately, but more games coming from different publishers soon, I promise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's uh, talk here. We got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of junk on the table here. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So we're playing Harvey. We're playing Winifred. Yep. Uh, the deck stuff we've changed. Let's just talk about our decks. Sure. I quickly looked at the cards in the box. We haven't played with Harvey this time. Like we did last time we played with the investigators before we adjusted the decks, but he has a single Five experience card in the back of the pack called the Necro... What's it called, Mel? Necro Comic Con. The Necro Comic Con. Okay, yeah. Uh, so there's a three cost, five experience. It has this is five, an card. five intellect symbols on the side. You put secrets on it. You can spend the secrets to do... You know, help you out in a test. Draw some cards. Discover clues. Uh, it's crazy. So I just put it in. I was like, I have to you do have it. You have to. I have to put it in just for fun because the Necro Nomicon... Uh, and it's history on the channel, I guess. It's kind of funny. So I threw that in there. <laughs> and I, yeah, I don't know if this is the best play. And then I, I threw in these, two of these, to help me with fighting a little bit. If I'm separated from you and there are monsters, I don't know. But I've got a plan. I'm like a good fight card to use uh, invest intellect, yeah, sorry, instead of fight. Get some extra damage. I don't think there's other copies of that card in here that I need to upgrade. But I did not remove those if I did. But I'm just checking now. I don't think there were. Look through quick. You want me to say mine while you're doing that? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. let me just show oh, yeah, what yeah. I removed. Oh, yeah, yes, we're yes, good, yes. we're good. Okay. Uh, so what I removed from the deck, I I'm not sure if it's bad. Uh, for the, again, we never played this scenario, so I have no idea. But we took out the at one copy of this. I took out one copy of this card and one copy of this card. They all seem like good cards. I, I, don't, I don't know for what he has, but... I still left one copy of each. I don't know. I couldn't come to take out one card, both copies. So I just kind of shaved a few off just to throw those in. I don't know if that was good. We'll find out. But and I might drop, not draw them anyway. So who true. knows? That's like, true. I, I probably won't see any of these upgrades I did to the deck, uh, knowing my luck. So Okay, so I upgraded one of my weapons. I kind of went more of the weapon route because I, I don't think that uh, Harvey is much of a fighter. So I tried to upgrade some of my weapons so that potentially if there's enemies, we're okay. So I upgraded one of my guns. I went with this gun. This is a new gun, so I didn't upgrade this one. I just pulled this one out. Um, also a pretty good gun. And then I added in... Uh, sharpshooter. This can let me use my agility instead of my fight um, when I'm using firearms. So it just kind of went well. Also was recommended on the back of the sheet. So we kind of went that way. I took out a leather coat. I have another one already in the deck. Sorry, this is a... I took this one, one of these out. I took one of these daredevils out. Um, it's okay. And then again, I upgraded the one gun. So I spent my full nine. Four, five, six, seventy-nine. Yep. Jana has a question. So, do you think the core box in this new expansion would be good at entry into the game? And I assume you mean this expansion, uh, Janet. And supposedly, yes. All these, even even all the campaigns are recommended. To just buy whichever campaign is in stock. So if you can find the deluxe box and the mythos packs for 
any of the campaigns. They are designed to supposedly be played with a core set. And then the deluxe box plus all their expansions. You technically can jump in on any campaign, no matter what order they're released in. They're all standalone, supposedly. Um, but yes, the same thing with this. It's supposed to be the same idea. So it's still recommended to buy two core sets unless, you know, buy one, find the other one used, or wait, because in supposedly September is the rumor right now. I don't know if it's been officially announced. Uh, there have been leaked images now of it, but the, uh, and then people have seen it in like databases on stores, websites and stuff, uh, is the, there's going to be a revised core set, similar to how they revised core sets and a few other, their LCGs, to fix broken things, fix errata, uh, shrink down um, packaging costs, and also add more copies of cards so players aren't pissed that they have to buy multiple core sets. I don't know if they're doing all that for this one. Um, but supposedly they're going to come out with a revised core set. I don't know if that core set is supposedly going to streamline some rules or change some things in that core set. I don't know. Um, but everything's supposed to be compatible with it still. So you might want to wait till that core set's available. But right now you could probably find some cheap core sets for sale, some used core sets online from players who tried the game out and it wasn't for them. Uh, so you can find your first and or second core set, like Facebook Marketplace, BGG Marketplace, you know, your... Craigslist or GG or whatever. Um, yeah, look for that. Um, so yeah, so yeah, in theory, you could just, you know, wait till this is closer to coming out and pre-order this or order this and the revised core set in theory. And yeah, yeah, if you can wait till the fall, yeah, you'll probably know more. Uh, I would assume if they're an, uh, releasing a revised core set in the fall, we're going to know in the next like month, probably uh, the official announcement on that. But Again, it's a it's not a competitive LCG, so you can wait unless for some reason they're going to cancel it and they lose the IP and they're not allowed to print it. But this is a this is their own IP mixed with a uh, public domain IP, so there should be no licensing issues where all of a sudden they lose the IP. It's just if people stop buying the game, they'll stop printing it. So, do you think at that point we'll know if they're going to follow this format on previous content? I already said I'm not sure. I'm not sure yeah. Nobody knows for sure, 100. percent We hope, um, but I'm sure people have asked them that, and hopefully they, they'll answer soon. Uh, this does require the core set. Yes, Tara. Yeah. You need to have a core set to play anything in this game. At least one, just one. So buy a core set and buy Edge of the Earth. Boom. Now you have two campaigns. You have the core set campaign, three scenarios, and then you have this, which is most likely eight-ish scenarios. And in the core set, you'll have, I think, five investigators to choose from. Not a lot of deck building options. But then if you bought the second box here on the screen, you then get like five new investigators and they'll have complete deck builds in there, I'm sure. Maybe they won't. I don't know if they're going to do that, actually. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll just include just the investigators and some player cards, I would assume, in this game. I don't think they're changing it to do like the whole like like uh, Marvel Champions where you can like buy a pack and you have a complete investigator or like these starter packs that we're playing. I have a feeling there'll just be a, a, a swath of player cards to boost up the core set or boost up your collection. Yeah, if you're bored of the investigators in the base game or just want more player cards, you could just grab this box also. But again, you don't need to. Supposedly, you don't need to. But again, one core set worth of player cards is pretty weak in the game. To make stronger decks and have a little more deck building options, make more consistent decks, you are recommended to have two core sets worth of cards so you have two copies of each playable card. And you could also, from two core sets, actually play four player if you wanted to thin it out a bit too. We appreciate the newbie questions. I love it. These are questions I had when I was looking into the game and researching. So, uh, yeah, they were ones I wanted to know before we even got into the game. So, uh, it's questions I see asked all, all the time online. So, I do appreciate it. Edgar says, I even read somewhere August for investigators and October for scenarios. Ah, I could see that happen where they release them as separate things. Well, then we pre-ordered them. Yeah, we pre-ordered them together on the same order. So, that will mean they'll get delayed for us. Mm. Which I guess is fine if the investigators come out first. No, you want the scenarios first. But if the scenarios aren't coming out till October, then we're fine because we'll get all of it in October. But if the scenarios were coming out in August... Yeah, we would just play them with other investigators, not No, but I'm ones. saying because we pre-ordered them together, it's fine oh. because the scenarios are coming out last. I don't really care oh, about the investigators yeah, yeah. ahead uh, yeah, of time, yeah, right? Yeah. We want the scenarios when the scenarios saying. release. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So it's a, that's that way's okay for us. But yeah, I can see FFG <laughs> doing that just to help with distribution and stuff. One product one month, one product another month, get the hype going, advertising, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's weird if they release them completely separate by a month. But yeah, that's not a good thing, I think. Yeah, I think they should be released together. Yeah, at least for these ones, if yeah. they want to do that later, then announce yeah. them one at a time. All right. Now we are going to draw our opening hands before looking at and reading all the stuff for the scenario. Five? Uh, yeah, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's five. <laughs> we played so many. No, no, five, I, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta look at my alter ego. How yeah, many do I have? It's five. Five cards. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I drew the Necronomicon. Yes, it's going to be a good game. I don't know if it is. This is like once I get lose all the secrets, this is like useless. Oh, and I was going to say, uh, oh, there's my funny. weakness. I don't need that right now. Uh, yeah, Yogi, I do still have another leather jacket. So I, I am. We'll go through what you got. Show the, show uh, the camera. Let them know what you a, have. So I have my can... weakness. So I'm just going to draw one more. Yeah, yeah. So you go first. You you tell them whatever. Oh, oh wait, we, we didn't need to be do lead, lead yeah. investigator. Yeah. So odds, evens. Yep. Uh, even, even. so you. I'm the lead investigator. Okay, so we are going to keep the leather coat, I th uh, are we? Leather jacket. I kind of want Lonnie. Um, I don't want any of these. <laughs> I don't want any of these cards. We're going to, we're going to mulligan all of them. Yeah, we're going to mulligan all of these. We're going to look for Lonnie. We're going to look for a gun. We're going to, yeah. So, one, two, three, four. All right, I'll show you what I got while well, Mel's drawing her next hand. So I got the Necronomicon. Feel free to recommend what you would keep, what you would not. I'm gonna try to figure that out before looking at the chat. The Necronomicon. Oh, I got one of the I Got A Plan level twos that I threw in there. So for fighting. I don't know if fighting is a thing in the scenario or if it's gonna be, but I mean, the skill icons on the side of this card make, made me want to put it in too. Uh, deduction. If this skill test is successful, while, invest uh, while investigating a location, discover one additional clue. I feel like I keep that. Clue, get it. Clue gathering usually is a thing right off the hop. And then this uh, could give me a little resource boost for free just to do an investigate. I do have, uh, so Harvey, we didn't talk about this, but Harvey has a 4512 stat line. I would never play a character like this by default, <laughs> but I do like the four willpower. I, I always love having at least four willpower. And man, I've never played someone who's been able to get clues like this. And also he draws extra card or an investigator at his place can draw an extra card limit once per round off his ability, which is great. Seven and eight on the bottom for stats. I love that, but I'm definitely not going to be a fighter for sure. Uh, so it's going to be a little weird because that seems to be always the roles I'm playing. Uh, but being able to get some actions on an investigate, I should be fine on the investigate with five uh, as long as the shroud's not crazy. And then I found this higher education, which I can throw in for free. Well, you have five or more cards in your hand. Higher education gains. Spend one resource, you get plus one will, or uh, spend one resource, you get plus one intellect. Uh, I don't know if I should keep that. I have another one in the deck, uh, but I don't know. I, I need to actually look at what I'm supposed to be trying to get here. Uh, Vault of Knowledge and Laboratory Assistant are cards you want in your opening hand. Both allow you to draw cards and also increase your maximum hand size. So that's his gimmick. I'm supposed to have like a large hand of cards. It helps power up other cards, I think, is what's going on here. If you don't have either of those cards or preposterous sketches, feel free to keep the uh, to keep using your basic one card action to build up your hand using your extra card off his ability. So I could just dig, but what are you guys thinking? Keep deduction, maybe the resource card if you're keeping the Necronomicon. I'm keeping the Necronomicon. I'm keeping deduction. I'm going to get rid of this fight card. I like this idea of investigating and getting resources right away. Burning the Midnight Oil. And the other ones I'll throw away. I get another Burning the Midnight Oil. And a Preposterous Sketches, which was one of the ones that I think it said. Play only if there's a clue on your location. Draw three cards. <laughs> All right, that's where we're going. Oh, okay. So I got my signature card in my mulligan, which is pretty amazing, uh, <laughs> with uh, six question marks on there. Anything you can do, I yeah. can do better. Oh, I got a gun. Awesome. I got Lonnie. This is exactly what I want. I got a lucky cigarette case. 
Oh, I know that's a good card in every Arkham game. Let's me draw. <laughs> and then we got something that helps me. I can use my agility instead of intellect when I investigate. Okay, so this is pretty good. Pretty expensive. Um, but we can work to these things. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, now are going to set up the scenario. Go. All right, this is the Murder at the Excelsior Hotel. This actually comes with the game as a little booklet, uh, but we're gonna look at the PDF here. Room 225, tonight, come alone. Investigators must solve, we read this, I think is what was on the back. Yep, expansion symbol, we don't care. Game mode, so we're playing it as a standalone. It can be inserted into a scenario, uh, into a campaign as a side quest like kind of scenario thing, which we've done in the past. Um, so if you're, if you, like, you could play this, insert it into that, uh, frozen whatever thing we just saw. I already forget the name. Edge of Edge the of Earth. Earth. Edge of the Earth, the Alaska one. Mountains of Madness scenario. Um, when playing this as a standalone scenario, here's what we did. We did the standard bag. So here's what is in our bag. No minus fives, no minus sixes, which is nice, but still a couple of minus threes and a minus four. Only one plus one and a zero. So not a lot of. You know, good good tokens, just the blue and those two really are your like, okay, so we gotta do like plus plus two rule on test seems pretty uh, accurate as those will help you. I, I don't know what the skulls and stuff will do, we'll see that in a sec. Uh, we're gonna annoy, ignore all this side story stuff. Uh, additional rules and clarification, so patrol, which we see in Arkham games is a thing. Some enemies have the patrol keyword during the enemy phase. Each ready, unengaged enemy with the patrol keyword moves towards a connecting location along the shortest path towards a designated location, as described in parenthesis next to the word patrol. Okay, so they just move along one location at a time to where they gotta go. Okay. If there are multiple locations that qualify as a designated location, the lead investigator, which is Harvey Walters, mm -hmm. may choose which location the enemy moves towards. If an enemy with patrol would be compelled to move to a location which is blocked by a card ability, the enemy does not move. And then there's this thing called the True Culprit. Each copy of the True Culprit is an agenda card with a different card template than most other agendas. These agendas each have a doom threshold which can be found to the right of their title instead of their normal position. Okay. They look like alt art, Game of Thrones, the living card game plot cards. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Uh, encounter sets. So this comes with the Murder Excelsior Hotel, Alien Interference, Dark Rituals, Excelsior Management, Sins of the Past, and Vile Experiments. So for a standalone, they stuck a whole bunch of different little sets in here, which is neat. So I think it adds to the replayability because I doubt you see all of them every game. So Murder at the Excelsior Hotel, Intro 1. There have been reports of strange occurrences at Arkham's Excelsior Hotel for over a month now. Disappearances, bizarre sightings, Sudden closures, sometimes for days at a time, seemingly without warning, it is like something out of a ghost story, but you know better than to simply dismiss these rumors. Too many people have whispered about the Excelsior, and to make matters worse, it seems the stories have only grown more unsettling in the last week. It's time somebody looked into it all. Tried going to the police, but the grizzled and world-weary Sergeant Monroe has dismissed you every time. You've been left to investigate on your own, asking around, at all the local hotspots yields no leads. Velma's Diner. Heard of that place before. Mm -hmm. Ibs Roadhouse. Been there a couple times. La Bella Luna. Love it. Uh, each visit leads you with only more questions. That is, until today. While walking down Central Avenue in downtown, minding your own business, you bump into a man in a long trench coat. Uh, Stay away. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you want to approach Stay any away. men in long trench coats. Nope. Uh, yeah. Especially if you don't see any, you know, pants covering their legs coming out the bottom of those trench coats. Uh, you begin to apologize, but he simply continues walking briskly away from you. It isn't until you return home that you find the note in your pocket. One that wasn't there before. <gasps> They're stealing her wallet. He slipped a note in her pocket. I have answers. Room 225. Tonight. I'm alone. Watching. Uncertain of what else you can do at this point, you begin making preparations to meet this mystery person. If there is only one investigator in the game, proceed to intro two. If there are more than one investigator in the game, skip to intro three. Intro three, all right. The Excelsior is busy tonight. Either the rumors haven't phased these guests, or the stories have given the hotel a new allure. Everything seems normal. 
Hotel staff carry luggage and cleaning supplies throughout the lobby and the main stairway. The man behind the front desk greets you with a curt nod and a thin smile. Uniformed security guard reads the latest Arkham advertiser in the corner. Yet you can't get the note's final warning out of your mind. You stride quickly across the lobby and up the stairs, taking some measure of comfort in the knowledge that you at least contacted others to trust, letting them know of your whereabouts and intent. Your candle, your clandestine meetings have rarely gone as planned, especially lately, and it never hurts to have some measure of backup. You stand before the blood red door to room 225, take a deep breath and knock. There is no going back now. Uh, proceed to intro port. Turn over the cassette now. You sit in a chair in the suite's living room, watching as the man who slipped you the note passes about nervously, paces about nervously. He rambles about secret meetings and watchful staff. The entire time you find yourself glancing to the coffee table in front of you and the curved dagger that rests there. He pauses for a moment, pours himself a drink, and raises the glass to his lips with a shaky grip. He then pours a second drink and hands it to you. This is all I got going. This is all going to sound crazy, he says, his voice a little more than a whisper. He glances at every darting shadow that twitches at every creak in the old build and every creak the old building and twitches at every creak the old building makes. Sorry. I'm beginning to feel crazy, but there's too much going on here to just ignore, and I've been a part of it long enough. You listen closely, but his words are starting to run together. His voice is ethereal and wispy like wind at the end of a long tunnel. You blink rapidly, your vision blurs. The next thing you know, you're on your feet. Your glass drops to the floor, and then you have to set up a card game and play it. Proceed to set up. Uh, this button. All right, so we're gonna gather all cards from the Murder at the Excelsior Hotel counter set. This set is indicated by this icon, which I have here, okay? Okay. Set the following in counter sets aside out of play, uh, which I did here. Okay, so that'll be outside, set aside out of play. Uh, all four little decks here. They all have like each of four cards in them. Uh, so I'm just gonna set them out of play in a pile here. Um, Construct the Act and Agenda deck using only Acts 1 and 2 and Agendas 1 and 2 from the Murder at the Excelsior Hotel encounter set. Bitch. Here's the Agenda 1 and 2. Okay. And Acts 1 and 2. Okay. That all 10 copies of the culprit, the true culprit, sorry, that is this, you know, alt art Game of Thrones plot card uh, deck here, which has a whole whack ton of cards in it. And there's that Doom number they were talking about that's in a different spot. Uh, so that is set aside out of play. The lead investigator, which is Harvey Walters, begins with the blood-stained dagger story asset under his or her control. Which I assume I put this in play as an asset right away. Or do I put it in my hand? I don't know. I think I control it so it would be in play. Um, but it says it has an action on it. <laughs> the traits. Look at the traits. Uh, if I could get them to focus. Item, weapon, melee, and cursed with a question mark. Maybe. Oh, it's got a fight. You get plus two for the attack. Great. Uh, fight. Exhaust blood stain, stain dagger and take one horror. Fight. You get plus two. Fight. And deal plus one damage for this attack. This attack defeats an... If this attack defeats an enemy, draw a card. It's a single-handed weapon. Yeah, it's in play. Okay. So I already have a weapon to start. Awesome. Harvey's ready to stabby stab. Um, That's good, though. Find each of the story asset. Well, my fight sucks. So I start with one fight. Even if I use that, I get, like, plus two fight. I'm fighting for three. Uh, so what, I kill rats? Like, is that all I can do here with this knife? Like, I I'm doing I nothing. Know. I don't think I should have got this. I think this is very bad that I have it. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, find each of the story assets from the five set-aside encounter sets and shuffle them together into a separate deck, which I did... Uh, so these little story assets, one from each of those set-aside decks that I put aside earlier. So they all have one of these story asset cards. And it says, shuffle them together into a separate deck. This is called the Leads deck. Place this deck near the scenario reference card. Now I assume, no spoilers, but I assume that this is how it's different every time. 
based on these cards being attached to other encounter sets, maybe bring those encounter sets into play. Just based on us playing other Arkham Horror stuff, I think that's how it probably works, but I'm excited to see what they're doing here. Okay, so let's put that down here. That's our leads deck. Um, okay, let's see what's next. Put the following locations into play. Room 225, Suite Balcony, Second Floor Hall, Restaurant, and Foyer. See suggested location placement below. So, we can get these out of here. Oh, yes. And... Uh, we want a restaurant here. We want the second floor hall somewhere like this. The foyer. Like this. Room 225. Come alone. And the sweet balcony. Oh, so sweet. Uh, and then there's five other locations, which I'm sure it'll tell us. Two. I'm going to play somewhere. But anyways, the lead investigator begins playing room 225. Oh, this is interesting. Yep. And each other investigator begins play in the foyer. Set each other location aside out of play. Uh, where did I put them? Oh, they're in my hand. <laughs> yep, they're out of play. Set the following cards aside out of play. All three copies of Arkham Officer. Uh, separated those already. Maybe they're in here. Hmm. So I didn't leave them. They're in here. Hey, I've left these upstairs. I thought I hold on. Let me see. I'm just gonna look through these. Arkham officer, Sergeant Mon Monroe story asset. Oh, maybe they're in here. Yeah, here they oh. are. Sorry, they're in this pile. Uh, so sorry. Arkham Officer, there's three copies of that. Sergeant Monroe, and what have you done? Weakness. Okay, they're set aside out of play. Couple the remainder of the encounter cards to form the encounter deck. Out of play. These ones? Uh, yeah. You are now ready to begin playing. Do not proceed to the following interlude until you're instructed to do so. I'll just leave that like that. Cool. So already I'm excited. We're trying to solve a murder mystery. I'm in a different room than you. Some weird stuff's going on. I got a knife. Uh, it seems like police could show up. So we set them aside. Uh, yeah. This is interesting starting away from you. We've never had that happen before. Yeah, yeah. I guess we can flip those over, right? And I'm, because these were together, I'm just gonna do one more time. They were set in set. Brian, I don't know if I'm gonna melt down in this one <laughs> because I know I'm not a fighter and I'm not gonna freak out when, you know, somebody built my deck and they put six weapons in it and I haven't seen any of them halfway through the game. Uh, you know, those frustrations of just drawing from a random deck, that happens, but in this one, I've never played with Harvey. I understand he might just die because he sucks at fighting uh, or dealing with enemies in general. Like, I, 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 my, I only have two uh, agility. Uh, so as long as I get some clues and survive a little bit, that, that's, my, uh, that's my plan here. So I expect to die. I expect us not to get very far in this one the first try. But that, I, I just want to see the replayability of it. Like, we want to play again later. Uh, so, yeah. I, I'm, okay. I'm okay. I think I'll be okay. Not like when we're in, like, you know, we put hours and hours and hours and weeks and weeks of time into a campaign and you're, you're you know, it's your time on the stage to, to succeed and your deck's just laughing at you while Chainsaw is sitting on the bottom card, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> or your, um, or those, uh, or we had a 50, boxing 50, gloves. Yeah. Or boxing gloves <laughs> or a 50, 50 choice. We just went the wrong way. Yeah. You know, that kind yeah. of stuff. So we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, hey, Jeff. How's it going? Hey, Jeff. Jeff says, Rob with the candlestick in the study. Yeah. Probably. Brian also says, Rob is the murderer. <laughs> I could I could be. I'm holding the knife. And you're the lead investigator. I'm yeah, holding yeah. the knife. Yeah. And I'm in room 225, but it's a setup. It's a setup. Uh, Shuffle your discard back Oh, deck. yes. Yes, yes. Not Marvel, oh. not Marvel Champions. Yep, yep, yep. You're correct. Like I said, every I always complain. Every game, different card draw mechanics, different mulligan mechanics, different what happens when your deck runs out mechanics. You draw them back in. Do you 
shuffle up, make a new deck? Do you not? Do you get punished? Yeah, thank you, Edgar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you want uh, arrows, or are we okay? That's up to you. Go ahead, grab them. I mean, if you they're want. it's pretty straightforward. I mean, we but... did buy them. Like, I mean, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, yeah, but there are other locations, so as it grows, we'll see. But if it gets just messy and there's like lots of stuff on the board, they just they bug me. But and Yogi says, take one horror and reshuffle like run out of cards. I, 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 yes. yeah, I, I kind of remember that one, but yeah. I, I think back? with Harvey, actually, with the extra card draw, I may actually see that happen oh, if I live long enough. Hold on. Yes, yes. Are you head brain fart for a second? I don't know. I put it like it said in the book. Yeah, no, no, no. I was like, you but can't I could go still, back. I could still mess that this up. This goes here. Put this. Yep, that goes back. Okay. All right. And that doesn't go. Okay. Okay. So let's check out the agenda. Agenda says uh, the murder. When you come to, you're standing over the man's body. Recoil immediately at the grisly sight. Multiple stab wounds perforate his chest. Bloody uh, Blood spills onto the floor. What in the hell happened here? And why can't you remember a thing? If there is only one investigator in the game, this agenda gets plus one doom threshold. So no, it is a three doom because there's two investigators. So that will happen fast. This one says, what happened? Uh, your head is spinning as you try to make sense of the situation. Empty bottles are scattered about the room. Your hands tingle. The shadow seems to coil and writhe around you. Where Were you drugged? Or is this something else entirely? entirely? So it has an action on it. You can spend two clues as a group. Draw the top card of the leads deck. Objective. If the investigators control two lead assets, advance. Oh, so we want to get this lead deck. Yeah. Which makes sense. It's we're going to pull two out of there. And then that moves us forward. Okay, so, so we need, so we need clues. four clues total. But we can spend them as a group. So if you, I have one, you have one, we can do, spend that once as an action on someone's turn to draw one card of the leads deck. I'm assuming it, whoever draws it takes that asset. Right, and it needs to be you, right? If the investigator... Oh, if the investigators. Okay, okay never mind. Never mind. It doesn't say Yeah, that. as long as, as total, we control two assets. So you could have both, okay. I could have both. So it sounds like we got to, you know, put them into play. Okay. They might say on it what to do with them. I, I, didn't, I didn't read I them yet, so we'll find out. But I'm assuming that's the rush. That's on the act deck. Leads are tied to it, I guess. I'll put it here. Okay. And uh, we want to wanna get in that leads deck. So we want two clues as soon as possible. Okay. Well, actually, we want four clues as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's uh, check out room 225. Which says, the rug on the floor is soaked with blood. Broken glass litters the couch and coffee table in the living room. The window is open, a chill breeze flowing through the long curtains. Cool art. Oh, they were dra dragged. This is titled, The Scene of the Crime. And it's traded, Crime Scene. Three shroud, two clues. Has an action on it, test. Willpower of three, if you succeed. Remember that the investigators cleaned up the blood. Or you can test fight for three. If you succeed, remember that the investigators hid the body. Oh no. This is already this is awesome. terrible. Or the third action on here is test intellect, which I'm more likely to do because I have five in that stat. Uh, if you succeed, remember that the investigators tidied up the room. They're all bad for us. Oh, uh, yeah, they're tampering with evidence. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. No. This is awesome already. I already love it. All right, let's check out the foyer oh, where no. you are. Okay. It's uh, traded as hall. Got a nice little chandelier, two stairwells going up. Okay. Very, a nice very hotel. nice. Yeah, yeah. The foyer is a grand hall of polished tile and sweeping stairs. Guests and staff move through the vast room in an almost dreamlike state. Or is it that you're just your imagination? So we have two shroud, two clues. Oh, it's got to resign. You flee the scene of the crime. <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh. Forrest, when you attempt to move out of the foyer while there is at least one guest enemy here, that's agility X, where X is the number of guest enemies here. If you fail, you must spend one additional action to move out of the foyer. Okay. I have high agility, so that's good if I need to. Okay. 
Wow. Interesting. Okay, I'm super excited for this one. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> body? What body, I officer? Know. What body? <laughs> we didn't clean up this crime scene at all. Uh, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Merz is saying the map gets bigger. Oh, we assume, yeah, anytime we're setting aside, like, more locations, we know the map's going to yeah. get bigger. We'll use arrows, yeah. We'll just use arrows going forward. Uh, yeah, good good tip, good tip. Okay. Uh, so, I think we're good to go. Uh... Oh, I guess let's just... Oh yeah, yeah. Show Thank this you. just Thank so you. that we can know what we're dealing with, with other here. Stuff. So if we get the um skull, the skull, it's minus x. X is the number of guest enemies in play. Okay, the cultist is minus one. If there is an innocent enemy in the victory display, reveal another chaos token. Victory display. Okay, minus three on the tablet. You may place one of your clues on your location to treat this as a minus one instead. Oh wow. Okay, and then tentacles minus three. If you fail and there is an innocent enemy in the victory display, take one horror. Oh man, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Nothing going on here. <laughs> all right hide the knife hide the knife okay uh i want to do one of these things yeah yeah yeah. you go first but do I, one of those things is it bad well i feel like we need to do one of them or maybe we're supposed to do all three maybe we're supposed to do all three okay that, clean up the blood hide the body tidy up the room well i guess that would make sense if you're trying to hide a crime scene you want to do but all are, of those things aren't we supposed to be solving this mystery well that's why it said or we get charged with or we are in, what did it say yeah 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 I think we did it. What the hell? All of this resolves around you avoiding to kill innocents. Or not. <laughs> I know. Thanks, I know. Mers. It's, it's bad both ways. No spoilers either way, though. But yes, be, be a troll if you want. No, it's, but that know. was based on this. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. If there's innocent enemies, one way it's is like good. They're, they're called enemies, but they're innocent. Those like... And we killed them. Yeah, yeah, but I think that's just how they're using guests in this version. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go first then? I don't know. For me, I'm just going to do a setup where I'm going to gain a resource and play both these cards. So you're not going to be moving to my space to help me on skill tests or anything? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Sounds good. I need a little bit of time to... I have a feeling once this flips, the three doom, we have like three turns to clean up the thing. Or or else or do this, one of the... or, or this flips and then it's like we're blamed for the murder. Now it's a full different game where it's like the police have Our... entered... All, you know, the sergeants here, they're oh, like, they're harassing. We're yeah, and now we're like trying to, you know, I mean, maybe. I, I don't know. I could go there and do the, um, which one can I do? I mean, I could just do one set of turn and spend secrets to get plus skill test values. Like, I could do everyone but the fight, really. Yeah, I can come do the fight, but I only have a fight of three, so I'm a three on three, but I could put in my I can do anything card. I also can discover the clues at the location, too. No, I was thinking the same yeah, thing. Yeah, let's do that do fast, that. maybe. Maybe I don't try to clean up the mess. I just try to get clues and, and advance some leads. But I think you want to kind of do both. I don't know. Deceit and subterfuge. Rob is in his element. Why should Mel help with a murder? I know, right? Let Rob get hauled off to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I was not involved in this. I'm in the yeah. foyer. What murder? What murder? Who? I didn't wake Harvey up. Harvey who? With a bloody knife in my hand. I, I, I came here alone. Who's Harvey? <laughs> <laughs> all right oh my god i don't know what to do this is awesome okay uh, i could go first and do my setup and then sure, yeah let's go. just do a setup turn so that we're ready okay so i'm gonna gain a resource for action one i'm gonna spend them all so then i'm gonna spend two to put a lucky cigarette case in which will help me draw cards if needed and then i'm gonna spend the last four to put in lonnie ritter will give me another fight which is good and then some damage and horse oak if needed okay Okay. You did three actions? That was three. Gain a resource and play two cards. Yes, I okay. am done. All right. I am going to do a preposterous sketches for one action. Spend two. And if there's a clue on your location, uh, draw three cards. One, two, three. Uh, that one of the ones I'm looking for. Vault of Knowledge and Library Assistant. 
Oh, I got both knowledge and library assistant. Let's check what they are. These are ones that recommended to keep or look for on a mulligan. RV Walters deck only, Vault of Knowledge. Your maximum hand size is increased by two. After you successfully investigate, exhaust Vault of Knowledge and choose an investigator at your location. That investigator draws a card. Okay, and then she increases your hand size. After she enters play, draw two cards. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Just worry if we draw into, like, I get an enemy up here. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm in trouble for a bit. I know. So I think. Think. Think I might do an investigate off burning the midnight oil. So I get to investigate. Action begins. I gain two resources off that. It's free. And then I throw in this skill card into the test, which helps me get an additional clue at the location. Then I'm either debating throwing the Necronomicon into play. Or I do a lead card as my third action. You'll have two clues at that point, so I yeah, mean, you can. I'm debating like maybe that'll help. Maybe it's something that's super helpful, uh, or not. I I don't know. So yeah, I am going to do that. I don't know if it's the best play. I don't know if delaying the Necronomicon is smart or not, or getting. I, I could put the laboratory assistant in play, which might help me, like in case horror happens. But again, I'm just gonna go this route. Uh, so I'll play Burning the Midnight Oil. When this action begins, gain two resources. So I'm investigating against three Shroud. And I'm going to put in, uh, where was it? Deduction. So I'm at six on three. This still has successful. Hmm, maybe I should put in more. Oh, Selino Fragments. Oh, maybe I could do this first. And then I wait on the lead, actually. Sorry. Uh, this is only one, but it says while you have five or more cards in the hand, you get plus one intellect. Ten or more, you get plus one willpower. Maybe I should just set this one up, because it seems like a card that could be good as we go forward. So, yeah, we can say that I started with this in play. Yeah, yeah. So now I have... Uh, so then I played the Burning the Midnight Oil, threw this in as a skill. That's my second. This is my third and final action now. Mm -hmm. uh, so deduction. Okay, so I'm at five, six, and this because I... Oh, I don't even have five cards in the hand. <laughs> oh, We're going to undo that. that. We're going to undo that. Oh, yeah, 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 screw that. Screw that. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't make sense. I thought I would have had five. I didn't even count. It was a deduction. That's okay. Uh, so I'm going to throw in another Burning the Midnight Oil. Really want this to see. Uh, so I'm testing for five, six, seven on three. Okay. This chat is hilarious. Just FYI, <laughs> they're really going with the Rob. Theme. Just do set up. You're in the room with a dead body and you're holding a knife. What could go wrong? No, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. My uh, plus oh, one. Yes. Oh, even better. Oh, That's okay. a good start. Good start. Yeah, yeah. But I wasted cards. It's okay. Uh, I just wasted one. So I get one additional clue, so I got both clues. Nice. And oh, I should have is action for extra card draw. I should have done that too, but that's okay. So many like Oh, I did do this. I did do this. After an investigator at your location draws one or more cards in their deck during the investigation phase. Oh yeah. I did that off that other card. Yeah. I thought it was only when you do the draw action. Yeah, yeah. I should have one more card in hand. Oh no. So I would have had this card, and for every three cards in your hand, take a damage. So at that time, I had six cards, I think, because I it would have been before I spent these two, no, these three. So I would have drawn in like that. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm, I take two? two damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think we're corrected that. Let's limit once per round on that. So my weakness, one weakness is gone. That's good. But I now have five health left. <laughs> good thing yeah. that didn't come up later when I like increase my hand limit. I'm holding like a whole whack ton of cards in hand. Yeah. Oh, that's dirty. Yeah, that's Harvey's weakness. Okay, so I still have one other in there. And yeah, we're just doing the random basic weaknesses that were included in their starter investigator decks. So I don't remember what they were, but just if you know, practice what we're doing. 
Um, there is a question from Stacey asking, oh. uh, did you upgrade the tokens? If so, where did you get them from? Oh, sorry, were you uh, done your turn? I, I wanted to wait till your turn was I done. I think I'm done. Uh, no, I'm not. I have one more. Oh, sorry, yes, yeah, yeah. Finish But that's okay, just remember I have one action. Okay, you have one action left. I, I don't know if I linked them in the chat, or in the just video description. Show the token. Yes. So there's two sources of the tokens. So the arrows were off Etsy. There's a whole bunch of different places that sell these. Get whatever ones are decent price and in stock and have cheap shipping, cheaper shipping to your place. Uh, we were recommended a few different ones. We just picked these ones because to Canada they were like available and the shipping was not that expensive, but also they took a very long time. Um, so that's the one negative. So I don't remember what those were. So, but you can find many different ones. Like everyone makes these, no problem. So many different ones. Uh, you might find ones you like better, but uh, the tokens, so all these tokens plus the bag, plus our Mythos bag, uh, are linked in the video description. And these were just sent to us for free from eRaptor. Uh, we're not being paid to promote them or anything, but they just look cool. And I said I want to try them out. So uh, we're using them and I like them a lot. So they are from eRaptor. The link is in the video description. And you can get eRaptor stuff from your local game stores. Um, I learned that eRaptor is actually distributed in Canada through Asmodee. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't okay. know if that's recent. But yeah, so there are local board game stores that carry eRaptor stuff. You don't have to pay the shipping from like Poland or whatever that's on their website. You can rec you can request this stuff through your local retailer. Uh, but yeah, so they're cool. They were cheap little bag of tokens. They have uh, a deluxe pack. And uh, the deluxe pack also comes with the tokens you need for playing um, the Innsmouth Conspiracy one, uh, which is an expansion we haven't got to yet, but we do have like nice upgraded tokens for that, that, that come with that deluxe box too. So uh, we got that as part of like a bundle or whatever. Yeah, they're linked down in the video description. You still have one action and I think you have to put Midnight Oil back in your discard pile, says. Oh. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, two of them, right? Yeah. Yes, thank one, you. One I played to start the action, one I played as a skill card. Yes, thank you, thank yeah, you. Thank no, you. that was uh, Dr. Perfect, yeah. Dental, yeah. thank yeah, you. Yeah, both are gone, both are gone. Uh, one action left. Yeah, because I only have four cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, that's right. Okay, so then the last one. Um... It's up to you if you want to see more information or not. I don't know. Well, I just played just playing the Necronomicon, so. I'm kind of set up for the treachery phase, like uh, uh, for bad cards to come up. Yeah, I mean. But. Because potentially if I can get the, I don't know if I can get these clues, but. It all that depends on what happens. Yeah, here. I'm going to spend two clues and I'm going to get a lead. Okay. Here we go. What's our lead? Time worn locket. Mournful vision of the past. Revelation put into play in your play area. Forced. When you're defeated, give control of Time Worn Locket to another investigator. Oh, this is not bad at all. It does nothing. Yeah, it's just story related. Yeah. So if we have them, it's going to help, right? It's going to maybe change what cards come into the game. So. Okay, so we found a locket. Okay. Might happen when this flips, the agenda is probably checks too. If you based don't on? have enough, mm -hmm. uh, things might happen based on which ones you have or if you don't have enough in time. Okay. So, yeah. All right, flip. All right, what's next? Uh, what's next? Okay, sorry. Uh, enemies. Enemies. Yes. Nothing. Nope. Okay. Reset. Ready up any cards. Draw. Nope. Through into. I've got a plan. Fight using intellect instead. Then I gain a resource. I got some lock picks. Pass a resource. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Here's. Oh, we got a new subscriber. Run. Run them. Thank you for subscribing. Thank Welcome you. to the channel. Welcome. Lots of subscribers, new subscribers today. Thank you for using yes, the thank button. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, you don't feel pressured to do it. But you should. But you should. Yeah, you should. Yes. Push the button. Push the button. Help yes. the channel grow. Thank you. Thank you. Help the channel grow. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, I am adding Doom. One of three. You shuffled this good put all the good cards at the top. I drop shuffled it three twice and I mashed it a bit. Violent outbursts, curse, revelation. If there are no humanoid enemies in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a humanoid enemy, draw it and shuffle the encounter deck. Otherwise, the nearest humanoid enemy readies moves one location at a time until he reaches your location, engages you, and makes an immediate attack. Oh man, okay, so right. the deck so is gonna bring I'm gonna search this. 
for a humanoid enemy. And draw it and shuffle the encounter deck. Okay. So we have Mr. Trombley, who can spawn in the foyer. He's the hunter. Forest, after Mr. Trombley enters play, immediately resolve the hunter and patrol keywords on each other staff member in play. But, like, he's bad stats, but, like, a guy who has a come into play effect like that, I kind of want to do that when he's there's no one else in play, right? Yeah, but he's uh, a tough cookie. Yeah, I know, but let's see what else there is. We have cons uh, Conspicuous Staff, 3-2-3, three, three, spawn nearest crime scene location, prey, most clues, hunter. Yeah, okay, that's so a, that would spawn with you. That's a no-no, personally. Hotel Guest. Uh, that was humanoid. These are all humanoid. Hotel Guest, 112, spawn nearest hall location. Hall. Hall. Yeah, it would be here for me, nearest mm -hmm, hall. Mm -hmm. Second floor hall. Okay. Uh, aloof, patrol, nearest crime scene location. So this would move next enemy phase to me. Forest, at the end of the enemy phase, if Hotel Guest is at crime scene location, add one doom to Hotel Guest. There's a parlay action test, uh, uh, test willpower intellect for three. If you succeed, discard the hotel guest. So this seems like someone I could deal with more. Mm -hmm. Or I could okay. not worry about the clues. Uh, conspicuous staff, hotel guests. Oh, there's four hotel guests total and oh. three conspicuous staff. And Edgar saying innocent on this one. That, so that's part uh, of this. Number of guest enemies in play. That would satisfy that. He's the only guest one. Yeah. Uh, so minus X would become minus one now instead of minus zero. Uh, if there's an innocent enemy in the victory display, reveal another chaos token. So that would go on the victory display because the victory is zero. Yeah. And you may place one of your clues. No. And if you fail and there's an innocent enemy in the victory display, take one horror. So like mm -hmm. makes it worse that they're in the victory display. Yeah, and those innocent ones are easy to kill. <laughs> I kind of want to bring out this guy. But then he spawns with you. Yeah, and I'm in trouble because my gun. You're not ready, I'm right? not ready. Yeah. Could we spawn the other one? I don't want this guy to come in my space and start causing me trouble. But I think I'm gonna do hotel guest. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. That's probably meant to be the easy one that you want to put in play. But we are not ready, right? We've only had one turn. I, I know. So, I know. Yeah. So I'm gonna spawn it at the nearest uh, hall location. Then I'm gonna shuffle. Discard doesn't put them in the victory display. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I see. Parlay. That's why you want to parlay them yes. so they don't go okay. in there. So that's okay. good. That's even better. Okay. That's good. Thank I, yeah. you. I didn't put that together. Yeah, you got to defeat them. Oh, so if you're like a fighter, but that's good. I can use my uh, intellect. And then that just shuffles them back in. Yeah, which is fine. Ish. Just don't want them sitting there gaining doom, right? It's those ones? Yeah. Yeah. They get they get doom. Once they're in the crime scene. Yep. Yeah. Which it Which controls to right now. Yeah. yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, well I got a violent outburst as well. But now <laughs> there is a humanoid, right? Yep. So, so it now do? it's going to uh do, do, do. it readies, moves one location at a time until it reaches your location, engages you. Uh also move here. Engages you, makes immediate attack and one damage. Go. One damage, go. I got it. Uh Yes, we only heal horror off her, so. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Now, do I want to parlay them <laughs> so they don't get discarded? Christiane says, uh, innocent ones are easy to kill. Warning, this stream might be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> Oopsies. Just rub them out. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, now what? It's our turn? Yes, it's our turn. All right. Let's um, keep it flowing. Okay. I mean, I can just take care of this if you want. You're going to parlay? Do you have a way of doing that? Well, I always have backup. Oh, wow. I can do whatever That's I want the test as long you as I want to use that on? No, I don't know. But. You can, uh, but whatever. So my willpower is terrible at one, but my intellect is three. So I could do a three on three. Unless we just want to fight him. But then they're in the victory display, and then that, that makes the Elder Thing token giving make, us give you a horror. horror. If we draw it, yeah. So... But I, I don't know. It's, 
Sounds like you don't want them in there. And and also, ha uh, oh no, having them in play it makes the skull worse. So like, which one do you want to do? I don't know. Skull is more common, right? I think. Mm -hmm. Let's check again. Like I can easily. Yeah, elder thing's only one token in the bag. Oh, yeah. And the cultist is only one token in the bag, and that would just if there's innocent in the victory spell, you draw another token. Which not which, the worst. But it's minus one and another token, so it probably makes it like more odds that you'll be like a minus four or test that or something. You'll draw into the yeah, and a minus four test. Okay. Um. I I could parlay for a four on three. Oh. Or a five on three. Uh, I don't know. You yeah. do what you want. Okay, I'll go first. I'll try to parlay. I'll put these two cards in. Uh, so I'm three, four, five. Five on three. Oh, man. Minus three. And if there's an... Oh, yeah, so that's there's it. not Minus an innocent. Three. And I was five on three, so I fail. Yep. Okay. Well, there's only one of those tokens in there, and you drew it. Um, you have three actions if you want to do it. Whatever you want. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's not you at all. Yep. I mean, I can. Probably not the test I want to do this on, but mm -hmm. I'm not set up to do anything else. So, sure. Is that what you do on the card also? Is there something other benefit you to draw something? Commit only to a skill test you are performing. Oh. Yeah, no. Um, now is when the red token comes out of the bag. Oh, sorry. Actually, let me do this first. So, uh, if two non-weakness cards you two control... Two different. Two different. Yeah. Uh, non-weakness cards you control are committed to a skill test. Draw one card limit once per test. So I did. Oh, okay. Okay. My ability. I'll fold in this one. Um, all right. So let's try. Put that card in. So six, seven, eight, nine, nine on three. Minus one. Killed it. Uh, so this you is parlayed or I you parlayed. It? No, I parlayed. So that's so discarded. discarded. And then um, after you succeed a skill test by two or more, exhaust lucky skill uh, lucky cigarette case to draw a card. Oh, that's good. Symbol. Okay. Uh, and I still have one more action. Clues. And clues. Three on two? I mean, not terrible. There's nothing... I can try. There's nothing bad if I fail. Oh, oh we have we a, new a new YouTube member. member. We have a new YouTube member who clicked the join button down below and became a producer. Steph, thank, thank you, you so much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for thank the support. You. Thank you for committing. Thank That's you awesome. so much. Thank you so much. Um, okay, I am going to just do... Um, oh, when you attempt to move out of the foyer, if there's at least one guest enemy, oh, there's not. Okay, uh, I'm going to try for the test. There's nothing bad on here that will hurt me at this point. So we're doing a three on two. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. Okay. Uh huh. I think. Now, here's the thing. I'm debating because I think you're just going to knock at these clues. Uh, I'm debating on moving to see if I can find clues at other locations mm -hmm. and maybe get another card off before this flips. Sure. Or, or do I go the route of trying to get a few of these things done on here? I think I'm going to ignore these. And try to race and get leads. And hope that the leads are what yeah. helps in this. Okay. I think. I feel like there's like probably an advantage to doing this before this happens. If you have like two leads. And yeah. maybe you're not as much in trouble. But I, I don't know. I'm not sure. And it would give us more I, information. I could just kind of set up and just play some cards. Like I could literally lay out like a, a Necronomicon, the Fragments, 
and a, a laboratory assistant and just be like ready for whatever ish oh no i can't i already have one hand slot filled oh sneaky I wonder if i can just oh. toss that by filling my hand slots probably not right yeah. could i could i just put down two other hand items and get rid of this to free up a slot and then i technically do not have this weapon <laughs> i doubt it right it was part of the story but as i can look and see if it said it can't be discarded i don't know yeah well, there's probably rules on story assets that maybe aren't mm. in there. <laughs> uh, Doesn't say in there, so you're right. It might be just... All right, I am going to... Uh, I feel like I want to play one asset. Let's just throw in the Necronomicon for three. One more secret. Necronomicon, three secrets. My hand slots are full. I'm going to move to the balcony. Which says, the balcony affords a high vantage point over the rest of Arkham. Leaning over the rail, your mind reels at the thought of falling from such a height. It's also a crime scene. Sweet balcony. Uh, choose a, it has an action. Choose a humanoid enemy at sweet balcony and test uh, fight or agility. If you succeed, take one direct horror. Defeat the chosen enemy. If that enemy is elite, deal two damage to it instead. The action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. So they're wanting you to throw people off a balcony. Is what's happening here. I suck at both those tests, so uh, this is something you would probably need to do. Okay, I gotta just come Which that is hilarious, way. like super thematic. Like, throw them off the balcony. Uh, I do get two clues on here, and oh, only two shroud. So this is kind of what I was hoping. Uh, Bob also says, trying to get rid of the murder weapon, huh? Yes, <laughs> I know where this is gonna go. I've watched enough crime TV shows to know what's gonna happen here. Throw it off the balcony. Who was the first person to discover the crime scene? Hmm, maybe they're <laughs> the person committing the crime. Uh, Daniel, I don't think Rob didn't do any of these yet. We're gonna go nope. more on the lead instead of yep. the task. I've, I've decided this playthrough. I'm gonna ignore these for now. I'm yep. sure it's gonna we're punish not, us. We're not messing with the crime scene. But I, man, I wanted to. I could at least complete two of those probably before like bad things happen. But I fear that doing just two of them is the same as doing zero of them. So I, I'm not going to touch it. I don't want to mess with the crime scene. But jo tune in for a future playthrough where I'm sure I'm going to try. I'll build a deck and an investigator that can come in and get those done right away. And we'll like we'll make that the lead investigator on purpose. And we'll go right there and try to see what happens. I think I'm going to just investigate. For five on two. Uh, yeah. Jeff, I love it. Showing your pineapple pizza love with the yes. new emojis. Yes, love yes, it. yes, yes. That's welcome. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, that's the right emoji to use, not the other <laughs> one I put in there. Right emoji. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so I am going to I think I'm just going to put a I, I'm debating like I could test against this to try to get one off. I could uh, for free, I could just spend clues off this to get it off. But I, I think I'm okay at not spending this stuff to get clues. Unless we're really desperate. I want to use it to, like the four of them to deal three damage to an enemy sounds good. Uh, or one to just using this to get plus two on skill tests for Necronomicon. But I'm debating if I can only get one clue right now. I, I might want to see other cards first. I might draw into some cards that allow me to get more clues in less actions. Maybe. I'd, I've already seen one. But I don't know how many of those... What is that? Oh, deduction. Which I, I know I have one more, but I don't know what else I have in the deck really. But 
I'm debating on just playing a library, a library. Use what I got to try to get these off as fast as possible before an enemy gets in my space. But I think with the Necronomicon, I'm okay with like one enemy kind of idea. I also, I mean, we are okay for one more turn, but again, we don't know what this will do and if this will escalate things, so maybe, yeah. but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play the Laboratory Assistant for two. It increases my max hand size by two. Uh, and when she enters play, I draw two cards. Forbidden Tome and Arcane Enlightenment. And because of my ability, once per turn, I'll draw another card. Oh, yeah, here, look, I drew something that helps. It only costs 12. Uh, reduce the cost to play oh extensive God. research by one for each other card in your hand. Discover two clues your location. What the hell? No, 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 no. Oh, I think we might have been down for a second. Oh. But I think we're back now. Oh, yeah. YouTube died. Uh-oh. But I think we're good now. Oh, it looks fine. I, I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, I, I just played Laboratory Assistant as my last action instead of trying to get clues. So just draw a uh, whack ton of cards um, to see maybe if I can do clues next turn. So, I am done. Uh, let's roll with that. Okay. And um, Monsters? None. none. Reset. Draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I get a resource. Got a switchblade. So I drew uh, Wit and Grain. Grin. I don't know. While you control a tome or relic asset, you get plus one intellect. Reaction after you reveal location or put a new location to play Exhaust. Wit and Grain. Search top six cards of your deck for a tome or relic asset. Draw it. Shuffle your deck. Okay, cool. But I already have this one, so she can she, she can go away. Uh, we'll see. All right. And lots of cool cards in my hand. Okay, uh, next okay, is Doom. Doom. Two of three. Oh man, another violent outburst. What the heck? So there's no humanoid enemies. So we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to grab a hotel guest. Yeah, Yogi, sorry. Uh, I did have a turn. My turn was to try to fight that, or parlay that monster two times. And then I tried to get a clue, but I failed. It was a fast turn. So I just grabbed another hotel guest. Okay, boom. Hotel guest, uh, nearest hall. Driven to Madness, <laughs> Revelation, if there are no humanoid enemies in play, Driven to Madness gain search. Otherwise, attach Driven to Madness to the nearest humanoid enemy. Attach enemy gets plus one fight, plus one health, and plus one evade. Attached enemy loses aloof. Investigators cannot parlay the attached enemy. And force after attached enemy is evaded, discard Driven to Madness. So I could just fight her then. Or evade it, discard evade this, it. then parlay. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Wow, so they're really sneaky here, what they're doing. Okay. Yep, yep. Great, our turn. Yep. Oh my god, I need to get this gun in play. Actually, maybe you go first. Because if you do get those two clues, we might get more information yep. before my turn. Yep. That means I'm the one getting all these assets. I don't know if that's good or bad. Or you on your turn can actually fire the action I off. I could fire the action two. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe it's that's true. a good idea. But if you go first and can get the clues, are you able to do that? Yeah, I'll try. Okay. I don't have like a good cost way to get them, but my hand size is increased by two, so it's normally eight, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is first action. I am going to draw, I think. I'm going to draw as a, just an action so I get two cards. One, Cult Invocation. The additional cost to play a Cult Invocation, discard up two cards from your hand. Fight. Oh, it's a fight card. Okay. Then, off my ability, Cryptic Writings. So for zero, you gain two resources. After you draw it during your turn, play it. Oh, I have to do it. Part of an action? Play it. Part of that draw, right? Now that works. I just draw this and then that reaction triggers. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. But I don't know that you have to. It's not an action. It's, oh, no, it's optional, yeah. though. An optional, right? It's not forced. Oh, okay. It's optional, I think, right? Because it would say forced. 
Yeah, that's an optional reaction. Yeah. Which depends if you need if you want like, the resources. Yeah, no, I like it as a skill card too, though. But yeah, I'll probably take the resources. Yeah. I'm going to just play it, gain two resources. I need one more. Yep, sorry. Okay, so with my final two actions, I am going to. Eat uh, a four cost. Right now, it's a. I don't know, I think I just test on this one. But uh, yeah, I'm going to just do a regular intellect test, five on two. Zero. Yeah, whatever. Zero. Yes. So I get one. Pull that back in. One clue there. And then I'll do it again. Five on two. Oh, auto fail. Okay, maybe I can get one. That's what I was hoping, but. <laughs> I don't know, though. All right, done. I have nothing in my hand that can help me unless I want to evade an enemy. Like, I'm ready to evade all day. <laughs> um. I could, as a free action, just uh, fire it off and get one, but then I'm just sitting there with it anyway. Well, I could trigger the build. I could trigger the. No, you you, know? you just try to get one. It's a two shroud. I mean, I know. You got to be able to do but it. But I want a three, and I have nothing that will help me. Oh, okay. Draw first. I I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you just move. Maybe you go deal with an enemy then, or something. Yeah, I could go here because we don't know what that is. I could definitely evade this enemy. Oh, this is the turn where this is gonna flip, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Maybe I should three secrets though for one clue. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I know. It's like half the things mm. used up, and then I don't have my three damage to an enemy engage with me. That's what I'm ho I'm saving it for. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, you just get a clue okay. or whatever is gonna happen happens, which is probably very bad. Like we either a didn't didn't do this quick enough, or b we didn't do this quick enough. That's what's gonna hurt us, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh. Okay. Try. I could draw first one. See what happens. Sure. Let's draw first, first action, see if I get something that will help me. With one. So now I'm at least, I'm up two at least. So that feels a little bit better. So let's then try. So I have three plus one four on two. Minus one, we got it. Boom. Okay, and I still have one action. Oh, this Perfect. is good. This is good. Okay, and then my last action, I will draw do the ability to spend yep. these two yep. clues. We'll draw a lead. Ew. Manager's key. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, revelation. Stained by blood, it says. Oh, put into play in your threat area. When you are defeated, give control of the manager's key to another investigator. Okay. So now, because you just did that, objective, yes. if the investigators control two lead assets, advance. Lead for sure, yep. Okay, uh, so... Hopefully this is good. Gotta start somewhere. It isn't much, but it's all you've got. The only real option now is to explore the rest of the hotel and see what you can learn. Put each of the set aside locations into play. Oh. Uh, okay. Do we want to? <laughs> There's no helpful. Yeah. yeah, we'll see what it. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where they go. go. Yeah, you're so I'm right, looking you're right. right now. I'm trying to figure it out. Right. Uh, so brown plus, plus goes off like this one and back. Hotel roof. Here above this, I would say. Uh, this also uh, leads off the second floor hall. So you could do it on this side, so it's like that. Okay, this one also have. Yeah, it's the same. It leaves off of the second floor hall, leads to room 212, room 245, and hotel roof. And they lead only back to this red square location. Uh, the office is a moon, which comes off the foyer. 
and it goes back. back to the foyer and goes to oh this one the basement oh okay so this so, is all like the down yeah and the basement goes back the basement goes back to this or the basement goes back to the foyer okay so we want to put it like down here yeah of course uh so we need just i don't know uh, let's just move these over here then okay those and then we have the basement that connects from the office or the foyer back. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what else here. Remove the remainder of the leads deck from the game. Done. Depending on which lead assets are in play, shuffle six cards into the encounter deck as follows, along with the encounter discard pile. If alien devices in play. Oh. Manager's key. Yes. Shuffle the three set aside copies of hotel security into the encounter deck. I'll just put them on the discard pile for now because we have more shuffling to do. Uh, so let me keep going. Uh, we have the time worn locket. It's in play. Shuffle three set aside copies of Chilling Presence in the encounter deck. Okay. That's all in there. So you can shuffle, shuffle this with that, that, I assume. Uh, where's the next card? So next is following leads. Discard pile as well, or just? Yeah, the okay. discard pile and those new cards all becoming the new uh, encounter deck. So shuffle the good. I'll shuffle yeah, a few times, different numbers, that kind of thing. Uh, follow leads. Thanks to the leads you discovered in the suite, you're fairly sure whoever framed you is still in the hotel. The only real question is where to find this person. Looking at the leads you found, you feel like the answers are right in front of you. Objective. Learn more about your leads by placing clues on them using abilities on some locations. The more clues, the better. At the end of the round, you may choose to advance if each lead asset has at least two clues on it. Hint. If you wish to present this evidence to the police, you may wish to have at least four clues on each lead asset instead. Okay. Holy clues, Batman. Holy clues. Okay, so, so that's your So job. we need to find where the time-worn locket or whatever room lets us put clues on lead assets or specific lead assets. But I assume the time worn locket, whatever we just shuffled in, might remove stuff off it or affect oh, us because we have man. it, or whoever has that one gets this punishment. Who knows, right? So the manager's key. Maybe you go to the oh oh. Oh. The, the, these have text on this one has actual text on the front of it. Or the back, I'm not sure. Uh the door to the office is locked. You cannot enter the office unless you control the manager's key. I was right. Okay. Basement gains. Not this card, but the basement gains. Uh, action, test agility. This is all you. Attempt to pick the lock. If you succeed, reveal the office and immediately move to it. <laughs> oh, so I could go here. So you have to go to the basement. You have to have the manager's key. And that's the only way you're getting in the office, which I'm sure is your path to go. That is all you. Good thing you're down there. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. That's your, that's your goal now. So we draw really bad cards right now that make it so we're wasting time doing other stupid things. Now the time worn locket. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with that. Let's see if any other locations we just put into play have something on it. Room two twelve. Door to room two twelve is locked. You cannot enter room two twelve for the second floor hall. Second floor hall gains. Action test agility of four to attempt to pick the lock. If you succeed. Reveal room 212 and move, immediately move to it. Oh, that was my shuffle that I didn't... Okay, have. so that room is something interesting. May or may not help us. Room 245, the roof. I, I don't know what those do. The restaurant's still chilling. So I'm looking at this, actually, and I think because I have the key, I can move in. But if you don't have the key, you have to go through the basement. Oh, okay. That's what I, oh, what I that, would guess. Right? But I don't know. Because that one said you cannot enter. 
This one doesn't say so this that. This one says the office is locked. You cannot enter the office unless you control the manager's key. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so I then if you, you could didn't... Just, you can just walk right in. Okay, perfect. And then if you didn't have the key, like if you were down yeah. here, you could go through the basement. Okay, I get it, I get it. You're picking the... Okay, yeah. okay, good. So then I can go... That makes sense. Edgar got it too. Yeah, you're right. Okay. It's two separate things. So yes. they basically gave away if nobody drew the key, you could still get in there. Yeah, so that's obviously important. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, enemies? No. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, right. Uh, so she's in the second floor hall. Is she? Uh, she's going to the nearest crime scene. Yep, which is room 225. Okay. What else does she say? Uh -huh. uh, and then at the end of the enemy phase? Yep. We're going to add one doom to the hotel guest if she's at a crime scene. So this is going to advance. Well, this would advance too, so that's fine, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Okay. And then we'll reset. Ready up any cards? Draw. The gun. Bretta. That's my good one, actually. So maybe I get that in play instead. I found higher education. Do you need a reason? Yep, please. Up to five. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, doom. Adding yep. a doom, but then we'll take the murder. That and this one away. So the agenda deck advances, arousing suspicions. As you retrace your steps to make sense of the situation, there is a pounding on the door to the suite. This is the police, a stern voice calls out. We've gotten reports of disturbance. Open up. With the set aside Sergeant Moreau into play in the foyer. Okay, let's check out this guy. So he's a story asset. Two days until retirement. He's, he's grumpy. Mm -hmm. uh, ally police. Sergeant Moreau may be assigned damage and or horror dealt to an investigator at this location. At his location. Even if he is uncontrolled. Got a reaction. When Sergeant Moreau has dealt any amount of damage or horror, exhaust him. Deal that much damage or horror to a non-innocent enemy in his location. Any investigator at Sergeant Moreau's location may trigger this ability. So he helps you with some fighting? Yep, but how do we move him? I, I don't know. You just have to have enemies come to the foyer. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. And then we have spawn one. Set aside Arkham Officer Enemy at the second floor hall. If there are three or four investigators in the game... On another set aside Arkham officer enemy at the foyer. One. But one Arkham officer is an enemy card. Three, three, two. Humanoid, police, innocent, aloof, patrol, nearest location with clues. Forced at the end of the enemy phase, move one clue to Arkham officer from its location, flipping it to its doom side. Parlay. Test willpower. Three. If you succeed, Either automatically evade Arkham Officer or flip one of his doom to its clue side and take control of it. These innocent guys are annoying. Yep. So you can mess with the innocents, but it's going to be risky and could cost you for progressing that way. Yeah. But if we can... But this one, there's no way to get rid of him. Well, I guess we can... We can you fight him. Yeah, we can fight him only. He's aloof, so you got to like engage him and then do a fight. And he's three damage, so he goes to victory display, though. That's good or bad or what, but... Okay. All right, next. Uh, then, shuffle each other set-aside Arkham Officer enemy into the encounter deck, along with the encounter discard pile. Two more. All right. The lead investigator draws the set aside. What have you done, weakness? Oh no. Time now. What have you done? Madness, revelation. Put what have I done into your play into your threat area. As additional cost for you to parlay, you must discard a card at random from your hand. Action. Shuffle what have you done into your deck. Hmm. Okay. Uh, for each of the following circumstances, which is true, place one clue on room 225 from the token bank and place one doom on an Arkham officer. So if the investigators have not cleaned up the blood, okay. the investigators have 
have not hid the body, and the investigators have not tidied up the room. So oh, three, so clues three clues on this crime scene place. And then one doom on an Arkham officer, only which is only that one. guy. Holy. Okay. Wow. So That's next. And then we have... Now we have the last agenda showing here. Special investigation. You're not the only ones interested in the strange events at Excelsior tonight. And the police are on to you. You're still not sure what happened or if it could happen again. Forced. After an investigator at the same location as a ready police enemy discovers one or more clue at the location or deals damage to a humanoid enemy... Each ready police enemy at the location engages the investigator and makes an immediate attack. So don't do anything shady while the police are looking. Okay. While the police are present. Yeah, this is nuts. Hey. Well, I'm going to the basement. Or to the office. Yes. Let me just go first. Sure. Now, here's my question. Do I put my gun in play just in case first? Because I would need to gain a resource, put my gun in play, and then move. feel like maybe I do just in case. Yeah. So, action one, I'll gain a resource. Action two, we're going to play the Beretta for four. This is going to get four ammo tokens. And then I can exhaust the Beretta and spend one ammo. Fight, you get... Plus four, fight, and deal plus one damage for this attack. If you succeed by two or more, either ready the Beretta or this attack deals an additional damage. If you succeed by four or more, do both. Okay, that was action two. And then action three, we're going to move to the office because I have the key. Three shroud, two, four clues, and test intellect of uh, zero. For each point you succeed by, move one clue controlled by this investigator to the manager key, if it's in play. Oh, that's who you get that's clues on That's cool. It. Okay, okay. So, one, two. That's good for me. So you succeed have to get by, clues move. off there first, then you do this action. As long as you succeed by, like, four, you can move them all in one shot. Oh, man, but, but I have to get them all. that's a lot of work. That's a lot of, yeah. And it's three shroud. Good luck. Like, I need to go there, but I don't have the key, so... But it's open now. You don't need the key. Yeah, but... Uh... For each point you succeed by, you may move one clue controlled by an investigator in the office to manager's key. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so you just have to be in the office. So I have to be in the office, I have to have clues, and then I can move them to the manager's key wherever the hell it is in the game. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. At least that's what it seems like. I have a whole path full of garbage to get through here, I and uh, I don't know how that's going to happen, but that's we're going to try. All right. So I'm thinking of already doing crazy things like just coming into this space, becoming engaged with the hotel guest, and then just, uh, I don't know, trying to get clues off the location before bad things happen. You can just move right through her because she's aloof. Oh, that's true. We'll keep adding doom while she's at a crime scene. But then, now that we know this, if you work on clues, maybe I just come and start clearing the enemies. Yeah, true. Because I can come fight this guy on my next turn, one, okay. two. Um, so, what I can what do... Oh, well, they're all weak, which is good. This costs four, and I get two clues off location. One shot, but if I draw a card, I get two cards. This becomes only a two cost card to get two. So I could draw and then just move in and play this to get two off of there and do a regular test. But both, oh yeah, she won't be hitting me. That's right. Mm -hmm. There's another way to get more clues. So we technically want. Excuse me, we want eight clues, right? If we can to yep. get four and four. But we don't know how, we to, don't get, know how to get we don't the know clues how to get them on the torrent to the little locket yet. But that could be like hiding room two one two, two four five. Yeah. That could be in the restaurant. That could be on the roof. Right. We haven't even seen if we gone in the second floor hall yet. Maybe that has something in there. But I have a feeling it's one of the new locations. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like the basement's probably one. Like we had one, two, three, four, five enter play. There were five leads. Okay. I'm so gonna we'll guess. Have to go I'm gonna the, guess yeah. that you know we gotta actually look at all five of the new locations, find the time worn locket, get her done. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh huh. 
Could also just try to get rid of her fighting her. Oh no, I have to engage first. So annoying. Hate that. Where is she going to put the clues? On, on the, herself. On herself. Yeah, you can just get rid of her and then they're all gone. Great. Or the Doom, sorry. Doom goes on. Yeah. Him. I think I'm going to defeat him with the Necronomicon. I think I can defeat him with the gun. But I can do I can do three. Oh, if you want. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you want to do that. But I'm, I just might get stuck trying to get by. Like, he's going to move into my space. If it has most clues, actually, he's going to go this way now. Oh, oh, he won't come into here. That's perfect. That's perfect. Actually, he's going to be here, and then I can fight him with this yes, guy. That's good. That's it. good. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Fight the police in front of the sergeant. I'm sure that's all good. Well, the sergeant doesn't do anything, right? It's only a ready police and... Oh, he's not an enemy. No, he's not. So we're good. <laughs> After an investigator at the same location as a ready police enemy. Yeah. Yeah. So he's... No. Uh, ready police enemy discovers one or more clues at the location or deals damage to a humanoid enemy. Okay, so either way, I'm going to, um, uh, I'm going to draw, I think, unless I'm playing something that just draws anyway. I mean, since he's not going here, maybe I don't need to rush there. I could go. I could just try to get this one. He has a low shroud. And then just. Yeah. All right. I'm going to draw first action. One. And off my reaction, two. Encyclopedia and the disc. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. My hand limit is ten. That's fine. So I could reduce the cost of this. This will only cost me two. So I am going to. I'm going to see other clues. Yeah, right? I was thinking the same thing. Like, likely, even, I'm sure not all of these are zeros. Yeah, so I'm going to move in here, and then for two, because I have ten other cards in my hand, and it reduces the cost of this 12 cost card by one for each other card in my hand, I'm going to spend two and play extensive research, and I'm just going to discover two clues off of here. That is my turn. Okay. Uh, enemies. enemies. So, so this one, uh, patrol nearest crime scene location already there, and we know at the end of turn if you just want to throw a doom on there anyway. Okay. This one, uh, patrol nearest uh, location, nearest location with clues. Oh, it is going. Oh, here. with clues. Oh, he is going here. That's fine. That's He's aloof fine. too, but yeah. Okay, that's. I forgot. Yeah, it's not most clues. It's nearest clues. So you can run away from that. Forest at the end of the enemy phase. Move one clue. Oh, yeah, that's why I wanted to clear it. <coughs> what did it do with it? Sorry? I shouldn't have drew. I should just move in there and try to yank all the clues uh, for more money. Oh, flips it to its doom side and puts it on him, right? Yeah. Okay. But if I'm going to defeat him anyway, it's just that's less clues in the game that I can grab, which is... But hopefully there's more. Okay, so we soak that up. Great. Okay. I don't know if I'm just defeating him is good because then we lose access to all these clues, or do I just test willpower to parlay? But that only flips one clue and like puts it back. Like yeah, flip one clue to set. Oh no, I take control of the clue. Okay, one, two, three, four, so that's another five, way to get six, clues. Well, you're right. There is going to be more clues on one of these unrevealed locations. Hopefully, sure. hopefully. Okay, and then ready, and I'll equip yours. Uh, draw. Found another weapon. Found another and... weakness. Oh no. Put it into my threat area. When your turn begins, discard one non-weakness card at random from your hand. Two actions to discard it. 
okay, sure, whatever. Okay. Uh, I will be placing a doom on the agenda. Two of 12. Oh, two, three, four, five, six. Six of 12. Oh, no. We do have to get rid of him quick. Like, already halfway there. Yep. Uh, holy crap, man. That's so boring. Um, Violent outburst. Why I keep seeing the same card over and over again? I know we keep shuffling back in, but really? How many are in there? That's crazy. But there is a humanoid. There is humanoid. Play. So, uh, otherwise, the nearest humanoid enemy readies. Moves one location at a time until it reaches your location. It's already there. It makes an immediate attack. Uh, assuming I choose the nearest humanoid. They both just hit for one. Yep. So I just need a three damage. I'll take these two and keep them. Harvey's at three out of seven. Uh, yep. Yeah. I got this one again. Uh, if there are no humanoids, there is. Attach this. It gets plus one fight, plus one health, and plus one evade. So again. Loses aloof. Here's humanoid. So again, you get to choose this. So do we put Hold it? Hold on. This one makes this one lose aloof too. So I oh. should have been engaged with it, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I should take a damage, another damage for doing that other card. That um, yeah, they it would have done oh, attack of opportunity, right? Oh yeah, I didn't even realize. Now this guy, he yep. So whatever. Now he'll engage with you as well, because now he yep. doesn't have a loop. Great. Yep, yep. Okay. Next. That's that. Our turn. All right. Sweet. At least you can get rid of the one, right, you said? Yep. Maybe you go first. Because I can only get to you. I can't even help you. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm going to parlay, which I need to discard an extra card at random for that first. You have to do... Oh, no, parlay is fine? Or is that create an attack? Nope. Parlay, okay. resign, fight, or evade are okay. all legit. Okay. So card at random to parlay against the Arkham officer. I'm going to do that action on the card. And your obsessive will also lose a card, right? At random, but when your turn starts. Yep, so take away so one. one. Done. Leave no fragments. Okay, great. Zero. And higher education. Okay, great. Whatever. Uh, so I'm going to parlay. It's a test of three. I have four to start. Let's throw in an arcane enlightenment for two more. Uh, so we're at six on three. I don't think we can do that. Sorry. Uh, investigators cannot parlay. Oh, okay. Sorry, okay. sorry. Never mind. So you get one of those cards back. So only the first card. So the second card. one. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I have to... I have to evade to even get rid of this. But you could just use that to fight him, right? And just get but he does no, because now he has one extra health. So I can't just oh. do it with that. Yeah, this is all. Yeah, yeah. This whole driven to madness thing messed us up. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, let me just take a look at my cards now. Let me see. Yeah, I have a way of dealing three damage to an enemy. That spends four things off of here, and I only can do that once. I have this extra fight, but he is an extra fight of four. I'm at one. If I do a fight off here, it's two, three. Hmm. So three on four of a fight test is not good, but I could add one, two, three, four, four cards from hand that could also bump my fight a little bit more. Yeah, I forgot I can't even get clues off of him. Oh. And evade, my evade's only two, and he's got a plus one evade, so he's a three. The so same problem for evading. Yeah, I just want to punch him. Yeah, because if you can evade this one, then the Driven Menace is gone, and then you could use that to kill him. I can't evade him. Yeah. I can get, like, four... I could do six on three evade. But it's, like, a risk. All I'm doing is getting rid of this card to then what? Then, then do a parlay? No, that, well, then you could use that to fight him, because then his yeah. bonuses are gone. But again, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, it's just, like, so many cards. Yeah. So many resources. I don't know the best way to deal with this guy without just like emptying my whole hand. Let me think. Let me think. Man. Mm. 
You want it, yeah, you want to get rid of him first because Absolutely. of this ability that will make him attack. Get rid of the other yep. guy. Okay, we're going to try and evade, I guess. Uh, it's not my thing, but I'll try it. Um, so let's do evade. He's a three, I'm a two. Spend one off Necronomicon. Get plus two for the skill. Test. So that is... Oh, brain dead here. Uh, four on three. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put in... A forbidden Tome. I'm going to throw in... Cyclopedia. For another two, so we're at six on three. Yeah. That's okay. Minus one. Yeah. We're good. Uh, so that gets rid of this stupid thing. After attach enemies invaded, discard this. Uh, he's invaded, so he goes to the location. Exhausted, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, but then he's not engaged with me to deal three oh. damage to him? This is so silly. I'm losing my mind. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm going to have a meltdown. It is going to happen because <laughs> game mechanics are frustrating me. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Or, sorry, not game mechanics. It's uh, the encounter deck doing its job. Yeah, so I can't just do this. He's not engaged with me. So I now have to engage him, even though I just was engaged with him. Like, what a waste. Like, I shouldn't have gone that route. Uh, I just, yeah. Okay. I should have just dealt him the three damage, then evaded him. Yeah, let's just say I did it the other way. Sure. Yeah, screw this. Yeah, I'm doing it that way. We'll spend four secrets. He would have three damage. Then I evade him. Which then he Then loses. he leaves. Now he's normal health. And now he would die. And now he dies. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm not sure, Edgar. I don't know if you need to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have one, one secret left on the Necronomicon already. Uh, okay. So that, we're doomed down a bit. So that was two actions. Um, I have this one engaged here. Let's... I just... Wait, uh... It's for one. I can't keep taking damage. I only can take three more and I'm out. Don't think I have any heal. I guess I can take one extra on top of that. I think I have to evade again. Two on three. <sighs> I could spend this to make it four on three. Yeah, you really need to be the one doing these evades. Like I know. Yeah, the enemies are your thing. I know. So yeah. But I can't even. Uh, I know. One, I know. two, three. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I it's can just get like, to you, but that's it. Yeah. Actions. I will do. I'll come up that way. I don't know, using my Vault of Knowledge for two evade is like such a kick in the nuts. I want to put this card into play so bad. I know I'm going to see more enemies. Do you think you could fight this one with your uh, dagger? I could, but it's two, two fight. I only would get three fight. And I would need to do the one that gives me horror. So hold on, do I have fight symbols? Oh, maybe I could just fight it with cards here, hold on. As an additional cost to play a call invocation, discard up two cards from your hand. Fight. This attack uses uh, intellect of five. Ooh, instead of fight, you get plus one intellect and deal one damage for this attack for each card discarded as part of this cost. But don't have to discard two cards if I don't want to. Up to two cards. 
no may. An additional cost to play a cult invocation, discard up to two cards from your hand. I wish it said you may in there, unless maybe it's forced. Maybe you don't have to. You guys know, can I just discard like none or one? I'm not sure. For some reason, FFG didn't use the word may, so I, I, maybe they did that on purpose. Because I have to, if I have to, I have to discard them. I know we don't always get the correct answers in the chat, but if anyone knows, I'll just go with whatever you guys say. <laughs> we'll get comments later telling us we're wrong. But, uh... Elvin, thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Bill, Bill says it's up to, up to, up to. Up to two. Up to implies zero, may. I think that implies options. Or it could just imply you can still play it even if you have zero other cards in hand or one other card in hand. Yeah, because if you don't see have how, to... See how it's like ambiguous? How it's like bad design, bad templating? See? Um, although you'll be multitasking because playing... Oh. oh, nice. Enjoy. Yeah. She, oh, she's back now. Oh, yeah, I see. She left she's and came back. back. Ah, I hate <laughs> Welcome back, Terry. <laughs> I just saw her other comment now. I see. Okay. I'm like, what does that have to do with this? Playing Gloomhaven, what? I get it. All right. Uh, so we'll just do the up two thing. We could do this for two, and we fight this instead of getting a horror, but... So, additional cost. So, this will be a five on two. Yeah, I'll just play it like that for two. Five on two. That use the first line of that one. Oh, I need to discard one card to get the plus damage. Which which you want? The first line. Or are you doing? The no, I'm not doing this action. I'm choosing this action. But yeah, so I can't do two fight actions and the same fight. I don't think that's allowed. Uh, they're not random. They're not random. So let's just pitch higher education. Or actually, this one just has one. No, I want to put her in a play, I think, at some point. Keep me alive. Uh, okay, uh, so that is... I played one extra card. So I get plus one, five, six on two. Six on two, and I deal two damage if, I, if I'm successful. Ditch a card for the minus four. Four. Six on two, you're good with minus. Oh, he was saying just do one, so that oh, even yeah, if you yeah. got the minus four. Oh, well, I need yeah, it. Yeah. I need it for the extra damage because that stupid attachment. Yeah. Minus one, we're good. <laughs> okay, so get the f out of here. He's a hotel guest. So victory display. This guy is victory oh, he's display. Oh, Yep. Uh, this goes back in the discard pile. I'm sure to be shuffled back in and drawn again over and over. Lame. Uh, all right. This goes here. And I'm done. All right, I'm going to move up because this is I'm not in a good spot here. Um, my question, though, to you is I can't get to you anyways. Do I move through the basement so we can see information and I move up this way? You do what you want. Uh, yeah, I, I'm okay with you flipping cards, but yeah. yeah, there's no enemies now. Yeah, so I need to... I, I need to... Um, Harvey Walter's a boss. <laughs> I know. He's like the best guy <laughs> in the game, obviously. He's such a fighter. Old man's taking on all the enemies. Okay, I'm going to move to the basement so we have the information because I'll be really sad if we get all the way up here. It's not up here and it is down here and I was there. So uh, 100%. I'm going to move for one. We'll go to the basement. Uh, four shroud, two clues, test, intellect of one. If you succeed, move a humanoid enemy at any location once towards the basement. We should have known. We should have known not Ooh. to go there. Why? Because if I just look at the names, Sinister Solution, Alien Device, and Tome of Rituals. One of those is in the basement over the Time Worn Locket. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, Go yeah, ahead. The, the Tomb of Rituals is like, this one. Think okay. of the creepy basement. Is yeah, that, you're right. Is that where you're going to find what you need to learn about the tome? Or yeah. the uh, or the, the locket? No, it's probably one of the rooms. It's a bedroom, yeah. It's a bedroom for sure, but at least we know. The alien the alien stuff is the roof. The alien stuff's on the roof. Okay, that's so that's my call. Okay, so let's not go to the roof. Okay, so we're going that's to the... That's what I guess. I, I don't know. We're going to the rooms then. <laughs> so that was action one, action two. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. One, two, and we'll go to the second, uh, second floor. Then I'll be, uh -oh. then I'll be beside uh -oh. you. Uh-oh, what's in the second floor hall? I don't know. More clues. Uh, yep, two shroud, two clues. Uh, after you enter this location, you may immediately move to a connecting location. If you do, reveal a random token from the chaos bag. If it's a 
uh, oh. symbol, uh, draw the top card of the encounter deck. Mm. I would do it. I would do it. I'm Where gonna... are you going, though? What are you trying to I'm do? I'm going up one of these. Okay. Uh, well, you can't get into this room without testing agility, right? So I, I, I don't know. You might want to stay there to testing do... Testing agility? No, no, but listen. This would be a move effect, which I don't know if you can combine. Yeah, so what you need to do is this action is different. Oh, I see. You need to do like a test action, which obviously this move wouldn't get you in there. Because it says you cannot enter. I mean, that's the other thing. Can you move to locations before you enter? I, that's what I'm not sure. I forget. This is like a basic 101 thing that I somehow don't remember. But when a door is locked, can you technically move on to the location and just don't flip it until you've done what is on here? Well, that's a great question. I think that's what you're supposed to do, right? You don't have to be adjacent to pick the lock. You want to be at, at the place, or is it not? I, again, it's, it's a dumb question, I feel, because I should know the answer. But because if, if you could just move on to it, and then you do the test later. No? no. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I can go to the other room. I can go to room 245. If that's what you want to... Oh, now Bob is saying it. <laughs> this happens every Arkham card game stream. We get... Different answers in the chat, and then after in the comments, we get people saying the chat was wrong. You shouldn't have listened to them. Here is the rules page where, or the FAQ entry where the correct answer is. And but there's also that balance of like, I just want to keep playing and keep the show going, right? It's like I don't want to stop and look at rules all the time, every time, especially when it's been like a long stream, you know, all that kind of thing. But um, and part of me when I'm asking the chat, if I get wrong answers, but it's the majority is giving me the wrong answers, I'm just gonna roll with it anyway. So. Yeah, I think Edgar yeah, might be it's right. It's funny the first two were conflicting. I know, it is funny. But I think Edgar might be right on this because as the test is in the hall, though, which makes sense because the way this is worded is it says, second floor gains, test agility of four to attempt to pick the lock. If you succeed, reveal room 2212 and immediately move to it. Yeah. So we're not even on it yet. Okay, that makes so sense. So I would assume yeah. that it's no. Yeah. Yeah. Which, that's why I assume it always works. That's the way we always do it. Yeah. But I always worry that we'll come into a situation where they just change how that works and you're allowed to move on to it, but you can't flip it until something, something. But yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah, I so... should have read the card very slowly and clearly, and I would would have made sense. Thank you, everybody. I think I'm going to then So just... we cannot enter it no. until you've done an agility. So you'd have to do that from here, but you could allow this effect to move you, but you're drawing a bet token, and if you draw any symbol... I pull an encounter. You pull an encounter card, which could bring an enemy engaged with you, That's could... Incredible. Make you do tests, get horror, could, I don't know, make you drop a, clues. I, I don't know who knows. Know, but it's a free move. It is free. Most well, likely it's going to be a card that brings a human enemy into play. It seems like that's, or, or that makes them better. Or gain surge if there's no humans. So if you don't even care about going there anyway. But we do need, I don't know. We don't know which one is the one that lets you. I put, don't know either. Mm -hmm. But that's what you have to decide right now is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Don't put yourself further away from the one you want to go to if that's the one. But if you don't care about that one right now, then just let it move you go to this one. But you are the agility person. Do not yeah. think because I'm coming through no. here, I'm going to be the one who's going into that no, room. No, I think you're going down yes, here. Yes, 100%. So you could get stuck over here, and, and then you're like, wait, okay, I should have just stayed there. For safety of the playthrough, I will not. That's the thing. So it's like, it, yeah, is it worth going there now and, and getting know. a... You're right. I would do it personally because I, I love risking and getting free actions of movement but you're more ready for a fight than I am. I wouldn't do it as Harvey, but if I was ready for a fight, yeah, I'd move, and if they threw an enemy on top of me, no big deal. But yeah. again, we don't know where we're trying to go anyway, so... Okay, I'll wait, because then I can move there and do the agility. I have maybe, lots maybe of agility stuff. Yeah, so, okay. But that's cool that I can still do this coming through here also. Like, on my way down here, I can help me move there faster, you know what I mean? Like, it's after you enter, so... I, I may enter it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. and, and do that to get down to the office faster. Yeah. But it might give me it an enemy. It might give you an enemy or something bad. Yeah, and then it's like, it's not worth the, the trouble. Yeah. So it's okay. like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, second floor is scary. Uh, that is my turn. I'm going to stay where I am. Yogi with the best advice. Read the card because some scenarios do it differently. <laughs> best advice out of the old chat so far. <laughs> you are correct. All right. Uh, enemies? Uh, Nothing. no. Okay. okay. Ready? Ready. He's ready. Draw. Draw. Arcane Enlightenment. 
and a lock picks. I think I got one in my hand too. Gained a resource. Gained a resource. Uh, okay, doom, please. Doom. I draw a card because I'm lead investigator. Uh oh. Hotel security would have been what you would have drawn. Oh, four, three, man. two, which probably would have been better. On nearest empty location. So this is empty, right? Because empty is no enemies or or our allies and stuff, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, our investigators. I think I could do it here, which is where I think you want them to push them off the balcony, right? Technically. Hunter, though, he retaliates. If there are at least one guest enemy in play. Uh, no, there's not, right? Nope. Hotel security loses Hunter and gains patrol. Nearest location with a guest enemy. Yeah, hits for two. He is from. Oh, he's one of the ones we added from the uh, the key deck, like the because you had the manager's key. Oh yes. Yeah, I'll but put then, him on the balcony. But then you'd have to go to the balcony this turn to throw him off. I don't do those tests. It's not me. It's you. Two, and I can try. Yeah, I can try. He's and not he's an not... innocent, so he just goes to here. I think. Hold yeah. on, let's see. He's not elite. Choose human. Choose a humanoid enemy at sweet balcony. He is humanoid. Test fight or agility of four. If you succeed, take one direct horror and defeat the chosen enemy. If that enemy is elite, deal two damage instead. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. So if you think you can roll in there with like six agility plus. Yeah, I can. You can one shot a three health or fight enemy or we leave him and he's going to be running around the board. Oh, yes, I can do that because I have something in my hand that I think. But it, that's also a distraction. I know, but I have something so that can help me push move forward. back. I can help. I have something that can oh, help me okay. move back. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try on my You turn. might be able to grab a clue from there while you're there, too. Potentially. That's the other thing. It's a nice low shroud location. So I, I don't know. Okay. Just throwing out some options. All right. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't get an enemy. Kidding. Blood on your hands. Revelation. Test a willpower of two. Increase the difficulty of the test by one for each innocent enemy in the victory display. Okay, we have one, right? Two. 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 Uh, yep, two innocents in the victory display. Oh, I'm definitely failing this test, so let me read what it says if I fail. Uh, if you fail, take two horror. If you are at a crime scene location, you must also choose and discard cards from your hand. Discard a card for me. I am not. Not at a crime scene. You're so at all. So I will have to take two horror, which is fine because I can put it on Lonnie. Okay, so yeah, I'm testing one on four. By what you fail by? No, if no. you fail, oh, okay. just take two yeah, horror. Yeah. yeah. Uh, minus three. Uh, you may place. One of your clues on the location to treat this as a minus one instead. I don't have any and no. So two horror, I'm going to put on Lonnie because she can heal horror. Oh, wow. Okay. And then not a crime scene, so I don't have to discard a card. Our turn. Our turn. You want me to go first? Because I can do that, I think. And do the matter. throw them off the belt. Probably matters. Go ahead. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to move. One, two is not aloof or anything so he's engaging you right he's engaging yep. me but then i'll do this action it doesn't provoke attack for opportunity so nope. test of four or agility so, right now i have five. First, i'm gonna put in this event oh is a skill card oh right right it's an evade yeah, oh it's so an evade oh it's never, its mind. never mind never mind i mean you can just no i want i no, i want to just put the two the two in for skills yes so five, five seven. seven seven on four seven This in for eight. Or there's a red token in the bag, so just you might in mm. the future. <laughs> careful, careful. Yep. I think eight on four is like because there's only a minus four is as low as we can go right now. Yeah. Or no, yeah, yeah. There's one minus four, right? And then two cards. Well, let that'll let me draw a card because I played two cards in. Okay. Eight on four. Minus three. So we're good. So we throw him over the balcony. But, can you go back in here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then that just goes there. But then this card says, uh, for each point you succeeded by, after resolving this, you may immediately move to a connecting location to a maximum of three. I only actually succeeded by one. Yeah. So I get to just go back to here. And that is my last. I wasn't 
Yeah, definitely would have been better if I could have moved one yeah. more, but that's oh, okay. Oh, I didn't realize that's what you had, because then you'd want to really overkill. That's okay, though. But, like, a card per move, then, and is that worth it? I don't know. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. That's okay. Okay, my turn. Uh, start of my turn. Card mm -hmm. one. Random mm -hmm. non-weakness card from my hand. Oh, sorry, and sorry, I put in two cards, so I'm just going to draw one. In enlightenment. Yeah. From mine. I got a cheap shot. Uh, you could draw an extra card once per oh, round, yeah? I think. Um, but I wouldn't have, would I have been with you? Oh, no, 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 you wouldn't. Yeah, never mind, never mind. Yeah. You're only on my location now. Yeah, yeah never mind, never Thank mind. Thank you. Um, but did you just use it for yourself? Not yet. Oh. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm literally just going to go move, move, and move. And yeah. just, that's it. Like, I, I don't think I want to use this risky one. Yeah, or I could like, yeah, stop here or stop here. I probably would stop here, maybe, and then uh, just try to get that clue. Yeah, because then if something bad I, I... happens, you are with a sergeant, so you can use him for um, potential damage or horror soak. Okay. All right, one, I think I will draw. You could get stuck there, right, if an enemy... It no, it still moves you, uh, I think. You may move immediately to a connecting location. Yeah, you move, and then you draw. Ah, uh, I see, I see. So I could be with this cop guy. I mean, you can take your chances. I hate those cards, I man. Know, They've all been terrible. horrible. They'll just waste my time. But so does wasting an action where I could get a free move. That may not even hurt me. Gamble, gamble, gamble. I don't know. No. Oh, I'll just move there. And then I'm going to just do a five on to trying to get a clue. Classic old investigate with no other fluff. Minus three. You got it. You got it. Give me the clue. Three clues. All right, done. Okay. Monsters. Monsters, no. Nothing. Yikes. They all fell off the balcony. Reset. Reset. Ready up anything, exhausted. Draw a card. Another cheap shot. And I've got another plan. And another resource. All right. Okay, Doom. Doom. So we're at four out of 12. Okay, I found a hotel guest, which we're going to spawn at the nearest hall location, which is where I am. So this just drops here. It's aloof, patrol, all that business. End of the enemy phase, we're going to add a doom. If it's at a crime scene, it's not. Okay. Oh, I found another one. Okay, nearest hall will be here. Yep. Not a crime scene yet. Okay. Okay, our turn. You want me to, well, to it doesn't matter what you're doing i literally i'm just gonna move in here try to investigate and then i would do my test of moving a whole bunch of clues first i think unless i have some other card to set me up Oh, start of my turn. I got to discard a card at mm. random, right? Yep. No more plan. I don't have a plan. Okay. Move in. I'm going to. I think I'm just going to getting just drawing. Maybe I get something that helps me 
four because this one test I want to move like all four. Yeah. Yeah. I should. Okay. Um. Could try to get rid of some of this junk too, but. The parlay one's not terrible if you're not yeah, I don't doing care that, about one. that one. I could just get rid of this now and chill there, but again, what's going to happen? I'm going to draw an enemy and then it's going to make this so much harder. Uh, and I don't want to be taking a tax opportunity right now. <laughs> I have a nice clear. I just wish I had one more clue. I wish I'd just gotten that one clue off that police guy before I, I left, kind of thing. But it was just too many resources and actions. If I could just have four right now, I would just do this test, throw in a bunch of things, boom, move it all onto the key. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we, you, but we still have the rest of the story to, you know, find out where we're even going for more clues. And also debating a path of taking another resource to put this character into play instead, and then giving me one plus one uh, intellect to. But then she's gone. I haven't really used her for like soaking up anything. But then I lose my plus one hand or plus two hand. But I mean, I'm not really holding lots of cards. So I also have this to get extra plus on the skill test. All right. Let's go with. Uh, I'll just do a classic. Um, investigate a five on three. Yep, we're just going to do five on three. Zero. Yeah. Got it. Yoink. And the last action, I'm going to test zero uh, intellect. I'm coming at it with five. Yep, I'll just do the five. Five on zero. If I can just pull up. Uh, minus one or zero or you know all that kind of thing would be nice. Mm -hmm. Plus one's even better. Oh, that's the best. Get well, the well get more than enough, but yeah. All right, so all these are going on to the key. Okay. But each one I succeed by. That was amazing. Yep. Yeah. Done my turn before the enemy showed up at the office. Okay. Now you got to do some work on your end. So I'm going to move for one. Then I'm going to attempt this one. I'm not choosing that ability. Of course. Uh, so I. Okay. I so it's a test, test of agility, agility of four. four to attempt to pick the lock. If you succeed, reveal this room and immediately move to it. Amazing. Okay. Now do it. Make it happen. Make it happen. So uh, let's do five on four, five, six, seven. But I want to be up four so that you don't almost have to be up four. I know, but I really want this to succeed. Oh, okay. Don't forget your ability. Oh, minus three. Minus three. Yeah. Okay, so then I put in more than two cards, so I get to draw a card, flip away, which is a fade. Okay, then I get to move here, reveal. Read it to this. us. What's the gap? What's happening in room 212? 212. It is four shroud, four clues. Test intellect of three. If you succeed, move any number of clues controlled by the investigator to the sinister solution. What's not important? I don't, I don't know want... what the hell the sinister solution is. Okay, that's not what we're oh, looking Oh, that's for. another one of those assets. Not the room. One, two. Well, oh, I think it's room 245. So I'm going. Ah! <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. But it might not be. I, I don't know. Right? It's either that or the roof. One, that was the move to there for two, and then we'll move back then for three. <laughs> yep. All right. That's okay. Enemy phase. So nearest crime scene, we have a choice now for this one, because it crime scene's here and a crime scene's here. But where do you want this doom gatherer to go that may go undefeated or I may go undefeated? Uh, let's put it more in this, more here. Because there's uh, kind put of some clues on here though. That oh might, yeah, yeah. That might sorry, make sorry, you sorry. Put it there. You're right. You're if, right. You're if right. One, you two, want to get clues in there somehow. I, I don't think I do. It's a four shroud. 
But I, if I, I draw don't. into other cards that help me get clues off there easy... Do you want, I can put her there, but I probably won't go fight her there. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Just... Yeah, so let's leave her here. This one... I mean, she has to pull up. Well, there's a crime scene in the basement. Oh, there's a crime scene down here. And that's the closest one, so okay. move it down to the basement. Move it to the basement. Done. End of the enemy and phase. They're going to add... both get a doom on them each. One. And then we're going to reset... And ready up cards, draw, encyclopedia, in a resource. Streetwise, this is helpful. This is very helpful. Okay, put Gain a doom a on there. Put a doom on. I'm going to draw a, locate, or a card here. Chilling Presence, Terror, Revelation, Test Willpower 3. For each point you fail by, take one horror. For each point you succeed by, you may deal one damage to a Geist enemy at your location. If the Elder Sign symbol is revealed during this test, you may deal two damage to a Geist enemy at any location. We haven't seen Geist enemies, so... Oh, uh, nope. No, so yeah. that's uh, foreshadowing. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to test uh, three. I have four. Four. Uh, I will just test four on three. Uh, minus two. So I failed by one. Yep, but I'll put it right here on the laboratory assistant. That's done. Yours. I found a, another hotel guest who's going to spawn in the nearest hall location. Hold on. They're saying, uh, did you count that this moved you in for free as part of that one action that you did on the front of this card? Yes. So I was... I was uh, you did move. Move for one. You did investigate or uh, evade action, which moved you in. Then what would you do? Moved back. You moved back. Okay. Yeah. So that's three actions total. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nearest hall. I guess we'll just put it here. Maybe I just fight this one before I move because... The doom is going to be. We're already at five here. Five, six, yep, seven. Yep, I understand. Okay. Uh, now. So I think when this flips, we have to have at least two on each of these things. Mm -hmm. But the best thing is having four. So uh, yeah. Hurry. Yeah. But again, you can go deal with enemies. I can work my way up to this room to collecting. maybe get clues, yeah, and that's clues my thing, more. right? Yeah, I can so, definitely do that. Okay, so I could go first. One. Fight the one that. Gotta fight the one that will have more. Okay, so I'll go first. Is that fine? What are you doing? I'm gonna go fight this one. You do whatever, yeah. Sure. I'm gonna move for one. I have to engage for two. So I want to get one that already has Doom off. And then get that one along my way back. Uh, and then fight for three. The one. I know. So you could just go with that basic. You could just go with a three, four. I feel like three is like the sweet spot in this one based on the things that are going on here. Maybe not. I could just do this one, fight, add your agility value to your skill value for this attack, which would be five. And if you succeed by two or more, automatically evade the, well, he probably would be dead. Not using my gun for this one. Let's do three, four, We're on one. It's fine. Amazing. That sounds fine, I think. Three, three, three spot, I think, on this one. Minus one. We got it. So I was three. Okay, because then I can use my lucky kids. Okay, finally. Victory display. Another innocent. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. So this is now. Uh, oh, that's guest enemies. Uh, minus, no. Uh, yeah, we're just going to take horror. That's, mm, that's basically fine, all I think. I think is going on right here. Okay, and I succeeded by more than two. So after you succeed a skill test by two or more, exhaust lucky cigarette crates to draw a card. Yeah. Opportunist. Okay. Uh, that was that. That's my turn, actually. Well, engaging them is annoying. Okay. But I'll, I'll get this one along my way back, and then I'll go open that door. This one. Oh, sorry. Can I do one more free action? Uh, exhaust Lonnie and spend one resource. 
uh, choose an item asset controlled by an investigator at your location, heal one damage from that asset and one horror from loss. So I need there's no item. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I, I don't think I'm going to go deal with this one, but it could go and parlay it. That's not a bad one. But again, I'm not getting clues off of four here. This one's not the best. These are okay. I don't know what's hiding under here. Yeah, I mean, you can make your way up this way, start getting these ones, and then all my plan is Kill this one next turn. Move. That's or I all could just I'm go doing. there and I could parlay that one. And then you worry about this one. But it's like lots of movement. But I think I'm the one that needs to get up to this or this location. Yeah, I can. Or you just ignore both of them and I'll just do this and you start making your way back up that way. Yeah, but I'm debating stopping here to get clues. Or I just use the move from here to get the draw card and True. get risky with it. I feel like it's a, it's a snare we have to rush. And that's what that's there for is like... It can give you some help, but I feel like this encounter card is, is going to stall you more actions than this helps you save. Yeah, because if you draw some big, big dude. And I'm debating, like, do I just try to get clues off here before I leave? Like, will I see enough clues up here? Or will I get here and find out there's not, there's like one or no clues on here too? And then I got to like move back to try to get more. I now have stuff that can help me with, with getting clues. Okay, so I'm going to move one. New subscriber, Christina, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Welcome, Christina. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so I'll move to, I'm going to go here. Actually, I'm just going to move in. I want to know the information. So three move. That's all I'm doing my whole turn. Yes, I save no actions. Uh, okay. and I'm moving into an un unrevealed location. Deal with it. That's okay. All right. A, dish, uh, a deathly chill emanates from beneath the door to room 245. Okay, I changed my mind based on the flavor text. <laughs> Probably should not, but I'm going to do it anyway. So bad. Probably so bad. I'm close, but. if needed. All right, we found another crime scene. It's only going to get two clues on it. See, this is what I was worried about. Uh, so there's an action. Yes, it is a time-worn locket. So two shroud, that's great. Uh, test three intellect is an action. Only the top card of your discard pile may be committed to the skill test. Place it on the bottom of your deck after this test resolves. If you succeed, move any number of clues controlled by an investigator in the room 245 the time worn locket if it's in play any number okay that's good so you don't have to speed by so much so the problem is though i now came here with no clues so i can only get two from here i gotta go somewhere else to get two more and then i gotta come in here and i gotta win a three but i have a five already Plus whatever's on but there. i might put into play no you can, didn't it say you can only put off the top of your discard pile yes yeah but the cool part is oh. i can still put ally into play who gives me plus one. Yeah, yeah. I could use other things to give me plus one, right? It's saying... Yeah, just you can't commit cards. Yeah, other than... it's just committing cards, but I can use abilities to buff up. And you can put cards in a certain way in your discard pile so that what you need is on the top. Yeah, that's I have a two here, actually. Yeah, but we'll yeah. see what's happening. We'll see what's happening. But anyways, I'm here. I'm done. We know more now what needs to be done. Okay. So you keep the doom... Yeah, I'll worry about these two guys. And but if then you can get clues, I can try. And meet me there. I can try. I do have things. I do have books now, in my hand. But yeah, it, it's up to you. But so. anyways. Okay. Uh, okay. Done. Enemies. So nearest crime scene. Where do you want? Uh, with me. Or okay. here. <laughs> no, with me, because then I don't have to worry okay. about spending. Done. Money. Uh, this one. She's already there. She's already there. So yeah. that's three doom total. Okay. I'm on these guys. Okay. So one doom plus one doom. That's three doom total. Plus that's going to be another doom. We're going to be at nine out of 12 minimum yep. by the end of this turn alone. Yep. So I feel like maybe. Well, yeah. I can do one more. Yeah, like I'll yeah. get rid of that one. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. is that going to help us enough? I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. You well. just go to the basement as quick as possible. I don't, I don't know. So anyways, uh, that's enemies finished, right? Yep. I already put the doom on them. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna reset. Ready. Draw. Draw. Okay. You draw this during my turn. It's not my turn. So hey, I like the books on it though. Intellect. More evade. Gain a resource. Okay. Uh, adding a doom. I already put doom on them, so we're adding a doom here. Nine. Yep. Nine of twelve. Added okay. a doom? I added a doom, yep. Holy crap! Oh. This is so boring. So boring. 
All right, so humanoid enemies. Oh, there's some. Great. Uh, so it's going to ready. It's going to move to me. This is the nearest one. Yeah. One, two. One, two, three. Yep. So it's going to move to me. And it's going to engage me. No, it doesn't engage me. It's going to reach my location. And it's going to hit me for one damage. Which I'll throw it on library assistant, I think, because my hand size does not matter right now. No, how, it doesn't. How bad do I want to draw one of these cards? So this guy moves to me. That would be mo the most oh, ideal. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, oh, yeah. actually, maybe it's not the closest. Maybe yours would come back. Yeah, it would. Oh, no. An officer. No, I found an Arkham officer. Okay, so he is aloof patrol, nearest location with clues, force at the end of the enemy phase, move one clue from to Arkham officer from its location, flipping it to its parlay. Thus, a willpower of three. If you succeed, either automatically evade Arkham Officer or flip a clue. Flip its doom to its clue. Well, he's take he's of it. coming to your location, right? Because he's aloof, but he's not he's engaged not with engaged you. He's not engaged with me. Yeah. So I think we. So of... then he's going to move to the nearest location with clues. So yeah. the same most clues. Good. So he you could put him here to the balcony. Yeah, let's put him to the balcony. And then he scoops one clue, puts a doom on him. Though that might be enough doom. Based on what these guys are doing at the end of the next enemy phase. I think it's the last turn unless somehow we clear this one or something. The problem is that now I can't get to them. One, so, two, and engage, but I can't fight. So I think you might have to actually fight that guy. No, no. Or we just totally ignore them all. And, go and we clues? just go clues. And you, you have to get in with Move, a clue. Move, get a clue. But that's not enough. That's too many turns. I needed to come in there with more clues. And I, I, that's why I'm screwed. Because here's what's well, going to happen. I, I can move out. Try to get a clue and then move back in. That's literally, I got one clue in a whole turn. That's such a waste of movement. I can try to get these two clues, but either way, I gotta like get clues some other way and then move back in. It was kind of dumb for me to run into that room I, I, without enough clues on me. It was a gamble and it didn't pay off. And it may be the, maybe the, the, the loss. What I can do is maybe just try to get these two and then get them on the Tom Warren locket minimum. Minimum, yeah. To just maybe, hopefully, that doesn't like end us completely. Move, investigate, move. I don't have another action. Because I have a feeling when this flips, it's going to check, like, you know, how's, how's the status of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But hold on. Oh, hold on. Learn more about your leads by placing clues on them using abilities. The more clues, the better. At the end of the round, you may choose to advance if each lead asset has at least... Ah, okay. So this is the advance. We choose when to advance it. Mm -hmm. So we want to advance it probably before that flips. Yeah. Hmm. Seven. Hmm. 11. If this guy is dead, we have one more round. Assuming things don't happen off here, right? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, but then you can't do anything. Same with the other guy. Because you have to engage them. Yeah. The aloof is annoying. This... Or I just try to fight this guy. I mean, I, then... I, I can deal with this guy because I can parlay and I have good intellect. So I parlay just to get this one out of play and then I go, hopefully, first shot, then I go clue, clue. And then I'm just chilling there with two clues on me. And then if I just actually fight this guy, then we're at seven, eight, nine, ten. You have a way of doing like three damage to just kill him? Yeah, I can fight twice with this. Oh, okay. This does two damage. Then maybe I see why this move is here now. So if you get clues like a last minute move in here, get a free move out of it, get into one of these places that you need to like fire off the clues. I could just yeah, I could just fight him. Okay. Uh, so where are we at? I don't even know what's happening. Oh, it's our turn. Oh, okay. Uh. Let me just go first. Is it we we. We did do. Well, I know I drew this to get this annoying thing with me. Oh, yeah, and I drew the officer. Yep. Yeah. Okay, All so right. it is our turn. So, start of my turn. Uh, I guess I'll just go first. Random card. Would have been cool, actually. All right, whatever. Uh, okay. Let's just. By the parlay. Do I need to engage it to parlay it? Do I need to engage it to parlay it? I don't, mm. think I don't so, know. I, but I, let's I remember check. the man in the pallid mask was like uh, action on him, but I don't think you need to engage him to do it. 
Oh, it doesn't even say in the room. Hey, Drew, how's it going? Nice to see you again. Uh, uh, busy lately. Now, Drew, we did miss you here. We did miss you. Because your kind, gentle words to keep us from going insane in our Arkham Horror playthrough. <laughs> Don't need to engage to parlay says Phil. Phil's been pretty on point so far with the uh, rule suggestions. And Drew says also, I don't think engagement is necessary. I'm going to go with it's not necessary. I'm going to, I like, I like your guys' answer. Uh, feels good to me. Yeah, and it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Not we'll just go anywhere. with it. If you're watching this later and you're freaking out that we're doing the wrong thing, just <laughs> please, please put a link to what page in the rules reference guide or FAQ where the correct rule is. A lot of people come in too in the comments and say like, oh, they were wrong, this is the answer. And then I look it up, do some, I take some time after the stream to look things up, and sometimes people are wrong also in the comments. And they don't, they don't point us to where they learned what they learned. Uh, they just say, this is how it is. And then sometimes I have to like counter-argue them with a page number or something, and then they're like deleting their message. But uh, yeah. Also, you could just, just come reference. join us in the live stream, and then you Yeah, yeah, but all I'm saying is, way. like, just reference. Yeah. If, if you have time later, you're watching this and you're commenting, take the time, just look it up and make sure you're right. Because uh, other, it's not just for us, it's other people watching us. I want them to learn from our mistakes. So it's more for people, like, learning the game who come and, and see, like, oh, I wonder what happened with that. Let me check the comments to see if anyone said they were wrong, you know? Yeah. And it's like, they might go with the wrong answer that we did or the wrong answer you gave them. So it's like, just reference so they can learn, like, where it might be. That's all. Uh, all right. We are going to parlay. So it is a three intellect I can test against. I have five. Enough. Yes. Debating putting Witten Green in play. Give me a plus one while I have a tome. Yeah, I have a tome in play. Will help protect me a little bit. Maybe. But it's a wasted action. Not a wasted action. But it does give me a plus one intellect. Which is good for this. Good for this. But it's going to take me another turn to do what we want to do. Which if this guy is, and this guy is gone, we have that buffer. Okay. Hope this doesn't screw us. Uh, that's an expensive. I mean, I think it's good because that does help for both of the tests that you. Helps for do. every test. Yeah. all my. I think my it's searching a good. And... It's good, and it gives you that little bit of buffer if. Yeah, if I something do get drops hit. on you. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna spend four. He's going into play while I control while I control a tome or relic asset. Uh, I get plus one intellect. Okay, now I'm going to parlay. Uh, I have six on three. Minus one. Didn't need to do it, but that's okay. It helps me more later. Uh, it's discarded. Yep. Discarded. Doom is gone. So I've done two actions. Third action, I'm going to just do an investigate of six on two. Try to get a clue off a location. Zero. Take a clue. I don't think I have any other way to get extra clues off of things. No. All right. Finished. Okay. I'm going to engage for one. Okay. Okay, I'm going to... Oh yeah, random card for parlay, thank you. I got a plan, not anymore. That's actually a good one to have on top of your deck though. Oh, uh, yep. For that test, uh, if, we get, that if we get that far. Okay, so I'm going to uh, exhaust Beretta and spend one ammo. I'll just do this so I can read it. Uh, fight, I get plus four fight and I deal plus one damage for this attack. We'll do the rest of the card once I... Okay, so four. So I'm at seven. And I'll put in Opportunist for eight. 
So eight on three, we're doing a full on fight. Eight on three. So if Bill looked it up, when you parlay it, you're taking an active action. Looking at the rules for active actions, you can perform active actions on any encounter cards at your location. Awesome, Phil. Awesome. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. And that was our learning moment. <laughs> oh, Brought I to you by one. Phil from YouGolf. Thank you, Phil. So I have four, sorry, three, four, eight, nine. Nine on three. Hmm? Red token. Minus two. Nine on three. So I had seven. Okay, so some things are going to trigger here. So first he's going to do two. Seven on three. I was up by four. Okay. If you succeed by three or more, return opp opportunist to your hand after this test instead of discarding it. Wow. Okay. Uh, this, no, I didn't do that. This one I get to draw a card because I succeeded by two or more. Another lucky cigarette case. And then this is what's important. Um, what did you do? Okay, if you succeed by two or more, either Ready Beretta or this attack deals an additional damage. If you succeeded by four or more, do both. So Ready, and then this does another damage for three, and he will be dead. So that's why I wanted to go huge overkill on it. He's dead. Another innocent in the big green display. Okay. So chat's 100 out of 100 on rules test today. But again, the <laughs> test hasn't been marked by the teacher yet. It won't be marked till after the stream is over. Give it a couple days. And then check the comments to find out the, the actual mark of your test. Very true. Oh, Bob's 99 out of 100. Oh, Bob was wrong <laughs> on something. <laughs> you guys are oh, funny. Oh, man. Okay. That was only one, uh, two actions because I engaged and I fought. So we are going to move here because I want to get in place of these clues. So potentially I can get them. And now one, two. I'm going to have to discard card. That's fine. Okay. Done. Enemies. This one is already in a crime scene. We'll add a doom. But we're fine. We're fine. Well. Now we're ready. And all of our things. Yep. Draw. Draw. Deduction. That would have been nice earlier. Another additional clue. So I could go here and get two clues off. Streetwise. It. Yep. I have to discard one, two. Actually, I'll discard the lucky cigarette case. The inside is eight, right? Okay. Uh, now, doom. Oh, shoot. Right here. Oh. Doom. Doom. So we are at two, four, six, seven, oh, eight, no. nine, ten. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, near stem location. Okay. Uh, so empty. I could do it roof. I could put it at the room 225. I could put it at the restaurant. restaurant. Or up here. Restaurant. Restaurant. And more farther, just in case we do have to survive one more turn. I don't want them to be on us that fast. Well, they're all the same distance. It's like, which do you want them closer to here? And I'm going to move towards the nearest investigator. So like getting them over here oh, is yeah, going to be hard. Oh yeah, that's They're room 225 is fine. I mean, I don't know. It's all the same. Oh no, hotel oh. six here. Okay, same thing. Nearest empty location. So for me, I will say this one. Uh, this one. Empty. Oh uh, no. So. I don't think so. So he's at the restaurant. Wow. Okay. Two hotel good. security showed up. Okay. So I might do a move to here. And I could uh, try to test against this. I have deduction, which could get me both those clues, I hope. And then uh, I move back. The only problem is I'm sitting there. But the cool part is I'm there. I would have three clues if all worked out. I'd avoid these jerk faces before they come. Unless you think you have some clever way of, in two actions, getting two clues and moving in. This could work even better. Uh, where you get those two clues somehow in two actions without drawing the red or failing or whatever. And then just moving in for your third action. You would be standing there with two clues on you. Start of my turn, I get this clue off of here, then I do this test, we move them all, because we're both at this spot, onto your thing, end of the turn, boom, you trigger that. We're all in it to win it. I mean, I can try. I have five cards that have books slash question marks. Otherwise, otherwise, 
if I go first, I move here. The only problem is I have one chance, one action, one shot. I try to get both clues off there and then move back in. If I fail, I just move out, I move back in, and I have one clue on me. Then you would go, try to get anything that's still there in one action, move in, then you trigger this action, then this. But then the problem is this is an intellect test of three. You say you have a whole bunch of stuff. I have five cards with books on them. So what do you think the best way is? You going, Me going first? first? Okay. Just in case. If that's what we're going to do, we're rushing it. This is how we're going to roll yeah. it. Uh, because I... if we don't rush it, two, yeah. four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can just get 11, one clue. 12. If you can get one clue, you know, even if you get zero and you're just in my space, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't matter. Because I still hopefully in two actions can get that off there, do this one in one action. But again, the more clues you bring, the more chances I can do on that one that moves, you know, if I fail one with the red token or something. Also, if I'm in your space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get to uh, start of turn. I have to oh, no, I think I'm going to go first. I'm going to go first. Okay, either way. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I could lose the card. That's right. Yeah. So that could change everything, too. But I think if I go first, worst case, because we're going we're gonna, to uh, doom out because I can't kill this guy, you, worst case, you get that clue on. So we no, can... I might still miss, and I might miss three actions on uh, two tests might still lead to fails and... You know, like... Yeah, but I can put stuff in, too. Yeah. Oh, I see. Right? I don't know. But if you just bring one clue... I'm going to try. We're golden. I'm going to try. So I'm going to investigate. I'm going to investigate. Okay. So I have... Oh, just in case. I know that guy. Just in case. He <laughs> tends to show up and all, uh, join all co-op playthroughs. That's Christian. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that guy is so awesome. Oh, I really wish I had a Streetwise in play. I have all these resources right now. Okay. So oh, you do your turn the best you can to try to get, in a best case world, two two clues. But either way, try to get, if you get one, great. If it takes you two actions to get one, that's fine. Move in, you know, we're good. Okay. All right, so right now I'm doing good. a three on two. Comes down to this. Three, four. Four on two. Five. Five on two. Putting this in because I can potentially come back to my hand. So that's six, three, four, five, six, six on two. Do two separate tests. You I'm have enough four. cards for that? I have two more. And you can draw back. I can you draw. You can pull cards back. If you overkill it, yes. you draw them back. Yes. You get lucky cigarette case. Yes, exactly. Just don't draw the red. Okay. So I am up by four. I am three, four, five, six, six on two. Matt knew a guy named Justin Ace. Yeah, his parents are mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How many Justins are in that family? What does this do? Uh, minus one, the number of guest enemies in play. Not a guest, not a guest, that, one guest. One guest, so minus, minus one. one. So now I'm five on two, so I'm up by three. Okay, there's some triggers here now. I get a clue. These go. I succeeded by three or more. Return this to my hand. Lucky cigarette case, I was up by two. Yep. Uh, drawing a question mark. And then I put two different non-weakness cards into the test. Draw a card. Uh, not something that'll help. Okay, I got that. That was action one. Action two, we're doing it again. Three, four, five. That's the Ken Yogi. Six. Oh, you have lock picks. What does lock picks do? Yogi says you have lock picks, I think. I do, but I have to... What does that do even? I, I don't know. It does exhaust loss, lock picks, investigate, add your uh, agility value to the test. Uh, if you do not succeed by at least two, discard it. But it doesn't give me additional clues, and I'd have to put it into play. Oh, it's an asset, not an event. Yeah, so it's not helpful. And I'd have to get rid of my gun, which, yeah. So I don't, I think it's better just throw it into the test. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So Whatever. Three, but yeah, that, that would four, be interesting. Yeah. Five, six, six, again. So six on two. Okay. Six on two, up by four. Minus one, exact same thing. Okay, so this is once, once per, per test. Case, yeah. Per test. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh my god. So again, this comes back because I succeeded by three or more. Sure. You just go here. This is already triggered. This is a second test. I get to draw another card. Oh, it's got a book. And I get the clue. Okay, that was action two. Action three, we're going to move here with you, and I'll flip. Yeah. And I have lots of stuff that can help you, but yes. I, can only put, I can only put one yeah, card yeah. in, can That's I? That's still good. But if you have to do multiple, 
Well, remember there's this cards can only be committed. Let me just... Oh, f oh, which is... We're not there yet, but I just want to see. Only the top card of your discard pile may be committed to this test. So I'm assuming you can't commit anything. Okay, but I can commit to you trying to get that first yeah, one. Yeah, but... I think you try. Yeah, well, of course I'm going to try. <laughs> I have three actions. I'm going to do one on this. If I can't get this clue, I might just go ahead on the next test. Give me two chances at it. All right. So, I'm going to discard a card at random. Okay. Discard at random. An opportunist back and draw. You succeed by three or more. Return opportunist to your hand after this test instead of discarding it. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. The card. Sure. I did. Vault of Knowledge. It's my signature card, which I've yet to play. I know it's bad. People are probably screaming out there that I've been holding it the whole game. Uh, yeah, my bad. It's gone. All right. There's nice oh, icons. Edgar thinks Yogi might be behind. Okay. Oh, okay. Can't even commit that to you. Like, well, Yogi is kind of slow, but... Uh... <laughs> just kidding, Yogi. Oh, Yogi, man, buddy. I wish I had this. I just drew this last. The investigation uses agility instead, and oh. I discover two additional clues at your location. I drew this as the last card. Yeah, that'd be that's nice. sad. Yeah, so that's your good clue gathering. That's sad. Okay, uh, so now I'm ready to do my turn after I discard a card at random, thanks to my obsessive disorder here. I think. Yep. Okay, so now Oh, sorry, I'm gonna exhaust Lonnie. And spend a resource to get rid of that horror, just in case. Oh, so now this is my top card. See, that's not good. I wanted this to be my top card. Now this is only can adding you, a plus one. Can you put something into this test that will put something? Yeah, yeah, okay. I can throw this in. All right. Uh, so I'm going to just try a classic good old investigate. And I am going to uh, do a test of five, six, seven on two seven i'll one. put one in just in case what are you talking does it what? need to be no we don't need well minus red token's gonna tank it's the most we can get is like a minus four minus i think three okay okay just it's fine okay vault of knowledge yes i did oh i think he's trying to figure out maybe he's trying to figure out if he's oh yeah yeah back to real time no yogi we're already done the game <laughs> we're already we've already ended the stream what's going on they're so behind. No, just... Minus one. I think I did it. Did uh, it. All right. Hope I draw minus one on the next test. So I get this clue. Now I have two actions left. I'm going to test for three of intellect. Only the top card can be committed, but I'm going to spend one off the Necronomicon, which is a free action to get plus two skill value for the skill test. Oh, I forgot the plus one on this I had. I was actually already eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was super overkill. I didn't need to put this card in there. And this will put my clues on there too, because it's everyone at the location. I think it's, I think it's all play. Read it, just make sure. Uh, Read it out loud. Only the top card of the discard pile may be committed to the skill test. Place it on the bottom of your deck after the test resolves. Okay. If you succeed, move any number of clues controlled by investigators in room 2245 two, two, to time worn locket. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So we can do this. Okay. So this is perfect. So I've spent a token. I'm at six. <laughs> Intellect plus two more is eight on three. Are you allowed to choose to discard this or no? You have to. No. That would be I think only if I go to replace it with something. That'd be nice. But I don't, I want it because it gives me plus. I know, but having this as your top card in your oh, yeah, yeah. discard pile. <laughs> I don't, that's a little overkill, but yeah. I could just play, I'm going to play Encyclopedia. Uh, no, I need more money, but. No, that's okay. All right. Uh, so now. Yeah, we're committing this. I'll just throw this on the bottom, because once the test resolves, it's gone anyway, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we're doing a... I don't remember. I said 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 on 3. 10 on 3. This is uh, minus 1. If there's an innocent enemy in the victory display, reveal another chaos token. And this one is minus 3. Place, you may place one of your clues on your location to treat it as minus one instead. Don't care. Nope, we're good. So I have a minus four. So I'm down to six, but it's still on three. We're golden. Uh, so this says we place them all onto the time-worn locket. Oh, this is good. Now, 
I still have one action. This says, yeah, this just says at the end of the round, which is before doom and crap happens, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, whoops, where is this up here? So for my final action, I'm going to shuffle what have you done into my deck. <laughs> <laughs> Hide the knife. <laughs> Hide the knife. It would be funny though, because that it, all it could have like, something to do with the resolution, right? I know, if that's what I'm honestly, yeah. That's all I'm thinking is yeah. like, if I were designing this, I'd be like, if the knife's in play at the end, you still go to jail or something <laughs> stupid because you didn't put it away like you had the chance to many, many times. But it maybe is just for the parlay thing. That's all it really is. But anyways, I shuffled it in. Okay. <laughs> I hit the knife. All right. Uh, end of the round? No, no, we're not into the round yet. So monsters. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm flipped. Monsters. So they're hunting. Hunting. Okay, end of the... No, if there's at least one guest enemy in play. Oh, there is. Oh, sorry. If there's at least one guest enemy in play, Hotel Security loses Hunter and gains patrol. Nearest location with the guest. Oh, either oh, way. Okay. Either way, they're going that direction. They weren't coming to us, actually. Interesting. Okay. They're going here. Uh, okay. End of the phase. She gets a doom. End of enemy phase, right? She's mm -hmm. at a crime scene. And then we do ready and all that now stuff. Now we reset. Ready okay. up. Draw. Higher education. Another opportunist. Gain a resource. Gain a resource. Check your hand limit. Find That's end of the round. Four. I'm going to do this. Seven, end of the round says, learn more about your leads by placing clues on them. More clues the better. At the end of the round, you may choose to advance each lead asset if each sorry, you may choose to advance if each lead asset has at least two clues on it. Hint. If you wish to present this evidence to the police, you may wish to have at least four clues on each lead asset instead. So it's two per investigator or one per investigator. We're doing two per investigator. We're overkilling it. We're advancing. Oh. Oh my god, is this not even over? I don't think so. <gasps> Then we're going to lose. Come on, man. This is going to advance. Oh, no. No, we'll see what happens. The truth. Read scenario interlude. The truth on page 10 of the rules booklet. Do you have the PDF? Or do you uh, need yeah, I can go to the PDF. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's just an interlude? Uh-oh. We're, we're not doing things too well, I don't think. Oh, my God. This is going to advance because it's at 11. Uh, and... Go to interlude the truth on page 10. The truth one. Scenario interlude the truth. The truth one. Your investigation is halted by Sergeant Moreau, the very same police sergeant who had spurned your earlier warnings about the Excelsior Hotel. He is clearly exasperated by all the strange happenings in the building and demands answers. Now listen to now listen here, he says, his hand twitching towards his holstered gun. I am a reasonable man, but you're looking mighty suspicious. You better tell me everything that's going on right now. You understand? Or you're going to take a one-way trip to the big house. The investigators must decide. Choose one. Hide a bit there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you oh, can no. lie. You can. Oh, man. You can go the route of cleaning up everything and doing the whole lying stuff. I want to play like that in the future. <laughs> I want to do that. But, we, okay. but we're going to tell the sergeant yeah. about the truth. Proceed to truth two. Okay, yeah, right? Yeah. Are you okay yeah, with that? Yeah, because we didn't do any of the other stuff. I, <laughs> Lie about your involvement. <laughs> so you are involved? Uh, truth two. You explain everything to Sergeant Moreau from the beginning. The rumors, the note, the murder. The more you explain, the more you realize how crazy it all sounds. But you know it's the truth. You know you're innocent. But you have the evidence. Do you have the evidence to back it up? Uh, sorry. Sergeant Moreau will only believe you if you collected enough evidence and did not try to cover up your involvement. Oh, see? So I, that's what I thought. If you if you clean something, I think... Yeah, you would have been in trouble. You have to do all of it or, or none, none of it. it. Yeah, because yeah. if you even try a little bit, you're going to be punished. This is how I thought. So we did none of it. So if that's all good. those falling circumstances are true... Skip. Yeah, we did not try to cover up our involvement. If all the following circumstances are true, skip to the truth. Okay, here we go. The investigators have not cleaned up the blood, hid the body, or tidied up the room. No. no. There are at least four clues 
on each lead asset and plate. Yes. Yes. There are no oh. innocent enemies in the victory display. No. No, that is not true. Uh oh. Oh my god. So we didn't do it as clean as we thought. If all the following circumstances are true, skip to five. Otherwise, skip to four. Don't read three. Go into four. No, no, no. No, I don't believe you, the man says, unholstering his weapon. None of this checks out. You're coming with me, pal. You can sing your story down at the station. You raise your hands, and he starts ushering you out of the room uh, when there is a tremendous crash from another part of the hotel. The entire building shakes to its foundations, and you hear guests screaming. What in the hell? He looks to the door, then to you. Stay put, he warns, or I swear, next time I see you, you're getting cuffed. He runs off to investigate the noise, mumbling about how he is getting too old for his this job. Remember that the police don't believe you. Remove Sergeant Monroe from the game. Uh, search. Okay, let's go to. I know. Oh I know. So, so remove, remove him from the, the game. game. Okay. Okay. Uh, search the encounter deck, discard pile in all play areas for each copy of Arkham Officer. They suck. Oh, so encounter even... deck, discard pile. In all play areas. So does that mean, like, is the victory display a play area? That's weird. I've never heard of play areas. I've heard of in play and out of play. Here's an Arkham. So I'm assuming that's in play He's areas. Gone. Okay. Too bad they didn't put in brackets, like, just, like, what that means. That's too bad. Ryan Wong, thank you for subscribing. Welcome, thank you. welcome. Welcome. Uh... What, pushing security guards off balconies is not cool? And then I have to shuffle... No one was around to see it. No. Did it, um... And yeah, I think victory looking. is out of play. I yeah, agree. I victory is like out it. of play. I'm treating it like that. Uh, of the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Okay. So you got all the police guys? There was only one. Only one? Okay, I think good. We... Oh, is there one in play? No, no. I, I got no. both of them. Okay. And remove them from the game. Shuffle the encounter deck, discard pile, and skip to truth seven. Thanks to your cunning investigation, you now have a better idea of what's going on. You're not the real culprit here. There is much more happening behind the scenes of the Excelsior Hotel, and you're just caught in the middle. Dot, dot, dot. Resolve the text below based on which two lead assets are controlled by the players. If Alien Device and Time Warn Locket are in play, no. If Alien Device and... Sin no. 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 Yes. yes. If Time Warn Locket and Manager's Key are in play... The woman in the locket was killed many years ago, and the manager is the one responsible. The man who met you in 225 was one of the staff members involved. That is when the spirit possessed you in a fit of righteous fury. Nothing in this hotel will return to normal until the manager is destroyed and the spirit is avenged. Remove all doom from play. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Advance the act and agenda deck to the set aside the true culprit version four. What the hell? So we don't need this. So anymore. they're both gone, right? Both the act and agenda are gone, right? Yep. That's what it's telling us. Yep. <laughs> wow. Crazy. This is cool. Now so yeah, there's so many of these. Like, oh, I, I thought we were gonna play like the whole deck. I didn't realize we we're just taking one card out of here. Oh, where is it? Be a good one. Oh, it's only six, six doom. Not, six, not four. Oh, I, oh, don't, I, I said I don't four, know. but I know I'm grabbing six. Yeah. Thank you. I know what I'm I'm reading. I know what I'm... I said the wrong thing, but I know That's what okay. it is. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. I definitely know what it is. I played enough Final Fantasy growing up to know Roman numerals. No, I don't know them from Super Bowls. Uh, the True Culprit. Version six. Which does six doom on it. Time Warren Locket gains reaction when Hotel Manager would attack an investigator at your location. Remove two clues from Time Warn Locket to cancel the attack. Objective. If Hotel Manager is defeated, advance. So we okay. need to kill this mofo is what's happening here, I think. And this is this is awesome. I love this, this freaking scenario. 
it's like better than the whole Path to Carcosa campaign, in my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> I said it. One scenario? One scenario. I'd rather play this. I'd rather play this eight times than on the, all those scenarios we played in that, in that one. Yep, shots fired. I'm going to get some bad comments for that one. <laughs> I know we need to play that one more. I know Path to Carcosa is a little rough on the blind playthroughs. It is a cool playthrough. I did love it, but yeah, it just ended kind of lame. But uh, yeah, we're going to play through that again. But anyways, and Sajot's here. Speaking of trouble, Sajot's in. Welcome to Counting with Rob. <laughs> That's okay. I don't know my Roman numeral very well. I know them. I know them, but it's just like, yeah, I just said, I don't know why I said four, but I know it's six. I grabbed the right one. All right. It is both the current act and agenda. Move all clues from the manager key to time or unlock it. Okay. So we can use it four times. Or is it six times? My numbers are all messed up. No, I'm just joking. Uh, spawn the set aside hotel manager in the restaurant. Uh, that's probably, he's probably like the other card from that deck we didn't. Yeah, he is. What the hell? So he is a 3, 12, 4. A monster, staff, and elite. He's massive. He's got retaliate. Each guest enemy loses patrol and gains surge. Forced. At the start of the enemy phase, add one guest enemy at hotel manager's location to the victory display, then place two doom on hotel manager. With each other guest enemy, one location towards hotel manager. Like a gross freaking eyeball monster thing. I don't know. That's gross. Very gross. Victory two on that guy. All right. Let's see what else we got. Uh, nope. That's it. I was spending cards like we were done. I know. Uh, so I really I. wish that. So was I. I wouldn't have put that one card on top. I would have kept it in hand. I didn't need it. Yeah, I, I would have just played it safe. I thought of doing it, but I was like, this has to be. I, I know. Mean, I really thought that was this the end. Was like, we're going to lose anyway, I thought. But now it clears all the doom and we're like, but, but literally but six doom six and we're mess. Yeah. So we need to hurry. But the problem is these two jerks are in the way. Yep. And they're not aloofs. Yeah. Which is a huge issue. So we have to like wait a turn for them to move away? That was end of round. Now we're in this, we're in the, the phase of, of putting Doom on here, right? Yeah, we are. And drawing cards. Yep. Noxious Fumes. Oh, a different card for once. Hazard, Revelation. In player order, each of your location must choose. So first it's me. I must test agility or fight. Well, both of those I'm bad at. Uh, to attempt to flee before the gas fills the room. If you succeed, move to a connecting location. If you fail, take two damage. Or test the fight in an attempt to hold your breath. For each point you fail by, take one damage. Mm. Mm. I do have more agility, but I technically don't want to move to the next room. Yeah, because they're both there. Because that next room leads to me being engaged by two big bad enemies. So... Also, I spent a, a token off this to get plus two on skill test. I didn't need to. I went way overkill. I know. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that, but uh, hmm. yeah, we I need these guys to just move one out of the way to go down to this hotel guest. Which means we have to waste a whole turn here. Yeah, we have to waste a whole turn drawing cards, setting up, whatever. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. Like, mm -hmm. we'll have no, to waste turns of you going in and fighting them after and after turn and. Unless you can go in first and evade, evade, evade somehow, and then I just come through, but then you're still stuck there when they ready up, they engage you. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I, I don't know, I know, unless you have some trickery, you have any sleuthy stuff that can make you sneak by them faster or less actions or. No. No. I mean, yeah, let's just do a setup. Let's just one turn and then we just... I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Cause I don't either. She's adding Doom at the end of the enemy phase. This thing's adding Doom. And this guy's doing something with Doom too. At the start of the enemy phase, add one guest enemy at hotel manager's location. So she's actually going to move. Hold on. At the start, the victory display... And then place two Doom on Hotel Manager. Move each guest enemy one location towards Hotel... So she's going to move one, which makes her not, at the end of the enemy phase, drop Doom on her. Which is good. 
and but then these if she, guys. But then if she makes it to him, he if we don't get rid of her, he will get rid of her and eat her and turn her into doom. And then she's gone. And these guys are actually going to move to him. They're not guests. Oh, they're not guests. Okay. So right now, they're going to move towards her, which is great. But once a guest gets in the spot, then they're going to try to move that way. Uh, so we kind of just, we just need his ways to turn unless we have a better way of getting them out of our way. These I guys don't. just showing up suck. I could just kill them, but then I'm wasting all of my stuff and not using it on the big, big guy. Yeah, I wouldn't do that either because you're all, our only shot. Because this guy is 12 health. I have three of fight. Two, four, six. 12 health, three fight. I'm not the fighter, but I do have, let's see, I might, I do might have, have. I do also have a backup gun. No, I don't have any of my right. fighting cards anymore. They all got discarded as random discards, I think. And I don't have the Necronomicon for damage, which I wish I saved for this kind of situation to throw three damage on there, but. Uh... Yeah, so I this think I'm going to test. Four, six. This can potentially do nine. So I'm going to test fight. Uh, one. One on three. Minus three. So I failed by three. Uh, so that's three damage. Uh, so two of it will go on her and kill her, and I'll take one. Fortunately. That's what she was put into play for. But I'm two away from death. Oh my oh, god. Oh no, conspicuous oh staff. Uh, nearest crime scene location. Which is our spot. Which is our spot. And then he's... Okay. So we can choose who he engages oh, with. Oh, I'll... I'll take it. Prey is most clues, but that's only when hunting, right? Yeah. But I'll just probably just fight this guy on my turn. Oh, we don't have any clues anyway. Oh, is no... Hey. For once, Karen regretted demanding to see the manager. This is Brian. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. When actually, I could have made this. Brian guy. says a replay on the scenario is insane. I know. I, I, know. I I'm excited to try it again, and come at it with the two investigators. Like these investigators are doing pretty good, I think. Better than I thought we were gonna do. Mm -hmm. uh, if these guys weren't in our way, it would I be know. even better. But if I came in this with like you were playing Nathaniel maybe, and you were more of like a fighter maybe. But, I mean, you're doing okay with dealing with this stuff. Because then you could have done some... Oh, maybe not. The parlays? None of them are fighting parlays. I don't know. But, yeah. No, I think it's really cool. Tell us again how you can damage him with the clues on the locket. Uh, I don't think no, we can damage him. No, you can't damage him, but just when he would we, attack an investigator yeah. at your location, remove two clues to cancel the attack. Yeah, so it, all the time one locket does is allow us to sit there at a spot longer trying to fight him. But, but we don't have that long because we only have six here and she's putting doom until... Uh, not yet. She'll move. She'll move. And then she won't put any doom. Yeah, so that's actually... So we only have a couple rounds in the game. Um, and then if we're at a spot and we're spawning guests, oh yeah, but that will be after. Okay, do you want me to go first and just fight this guy? Yeah, sure. I think I'll just do basic fight because I want to save my Beretta shots. I'm just going to get rid of this, I think, on my turn and then draw. Um, Maybe I can draw into something to help me fight. Actually, I'll just use... No, the locket doesn't help us fighting at all. No, unfortunately. Yep. It just helps eight. us survive. But again, like, I, I can help keep you alive also, which is nice. But yeah, I, I am 2 HP okay. from death, Yogi. Because the locket only works on him, right? Yeah. Yeah. So not any other monster. Yeah. So if a monster hits me or a card comes off here and deals me damage, like let's say a noxious gas, I am two away from dying, one thousand percent. Yeah. Like very confident on two away from death. Very confident. Uh. So this is. Just... Okay. So what I'm gonna do is yeah, I'm yeah. gonna fight this guest in my space here. Okay. I'm gonna spend two to play an event, Ooh. which is a cheap shot. Fight. Add my add your uh, agility value. 
for a, your value to your skill value for this attack. If you succeed by two or more, automatically evade the enemy. Because I won't be able to kill him, but then potentially both of us can fire on him, or we could do other things too. So I am fighting for this. So I pull, sorry, I'm playing this. So I'm fighting for three, four, plus I'm adding five. So I'm fighting for nine. Nine on three. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh. Uh, plus one. After this test ends, uh, for every two points you succeeded by, return a card you committed to this test to your... Well, I only get to... Re well, that's fine. I guess still, it's still card. good. It. So I get it. to do this. So now I'm ten on three. So I pass. He gets one damage only, but he is evaded. But we can still fight him as evaded over here. But oh. then we can just do other things. What, is that bad? I no, I might do I might do it again, but I want to put something in play before I do my other one. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, then second action for two, I will play Sharpshooter. Uh, so as a free ability, when you fight, when you use a fight ability on a firearm asset, you Sharpshooter, I can choose one or both. This attack uses my agility instead of fight. All modifiers to your fight for this attack modify your agility instead. And I can use the attacking enemy's evade value for this test instead of their fight value, if I want. In this case, oh, it's not yeah. better, but... But either way, if this helps you do more damage to the enemy somehow, that's what we need. Okay. And then I'll just do a fight. Um, fight on that guy. Knelt for the third action. That's three on three. Oh, four. Four on four three. Four on three. Four. Five. Can I put more than one of these in? Say only one per skill test. Nope. Yep, you can go crazy. Six. Now you've achieved this. Yeah. Right? Yep. Oh, lucky cigarette. Did that fire off? It did not. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe this changes things. Yep. Daring maneuver. Fast. Play when you would succeed a skill test. Get plus two for this. Okay, no. Oh, so that's when you need to like overkill it and you don't want to waste it on one that you might fail? Mm -hmm. Sorry, what am I at? Three, four, five, six on three. I'm up three. Uh, Daredevil to the skill test. Discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a rogue card. You can commit that to the test. Then shuffle any weaknesses. Okay. Wow. Five, three, four, five, six, seven. Two of them might come back to my hand. Well, seven on three. Seven on three. Fighty fight. Yes! Yes! Wow. Okay, so that's plus one. Okay. So seven, eight on three. So I am up by for every two points. So that can return two cards to my hand, but these cards automatically come back to my hand anyways because I succeeded yeah, yeah. by Just three or more. Take them all back. I get You're this good. one back. This goes back. He is dead. And uh not a victory, nothing. So that's done. And I think you did you and this again I on a different get test? To do this. Oh, this is my weakness. Okay. Uh, when you commit... Uh... What the heck is this? <laughs> you must commit this card to the skill test. Eligible skill test you perform. This skill stat subtracts from the skill value instead of adding it. If the test succeeds, return this card to my hand. Oh, man. Okay. So it minus is one, and I have to put it in. <laughs> that's so cool that's such a good weakness that's fine. so that's in my hand then i can't discard that because i do you've been like overkilling anyway so minus five, one six, is like seven, whatever eight, i will have to discard cards anyways that's my turn done oh yeah okay i'm just gonna you gotta discard a card at the start of my turn the encyclopedia oh that would have been nice oh all right and then i'll do two to discard obsessive and i'll draw a card which allows me to, oh, uh, gain two resources. Wow, yes. I'll I'm going to gain two resources. And then I'll use my ability to draw another card. Feed the mind. Exhaust, feed the mind, spend one secret. Test intellect for one. For each point you succeed by to a maximum of three, draw a card. Okay. <laughs> 
Ugh, all my fight cards are gone. That sucks. I think they are. I feel like there are. So the, I've got to play ends. Both those are gone. Disc of Itsemna, which I could have... Oh, non-elite enemy. Fine. That's useless. Uh, yep, I got a plan. My occult invocation. Did I get both those? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I still have one occult invocation, which could lead to some fighty fight, but eh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, done. Enemies. We know these two are moving on down this way. Hunter time. Uh, oh, the start of the enemy phase. Add one guest. There's none. Engage them. This one. Each guest enemy loses patrol and gains surge. This will not patrol to a crime scene location. This still wants to hunt. Oh no, sorry, the patrol is gone on these guys too. Oh, did we mess this up? If there's at least one guest enemy in play, hotel security loses hunter and gains patrol. But then this says they lose patrol. So they just stand there? So this hunts. No, this hunt, these hunt to us. Oh my god. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so that sucks. Okay. Take them. I didn't realize that. We should have just went in and dealt with that, maybe. Well, I had the other guy anyways, so... Oh, yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, so... Okay. Right? Would that override that for sure? I don't know. So oh, no, no. Each guest enemy loses patrol. So I was right originally. Oh, yeah, because these guys are not guests. I'm confusing myself. No, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I already knew how they worked. I'm just confusing myself rereading not all the information yet. So these guys, if there's at least one guest enemy in play, they are going to hunt towards so, them? Yeah, they go towards the guests, okay? okay. Then this guest gains... At the start of the enemy phase, add one guest to the hotel manager's location of the victory display in place to doom. Then move each other guest enemy one location. So the guest would have moved here. And then these guys would hunt to here. Okay, so there's all, they're all there hanging out in the foyer. Okay, and she doesn't drop because she's not on a crime scene. Okay. Yep. And, and this guy Matt... just stays here, right? Yes. Matt's a retaliate. He's yes. chilling. Yeah. Okay, enemy's done. Yep. Uh, reset, ready up, draw. Leather jacket in case I need some. Forbidden tome. Okay, Damn, sure. So... Uh, gain another resource. I gotta discard, sorry. One, two, three, five, six. So we're discarding this one because I don't need to search for clues anymore. Okay, I have to keep this one. I'm just gonna that one. I'm keeping all question marks. Um, don't need to evade. I have to discard, so I'm just trying yeah. to done question question mark. Yeah, okay. So we get a doom on here. I'm gonna draw a card. Driven to madness. So if there's no humanoid enemies in play, there are. Otherwise, attach driven madness to the nearest humanoid enemy. Attached enemy gets plus one fight, plus one health, plus one evade. Attached enemy loses the loot. Investigators cannot parlay with attached enemy. When do we want to put this on? Humanoid. Feel like we want to put this on. The guest that will get gobbled up, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Blood on your hands. Test the willpower of two. Increase the difficulty of this test by each innocent enemy in the victory display pile. One, two, three, four. Four. Uh, four, five, six. If I fail, I take two horror, which I can put on, put on Lonnie. So sure. we're just going for it. I have one. Minus three. I fail. Two horror on Lonnie. That's fine. Two. Arrogance is my card. So Phil says, I usually take a throwaway investigate action to get rid of arrogance. Yeah, because once I succeed, or sorry, if you succeed, return this oh, card, I you see. have to you fail. Oh, I fail. I get it. I yeah. get it. I get it. Yeah. But if you're overkilling oh, by hold enough. hold on. Didn't you have to put in for that one that you just did? Oh, sure. But doesn't that solve it? Oh. You're right. You must commit this to each eligible skill test you perform, I totally which you wasn't just even thinking. did. I always thought it was like that. This I... skill icon subtract from your skill value. Yeah. So if then this I was... test succeeds, return to hand. So it doesn't. It oh. goes to your discard pile. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. I didn't right? even think of that. Yeah, you're, you're so yeah. right. I was thinking because ones that I triggered, not even thinking that. Well, it's a test you're committing, right? It doesn't yeah. have to be on your turn, I don't think. There you go. Uh, all right. Our turn. Yes. Run past these guys. Yeah. I go, should you go? I can go and I, I go first. Know. Let me go first, right? 
you're gonna just do attacks and stuff. Yeah. I, I'm gonna go in there. I'll be in there with this thing to help. Oh, prevent. we can't even get. We can't even get there, right? Because we Why have not? to move. Yeah, oh, this can. does go here. So yeah, one, one, two, two, and, two and I'm in. And then I can do one fight. Sure. So we're gonna use that. Hard sucks that he's retaliate. I know. So, so it's like I don't even want to attack him with a knife. This game doesn't have trading, right? Mm, no. uh, I don't think so. Every other Arkham game you can trade <laughs> stuff. I wish I could trade and give you this knife. Yeah, because I could, yeah. It's like, I, I mean, I can use it to attack, but it's like nothing. Like, I'm going to have a three on three. And if I fail, I get hit back for two and two. And then we're wasting tw time worn lockets. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Hopefully, I don't miss. So I'm doing uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Would you want me there first for helping you with tests? Eight, I six, can't seven. really, but go ahead. Attack uses agility instead of fight. All modifiers to your fight for this attack modify your agility instead. So let's, so even we're going to and... use this. So what is this going to do? What it's going to make it for? stronger. Oh, okay. Because then I can potentially ready this to do more damage and do it again. One or both. Or I can't this do it again. Attack uses this. It. All modifiers. Okay. Use any... Okay. Yeah. I'm not doing the second one. I'm only doing the first. Yeah. So then I have a base agility of five. Uh, plus this modifies it. Gives it uh, plus four to nine. Ten. So I'm ten on three. We're going to put in the two opportunists. Ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, 12 on 3. I have six cards left in my deck, Yogi. Oh no, what's this? Minus 3. Minus 3. If you fail and there's an innocent enemy in the victory display, take one horror. Okay, so I am 9 on 3, so I, I'm up by 6. Wow. So that's fine. So then these two Trigger come back to my hand. Yeah. I will draw a card. Switchblade. Yeah, ability on your and card. And this. Oh, and my ability on my card. Nimble. Then this, uh, if you succeed by two or more, ready the Beretta, or this attack deals one additional damage. If you succeed by four or more, do both. So this does three. Uh oh. Then it readies. Uh, then that does nothing. Then I did this, and I did this. Done. All right. I need more ammo on this. How do I get more ammo? I'm on just gonna this? move one, two. Did I though? Need me there. Like, what am I doing? Can like, you throw things into the test? Help with other things? Yeah, other yeah. enemies I'll that come up? I'll just move in, I guess. The only problem is he's attacking both of us. Then it starts wasting oh, these off more accelerated. You're right, you're right. Yeah, if you don't want to do that, But if I just, then... like, stopped here, or, or I stayed here, we could even say the hunters go after me, and we just leave you to fight. The only yeah, problem is the time-worn that. lock, it's not there. I don't think you have to. Yeah, you do. So if I was there with you, oh. I could keep you alive while you fight. But you have, I'm like... I'm fine to be... To take some... But, but you're only doing three... Oh, yeah, you could do six next turn, possibly. Yep. Plus, like, a, one more for a regular fight. Yeah. But then you gotta, like... Now you're only poking him. Well, then I have another gun that I would just do but the attack, attack of, opportunity of opportunity to put it in. If you think... Like, I can. I can just, like, sit there and get eaten I, by I monsters. I don't know. I don't know. I also have a switchblade. But remember this hotel guest. Oh, it's still two away. Okay. I don't know. I kind of want to be there with you. Horror, but then me. it's. Oh. Sorry, yeah, before... I think I'm going to come there with okay, you. Okay, but before your turn, sorry, sorry. I'm just going to exhaust, uh, spend a resource to heal Lonnie because she might need to take two horror. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm here with you. Yeah. Uh, I have one action left because I moved in. I might just try to put some damage on, or I might just draw. Oh, but draws takes attack of opportunity, so I would have had to do that first. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I will just say I drew up first. I don't think it'll change. I, don't, I shouldn't have any weaknesses. So I'll just get two cards off the draw because of my ability. Ah, fight card. Does it help, though? There's additional cost to play this, so I can discard a couple cards. Oh, there you go. The plus one yes. damages. Yeah. Yep. This is what I needed. This is what I needed. Okay, so then I move in, and then I'm done. Okay. Library assistant. I just throw her into this guy to win the scenario? No? <laughs> All right. No? Okay. Done. Uh, enemies. Enemies. Okay. Start of enemy phase. 
that's going to, there is nobody there, but this one's going to move here. Then hunters are going, or patrol guys or whatever. Yeah, they're going to follow. They're going to follow. Okay. We have like one turn left to kill this guy. Or... I don't think we can do it in this next turn. Yes, we can. We can? Yes, we, can get we can. Okay. We can. My three damage plus your six damage, that yeah. equals 12. Okay. So we ha it has to happen. Right? You do three at a time with this thing? If I so succeed by I four know. or more. So I just so go I gotta all help in. you. I gotta go all in. I That's... got question mark galore yeah, here. Yeah, we're we're going all in. We're dumping the dumping the hand. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um until we spawn until we draw an enemy. So we spawn six enemies uh, at our location. But, but we we're could, allowed to keep we, fighting. Yeah, right. I was gonna say that, yeah. All right, we have a chance. We have okay. a chance. So then let's that was all the enemies. Yeah, he yeah. Doesn't, oh, he's gonna attack us. We're gonna spend uh, four. Yeah. I spend four clues off the time worn locket to, block to ignore holes. what he's saying to me. Okay, then we're going to flip. Okay, then we're going to ready. Draw. I got another Lonnie. I got another Winton. Gain a resource. Do you need? Uh, no, I have, I have six monies. Uh, okay. Yeah, six monies. And then Doom. Yeah. We're at three. Uh, driven oh, to Madness. Oh, sorry, is this, a, this is a hall, not a... Yeah, correct. Okay, so she doesn't put one she on. She will not get to a crime scene. Oh, we didn't flip this. Oh my god. that restaurant. Hopefully he's not getting a buff off this or something. Yeah, we just... Oh, we I didn't even realize. Uh, spend two resources. You may place an order while... I can't read. Oh, sorry. Uh, while enduring the weathering glass of the entire wait staff. At the end of your turn, if you are still at the restaurant, you may... Oh, you may take one horror to heal three damage limits, one for gain. Uh, if each location in play is revealed and there are no clues on locations in play, place one clue on the restaurant. Token bank. Oh, so that's probably another whole side thing. Okay, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, so okay, nothing, so nothing is changing affected its buff. that. We're getting two clues on the location. Yeah, I forgot we didn't even look at that. I, I thought about it once, but you were talking. I was like, oh, I'll talk about it after. But I'm like, oh, hopefully the restaurant doesn't help the manager because they knew he was going to spawn there. But only if we only if we drew those leads, right? You see yeah. how it's like so different? Yeah. Like we may play in the future and not see this manager and not have to worry about this stuff. Uh driven to madness. If there are no humanoid enemies in play, there are. Uh so this one's gonna to attach to one. The nearest humanoid enemy in play, which is Can we attach two on the same one? It doesn't yeah. say you can't. It doesn't can. say you can't. So I'm putting it on the same one. Okay. Whatever. Oh, I didn't want it to be an enemy. Ooh. Oh, spawn at the nearest crime scene. We're not at a crime scene, right? I don't know. No, uh, nope, we're not. It's a hall. Okay, nearest crime scene. So it can be where we came from. It can be room two two five, or it can be room two one two. Let's go here. If you want somewhere else, doesn't matter. Right. Okay. Okay, that's good that he didn't. Uh, that's so our that's turn our now. turn. Do you want me to go first then? Oh, uh, I have to discard. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eight. I'm good. Nimble's gone. I think I just get rid of Lonnie. I'm not getting her into play. She oh, she has fists. Yeah, fists. yeah. Keep anything for fighting. Anything with fists. Or agility. So, switchblade. I'll just go. Sure, if you want to go first. I mean, I mean, matter. I don't know. All right, I'll go first, I guess. So you're deciding on that. Just keep going. Um, okay. So if I were to fight, where's my card? Occult invocation. So it costs me two. As an additional cost to play, discard up to two cards from your hand. Uh, we're gonna get rid of freed the mind, higher education, sure. Uh, so fight, this attack uses intellect, which I have five, plus one for each card I paid, so we're up to seven. And it does a plus one damage for each card I discard this way. So it's a three damage attack of seven on three. Okay, but I can put something in on this, okay, right? Sure, if you want, but... Why not? Your fights have to succeed also, just as equally. Yeah, yeah. Uh... I'll put one in. Just in case. What are you at? 
seven. Seven on three. On three, so you're already at four. Yeah, so I think it's like red token is going to crunch okay. me. I don't okay. think anything else really can okay. that I know of. Uh, skull, which is minus the number of guest enemies in play, which is only one. one. Okay. So this is so three, three damage. damage more on him, please. And now I would love to start stabbing at him with a dagger, but the guy's got retaliate. So I take one hit back and I'm dead. So I feel like I don't want to do that. Because I, I think this, I don't know if a retaliate is an attack. I always forget if this prevents, because this prevents only when he attacks. I don't know if retaliate is considered an attack or I him dealing damage. I thought it was. We always look it up we and looked I always at forget. that before. I can look at the rules pop also. But again, if we miss, this is our two turn, like another turn to survive. But you can survive anyway. Uh, retaliate is four. Oh, they do perform an attack. Okay. I could, but like, could. I don't need to. And I'm I would waste cards that I probably would just spend on your test anyway. So I could instead. Yeah, because I'm going all in on those two tests. If I, but if I fail. If I draw, it's an attack of opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. I could draw into more things that help you. Maybe I take one stab at him. And then that just costs me these two. And then And then the two save you if yeah. we need to, and then I'll take the two. Yeah. But retaliate also hits if I fail. Yes. If I fail or if I do anything else, I get attacked. So I could attack with the bloodstained dagger, exhaust it, and take one horror. Uh, for your fight, I get plus two. So I'm at one, two, three, four only. Four on against three? three. That's all I have. This is my last, like, shot. This is all I got. So if you want to add any in, this could be two damage on him. But don't make yours weaker, because yours could finish him off. You know Maybe what I mean? all these have... It's No, I'm just saying, it's up to you, man. You can put one card in. You have I'll put one card in. Fight. That only one fight? Can, yeah. you, can you get me two? No. Like a punch plus a question? Or... No. Damn. No. Two punches? No, two punches. Two punches. Yep. All right. We'll see what happens. Uh, okay, give me the bag. Oh, yeah, sorry. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five on three. We're up two. Zero. Yes. Boom. Didn't even need this leather coat. Eat it. Okay, so that's one uh, so more? Two damage. Two more. Yeah, it's plus one damage. So two more damage on him. That's good, because if I do fail, then I can just try to do a ping. I got some things I can and do. It definitely that. didn't defeat him, so I don't draw a card. All right. Uh, my last action, I am going to pass. Okay. <laughs> Put my thing over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next. Okay, I... Let me know if you draw a card, because I can allow you to draw an additional card if I you draw a card. I likely will draw a card. Yeah, but... So you can draw an extra one off my ability to one time. Speaking of that, first things first, for free, we're going to exhaust Lonnie, spend a resource to heal her, because I'm going to take a horror in a minute. And then... Okay. Um, we're going to spend a Beretta. Exhaust. We're going to do this again. So we're using agility of five, plus any bonuses. Uh, five, so nine, ten. Ten. Ten on three. We're putting in our two opportunists. <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve on three. Twelve on three. You just don't have to draw a red token like twice this, this round and you're good. I think. Eight. I hope. On three. Up five. Okay, that's fine. You've been spending ammo off this when you're supposed I have. to? Okay. Yep, yep. Uh, okay. 12 on 3, right? Yep, 12 on 3. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it. Oh no. Okay. Was, it's bound to happen. You put do so many tests. All right, so you fail. Yeah, fail. So you have zero on three. So this is, you resolve. So he's going to retaliate. Do you want to spend? Yeah, sure. Do I have to succeed? Oh, this is a weakness. I know what this is. Anyways, just do your I know. effects. I know, but I don't know if I want to draw because if I know it's a weakness. 
that you get to draw another one off my thing. Which would shuffle my deck. Yeah. Okay, fine. It, like, I don't All know. right, so then I will these go into my discard. I'm not sure. I don't know. You're going to draw anyway. You can't stop it. Might as well draw through it. Yeah, it's two different not... Oh, they're not different. Oh, they're the same. You oh, can't do that one. Oh, the same card. Can't okay. do that. Okay. Carry on. You can't do that. Okay. Well, and you spent for the retaliate. Okay. Well, we're going to... Yep, oh, yep. and then I can't even exhaust it. Or I can't even... I didn't even get to stand yep. it. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I may have failed right here. Yeah. This is. And Yogi the... says, You wasting the jacket has wrecked us. Fine. Why? Totally fine. I don't know. He's probably calculating damage we could have taken and survived another turn. And I don't know what your jacket even does. Gives me two. Two health. Okay. Whatever. Okay, well, I can't. I can't do anything. All right. So. Because he's attack of you opportunity. You can't just do any more actions? What? Like fighting? Regular fighting? Three. Nothing? Good try. Anything? Okay, okay, I, I don't know. I, you maybe wait for your gun again. But the only problem is uh, the guest is coming in here. Then the hunters will follow the guest. The hunters will engage us. I could just take them. I mean, it doesn't matter who takes them. But they will attack. And let's see here. So oh, this no longer has a loop, so she's going to hit for one, whoever she's engaged with, I think. And these guys move in, they engage, they attack for two each. You can take. Mm -hmm. Can't. I mean, I can just die, it's fine. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, yes, yes, yes. I have nothing else I'm doing. Even if I draw, maybe I draw a fight card, but I don't know if I have any left in my deck. Um, okay, yeah. well, let me do a fight. Because I can do a fight of three, Yeah, like if you can get to the magical four, third damage out yeah, of the then two this I did. Will, yeah, then potentially we can survive. Okay. But also if I do survive, I have another attack next turn I can try, but I don't have a way of buffing it, so I have to get like, really lucky out of the bag. We're just doing a basic attack. Uh, I know, I did say it. I tried one. I didn't spend that. Three, four, five... Six. Different cards? Yep. Okay, that's kind of good. Six on three. I'm up three. Okay. Okay. No plus damages or anything, right? No. Does the retaliate, Mike? That's one thing. But... Oh, this Punch is good. Okay. Ammo. Plus one. Okay. So I did a damage. So you're seven on three. You're seven up, on by, up four. by four. Okay. Uh, if this test and uh, for every two points you succeeded, return cards you committed to your hand. So both, so both these cards come back to my hand. Okay, now let's do all the draw stuff, I guess, because now I'll have even yes, more please. draw. So then let's do. I spent two different cards, yep. so I will so draw, when you draw one. Off that will trigger this draw. Oh, too. it's not a weakness. Okay, so draw another one. Shuffle your deck. I take a uh, horror. Take a horror, yep. Which I'll put on Lonnie. And then you're drawing one more off my ability right now. Okay, and then I will draw off of. Yeah, but we'll do this first. Yeah, and then you can trigger that after. About tons of fight stuff or some cool evade thing or some I, you don't need to evade these guys you just need to survive these guys okay you're gonna survive his hits this is the draw off of yours oh, I survive this hit. slip away but i don't think that's helpful but that's fine and then i will draw from lucky cigarette case because i was up mm -hmm. by more than two. Oh, investigate no we don't worry about that okay i think i could still technically do another but i don't think Risk in the retaliate, no. though, of him doing two and two back. No, I don't want to risk that. Which we're about to get punched by him and punched by these guys. Yeah. Six. No. Okay, so I'm done. Person's gone that you damaged? Oh, no. She's no, right she's there. right here. Okay. Sorry. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We can't even see that. Sorry. Assuming you're using. No, I think you can see it when it's there re standing, but when they're okay. not ready. Uh, okay, so done. done. Enemies. Start of enemy phase. There's no guest in here, but it wants to move the nearest guest into there with us. Okay. And is this still aloof? No, they all lost aloof a long time okay, ago. Okay, so she's going to engage with someone. Engage, right? Okay, I'll take they this one. They lose aloof off this too, I think, right? Yeah, okay, so I'll take this one. I'm just or it is that they're losing. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, the problem is, is it extra... Damage? No, just okay. just fight, health, and evade, right? Yeah, yeah. No extra damage. Okay, so now it does one damage, one damage to attack you, right? Okay, so one damage on Lonnie. No, no, not yet, not yet. Sorry. Oh, not sorry, yet. yeah, yeah, yeah. These, these guys, guys move in first. How do we want to deal with these guys? Okay, so if I take one, it's going to go here. If I take 
two, one could go here, she's gone, one on me. I could take all of them. And then an attack from this guy too, big guy? One, well, three, seven four, damage. five, six. Yep. You can, can choose take... the order of the fight, so you can have, you know. No, I can two. take all of them. And then I prevent this from the big, big guy? Yep. Then you're still alive, just in case. As long as you survive, like you're the one who's going to do the yeah, final because... blow, most likely, unless you... Uh, let's say I, I take said. I take one from her. Yeah. Two here. Yep, she's gone. gone. And then two, which puts me to four three, four, and then two more is six. Okay. And then I prevent with this. Yeah. All right. So we just do all that. Done. Okay. So you take all your damage. Okay. So actually, I'm going to take his first, so that Lonnie can take some. So she would take the two. Oh yeah, one. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would take one, and then two from him. She's sure. dead. Then, from. Here one. So five That's, tokens yeah. on your two threes. Take away this one. So I'm taking away one. You're just gonna put two threes on your yep. card. Yep. Trying to find a three. Okay. And now the guest is at a crime scene. No. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Uh, next is resets. Ready up. Raw. Intensive research. Oh, I can get clues off location, guys. <laughs> uh, then I take a money. Streetwise, okay. also not helpful. Doom on the... Sorry, I'm still getting there. Doom on the agenda. I'll draw Four a card. Uh, violent outbursts. If there are no humanoid enemies in play, there are. Uh, so otherwise, the nearest humanoid enemy readies. Moves one location at a time until it reaches you, engages you, and makes a media attack. I will choose the this one to engage me and make an attack. You still survive that? Yeah. Okay. I'm at six. Here, take these away and give me a three. Okay. Right? They're yep. all humanoids. I choose that one. Yep. I don't know. Oh, we got a whole hotel security party happening. Oh my god. Right here. But it's fine. Oh, spawn at the nearest empty location. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going first. Uh yeah, sure. Because this is what's this? After he's defeated, we just advance. Okay. Yeah, I think we so win. So let's do. Or we. Oh, whatever. one, two, we'll three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, Nothing to help me. Discard. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna go first. We're gonna. We're gonna spend one. It I'm says death openly openly laughs at us, but humans, by laughing, punish death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're using both of these. So we are doing, five. Nine. Fine. I think, I think I'm going. Adam, thank you for subscribing. Thank oh, welcome you. back. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Doesn't matter, actually. The Doesn't only thing matter. that matters is if this misses, if you can just do one damage and then somehow help me. Yeah, I have lots of things to help you. Well, you just one card you can only use to help me, right? Yeah. But uh this is the thing though. I I would only be testing uh three on three. You put in one thing that's a four, four. on three, that's a two damage shot, which could finish him if you just get one damage on a future attack. So all I'm saying is No no, but if no, you're no, no. if you're able to draw back off of uh this thing and stuff. Yeah, but the, I don't need the do I don't need to be plus four anymore because this doesn't I know. Oh, but, I do need the three though. But I'll let you. I'll let you draw I off do this. Need the three. Need I if we can get the yeah. So let's do this. Is five, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. Eleven on three. Yeah, which is like. Yeah. And I can make I'm it. Not going to say anything else. Yeah. Just, just go. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to talk about the things that may happen. Oh, I don't know what this is. Minus X. Uh, guests in play. We have only one guest in so play. Only minus uh, one. Yeah, only one guest in play. Okay. Oh, we forgot this guy. He'd be hunting. Oh. Most clues. Yeah, he's just coming this okay. way. He, he would have moved too. Yeah. So that was 10. So I was up by 7. These two are discarded. 3 damage, which you don't have another 3 token. All of that. Uh, I get to draw one. I you can draw to, one more. You can draw one more. I get to draw one from this, and this gets to ready. He's dead. Stay in play when it's empty. 
All right. Uh, objective. Case. Hotel managers defeated advance. <laughs> NK, NKK, <laughs> how dare you? How dare you interrupt That us? was perfect timing. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so we are going to pawn, pawn on the eternal board. If this agenda advanced by reaching its doom threshold. Nope. Nope. If this event agenda advanced because you completed its objective, you stand in the lobby of the hotel, the building suddenly silent and seemingly empty. As you survey the results of your work, you glance down at the key in your hand. Such a simple object, yet you still feel a shiver of dread slide down your spine, knowing what once held this key. You are able to find some measure of comfort in knowing that the strange goings-on of the Excelsior have been put to rest, at least for now. Resolution 1. Well, let's check out Resolution 1. Resolution... No, we don't read that one. Right here. Resolution 1. Nobody will ever believe what you witnessed at the Excelsior. Not three days later, the hotel was open again, like nothing had ever happened. You know better, though. You witnessed it all firsthand. The events continue to haunt your dreams and your waking thoughts. Even now, you go out of your way. All right, Phil. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm trying to read a damn story here and read a conclusion. Stop interrupting. No, I'm just, just joking. Phil, thank you Phil, so much. Phil, thank you so much for becoming a producer and hitting that join button down below and subscribing. I don't know, it's like a subscription, but it's you're not subscribed because subscribing is a different thing. Anyways, thank you so much for supporting the channel and funding future playthroughs and games and convention trips and equipment and all that stuff. Thank you for supporting the channel uh, with your donations. We appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. For becoming a producer, Phil. You're awesome. Thanks thank for all your help today, too, by the way. Uh, you witnessed it all firsthand. The events continue to haunt your dreams and your waking thoughts. Even now, you go out of your way to avoid the Excelsior. The weeks have passed, and there's been no sign of any other nefarious schemes within its accursed walls. The only thing that can quiet the echoing memories of that horrible experience is a visit to the local speakeasy. Mm -hmm. Go and get a drink. Yep. But all the booze in the world can't keep the grisly visions from your nightmares, waking you in the dead of night with a violent start soaked in sweat. That's when you notice the person asking around town about the Excelsior. Innocent questions at first but more prodding with each passing day. Surely they'll believe you. Somebody has to. You may have broken free of the Excelsior's grasp, but there will be other victims. Of that you are sure. You grab a piece of paper and hastily scribble a note. It's all a facade. Room 225, tonight. It's not over. <gasps> if they can see past the veil of the Excelsior's operations, then maybe others can too. It may not be too late to stop it all from happening again. Oh my God. And in your campaign log, if you were playing along, uh, record the Excelsior is quiet for now. The lead investigator must add the what have you done weakness to their deck. Oh man, I would want to play with that. Uh, they must also choose to add the Bloodstained Dagger story asset to their deck as well. And imagine Harvey running around with a Bloodstained Dagger for the rest of the playthrough. Uh, both cards do not count towards the investigator deck size. If the police are on your side, any one investigator may choose to add Sergeant Moreau to their deck. But I don't think he was, right? Yeah, he was. Was he on our side? I don't think they were on our side. Maybe I thought he was. it was like we had to remember something, and I thought it was the police were on our side because remember we didn't. No, I thought it was. Remember what? Well, it was. this doesn't matter anyways. But yeah, I know, I know. We would have to remember. But more I'm just looking at this because, like, man, I, like maybe we do this again during the next campaign. Like, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, because if it's if the police don't believe you, the police believed us because we told them. No, oh, they don't believe they us. Don't the police police didn't believe us because you pushed people oh, off the balcony. Oh, because I pushed people off the balcony. Yes, you're killing innocent smell. Yeah, they didn't yeah, trust us. Yeah, they didn't us. trust me. Oh, you're right. Please don't believe you. Do not add Sergeant Moreau to any of us here's deck. Additionally, if there's at least one police enemy in the victory display, there is. <laughs> there's two. Uh, 
Search the collection for a detective or madness weakness and add it to the lead investigator's <laughs> deck. So I push them off the balcony and you get punished. Yeah, yeah. Each investigator earns experience equal to victory X value of each card in the victory display, which literally is... One. 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 We got one. But we purposely, like, I wasn't clearing <laughs> off clues and going after victory points, so I didn't care. But, man, what a tough scenario trying to... Clear off clues, not kill invest, uh, not kill the innocents, and try to actually like parlay them and stuff. Oh man, I don't know, I don't know, but that's interesting. That's that. Wow. Hold on, let me see. There might be. Oh, we got victory two on the hotel manager that we killed. Oh, the manager. The manager so would be in there too. We would have had three experience because we had one location that was clear. All the rest of the victories have have clues on them still. Yeah, except for one. And all the innocents in the victory display are victory zero. <laughs> wow. The dagger is pretty sweet. I, I don't mind the little horror on, on Harvey that's eight, eight, eight sanity, but it's like he just he just needs some other cards to like buff buff his like the Necronomicon if I had that still at the end there to get plus two on like a skill test or just deal three damage to an enemy and then do like some plus twos on skill test with the dagger. I could have definitely done like half the damage on him at least and been a little more a little more stabby stabby. Uh which would you nice. that was helpful though. What I know. you did do, we wouldn't have been able to win that. I think so, yeah. That's what I was thinking. If we just get a, like a few little jabs in, that might yeah. be enough if you miss with the gun. Yeah. And which I out. did. Yeah. Um, wow. But yeah, that, that was, was crazy. A fun one. That was crazy. I like this one a lot. I see why people recommend this to players who buy a couple core sets. And are start looking for a full campaign and can't find all the packs in stock or the deluxe box in stock for the campaigns they're looking for. And then they say, can I just buy a scenario to play in the meantime till I wait for reprints to come? And every time people always recommend this is the number one to go purchase. And I think it's because it's still like good with core investigators. We just played starter investigator, investigator packs pretty much raw. Yeah. And we still did fine i think we won so i guess that's yeah good. we want we won <laughs> but we're still writing crazy notes and it's not over yet and the police didn't believe us so did we win i i don't know uh but it's still fun i still had a blast playing this one it's very great i knew i would love it i like the whole idea just the idea at the beginning of cleaning up the crime scene i want to play this like right now again and do that and try and do that, that yeah. side and see what happens yep i want but first i actually want to build different investigators i want to try you know, now that we've seen some of the stuff, I want to kind of like build some cards in, you know, and, and, and play some investigators that maybe are good for the scenario a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we don't feel so much under the gun trying to get so many different things done where we can kind of deal with some enemies, maybe parlay a little better or something, you know, yeah. have a fighter involved. I, I don't know. But man, seeing all the crazy card draw from your deck, all the crazy card draw from my deck. Holy crap. I am starting to like the game because I'm actually seeing cards. It's crazy. I think this was the first time I've ever actually gone through my deck entirely. I yeah. think this is the first time. Yeah. So the mix of the investigators, I definitely like seeing these investigators go off. Their packs are cool. I liked all the card draw. I liked how Harvey still got things done that I didn't think he would get done. Uh, and he held his own, even though I thought he would get killed so fast. He still survived. Um, and you, wow, like I had fighting, trouble with clues, though, at the beginning, but once yeah. I got rolling, I was able to get them. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just needed to get some cards in my hand, and yeah. Yeah, the Necronomicon's hilarious. I think it's a I love super it. fun card. I love it. I think there is a way to get the ne Necronomicon out of play and, like, get it back into play. Like, I could have just played another one-handed card, put it in my discard pile. I did draw through my deck. There's oh, a yeah. chance I could have drawn back into it, but I feel like there is a way to bounce it back to your hand, I think, for tomes. There's so something that does that. You're almost, is this almost the second time you've drawn through your deck? No. First, oh. first, first, first. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, no, I didn't draw through my deck. Oh, okay, okay. I have two I cards say, away. Okay, okay. I was going to say, wow. But that's yeah, amazing I, slow, to be I slowed able to down draw, on the draw. I slowed down twice. on the draw for sure. Yeah. Anyways, love the scenario. Love these two investigators. I think they work fine together. Had a blast playing that. I'm super excited about the other nine possible outcomes or something like that and the other variability of this scenario. This is such a good pack, I think. Yeah, definitely. Very cool, very interesting. More I want to see. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. We're going to get out of here. Thank you for watching. I already scheduled. Very important. I schedule next Sunday. It's already there. You will be sc scooted to that stream after this one ends. If you stick around, uh, you'll get thrown to that page uh, where you can set a reminder. We're starting the Forgotten Age playthrough. Uh, there still is time to vote on decks. Uh, it's been popping up in the chat. It's also in the video description. If you haven't looked at the decks yet for the two investigators we're playing, 
Uh, a bunch of our producers submitted decks that they created. Uh, you can go vote on them based on name if you don't know them that well. You can look at the decks. There's links to the deck list. That is linked in the video description. It's also been popping up in the live chat. Uh, go get your votes in. For Mel, her deck looks like it's pretty much locked in. It's in the lead by like eight votes. Okay. For my character, Father Mateo, uh, the number one deck, the number two deck, and the number three deck, I looked just a few minutes ago, uh, there is a one vote difference between each one. So if you still go on a vote, uh, your vote could impact which deck Father Mateo plays in our upcoming Forgotten Age campaign of Arkham Horror the Card Game, uh, which we're starting next Sunday, noon Eastern. So tune in for that. You can follow along and watch us blindly play through that one for the first time ever. Uh, we'll play Father Mateo and Ursula Downs uh, and see how we go. And we're going to play on easy because we've been told by many people to play on easy. We'll probably fail. We probably won't make it through the whole thing. It'll probably be silly. Uh, you guys will laugh at us. We're going to have a good time playing it blind, getting smacked in the face by the scenarios as usual. Um, and I am looking forward to it. So tune in for that next Sunday uh, for more Arkham Horror. Every Sunday on the channel, we play Arkham Horror. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you everyone who donates to the channel. Thanks to the new members we got today. Uh, we appreciate you. Thanks to our patrons, of course, and everyone else supporting the channel, helping us buy Arkham packs and playing this game and buying equipment and having these streams. Thank you so much for helping out the channel. Very important, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button, helps other people find the channel. But other than that, we're going to get out of here. Watch for other streams to pop up later in the week. I have some other videos I need to work on off stream uh, that you should see pop up in the future on the channel. Uh, some of them take a little bit. Uh, but anyways, thanks all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!